All right, guys, hope you're all doing well. Uh, time for June Spice Wars, although we just logged on and it looks like the multiplayer is grayed out, which is not a good sign. So hopefully, um, maybe if we restart the game real quick, that is going to solve that problem. All right, so let's get this set up here um, and restart the game. If it doesn't work for some reason, what we'll do is we'll just end up playing like Total War or something. Uh, how long will it be down for? Yeah, let's see. Uh, in your experience. So we're going to see how long folks think it'll be down for potentially. Uh, restarting real quick to see. I don't know if there's some sort of a server maintenance or something. There was no notifications and it looked fine about 20 minutes ago. So yeah, worst case, we just play a different game and it is what it is. Yeah. It's all right. Let's hang out here. Anything from a few minutes to a few hours says our, uh, says one of our discord folks. Uh, so we'll give it five minutes. And in the meantime, what we're going to do is we're just going to hang out and chat. And I will start working on another thumbnail just in case. And uh, let's hope for the best. Let's hope it, you know, works here. All right. So minimizing real quick. And stream starting. Yes, yes. What would we do instead? Um, I guess we could do a wild... Um... Huh. <laughs> yeah. We'll see, man. We'll see. Hopefully it works. Come on, baby. Come back to us. Yeah, we 1v1. We could do that. We could do that. I was feeling a little bit more of a relaxed kind of game today. That wasn't like super micro-intensive, so that's why I was doing the old Dune. All right, okay, let's restart it and see. I don't know if it's going to reappear unless we um, restart the game. So there we are. I don't know. What can we do? Maybe we'll put it to a poll and see what you guys want to see. So for anybody joining... Uh, looks like Dune Spice Wars multiplayer. Maybe the servers are down right now, or there's th some sort of a maintenance. Let's go to the store for uh, Dune and see if there's anything going on. Yeah, no notifications of server outages, uh, as far as I can tell. So, I mean, it's the weekend, so they're probably not in the offices. All 10 of their development staff. Oh, what a shame. I'm so excited for some Dune. Something like Heroes of Might Magic 3. I don't have that all set up right now. That, that would be a fun one to stream. Though the only downside of doing um, Heroes of Might Magic 3 is that uh, the soundtrack for he Heroes of Might Magic 3, like every time I stream it, I get a, a copyright attack because I guess the control of the audio for that game is just, I don't, I don't know where it is. So I have to just play it muted, which kind of sucks since the soundtrack is like one of the best things. Yeah, we'll see. I mean, uh, hopefully it'll, uh, it'll kick back in here. Let's see what people in the Discord are saying. Yeah, nothing so far. It looks like they're having the exact same problem. Well, we'll give it a couple minutes and uh, we'll refresh and check. I know, I know. Sad times. Sad times indeed. Well, other games. We could do a Total War PvP. Warcraft 3 could be fun too. We could have a surprise Warcraft 3. Um, let's put it to a poll right now and see what you guys would want to see. Uh, stream game. I don't have Age of Wonders 4 installed at the moment. So, SC, okay. Yeah, Han without the soundtrack is just sad. It is. Okay, Warcraft 3. Um, AoE 4. And then, um, what else could we throw into the mix? What else could we do here? So I have Dune, Age of Empires. Um, Starcraft wouldn't take long to install. I don't know if I have that uninstalled by any chance. And um, I don't have Northgard installed. I don't own Northgard, I don't think. I've never actually played it. It's something that a lot of people have kind of suggested, but... Um, I haven't gotten around to doing it. So StarCraft, Warcraft 3, AoE, or we could do a classic Total War, of course. Um, I said I did play in a Total War tournament last night. Uh, what other games? And then Age of Wonders. Uh, Age of Wonders would depend if if old Pwn were free. Let's see. Pwn, you're in chat. Would you be free for Age of Wonders 4? We could do that if you'd be down. I don't know how long you got, although you probably got to go jam for dinner soon and you have work tomorrow too. So that's uh, that's Trixie. Civ six. I don't. I own Civ five. Civ five is a game I played a lot, but I never played uh, Civ six. No, never played it. Okay, so there it is. And the last one could be just Total War of some sort. Okay. Uh, you know what? Let's just do these three for now. All right. Dawn of War 2, I would like to play that again. Somebody said they had fixed the sound bug, but um, then I heard other people say the opposite, that it wasn't fixed. All right, well, you guys can vote. StarCraft 2, WarCraft 3, or AoE 4 would be uh, the alternatives here. 
you're on your way to get dinner. No worries, man. So we'll let this run for a minute and we'll see if uh, we can get the multiplayer back up. I'm going to reboot this a couple times and see, but it would appear that the multiplayer servers are just down. Yeah, what a shame. It is a, you know, obviously, I'm pretty sure this game is peer-to-peer -peer as well, like Total War. Granted, lag isn't as substantial in this one for some reason. You know, I played with people all over the globe and uh, it's usually not too laggy. Spice Wars, maybe they do have servers. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, it actually must be server-based if uh, the multiplayer was down as a whole. Hey, welcome, welcome. Yeah, C2, Warcraft, yeah. It looks like AoE. AoE is pretty popular here, for sure. Come on, give us some Arrakis. So I really wanted to, I wanted some Dune action today. Oh, uh, Anakin, I'm too weak. It looks like it's not coming back. Help me, I'm too weak. We're trying, man. We had such a cool thumbnail, too. The starter card just looking all, looking all rad. All right, so we're going to go work on a... Let's see the Death Guard army. I actually have a video of it up on the channel already. It was posted a couple years ago. All right, so let's make a thumbnail for that because we're going to need to switch it so people know what game we're actually playing. Uh, could even just take one of the ones of old. Chuck Norris is always great in those thumbnails. Yes, yes. Jean-Claude Van Damme makes for some good medieval thumbnails too. He does. Some blood sport or something. Yeah, so AoE4 dominating pretty hard. I thought Starcraft might get there. You know, since we haven't actually done that yet, but you know, in due time. I've been playing a little bit with old Pwn Dog. We've been playing some 2v2s. I played maybe two or three 1v1s also. Just a lot of fun. Okay. That looks good to me. Alright, I like this one. We can use John Claude from Street Fighter. Tim King's on Desert Map is the only acceptable thematic substitute. Yeah. Yeah, I'm really excited for the old world, man. It, it the only downside is the area I live in. It's kind of hard to find people to play with. It's um, it's a, I live in a bit of a not rural, but it's it's certainly not in like a big city, so it's harder to find tabletop gamers. All right, so it's all coming together, perfect. If we can get, I really want the spice to flow. I really do. Someone <laughs> call Funcom, tell them to sort it out. Yeah. Yeah, we got, you know, I'm going to make this thumbnail for the uh, for the age stream, potentially, which is what it looks like it's going to be if uh, we don't get this. And then, um, and then yeah, we will uh, we'll go from there. All right, so I need to find a medieval helmet for this man. Uh, I don't know. I, I was, I was going to do 1v1, but I am uh, certainly not the most alert right now. So I was doing more of a low-key game today. So I think we'll hold off on that. All right, so let's find this. Perfect. Looking good. Almost done, my friends. And let's check and see if these Spice Forces come back online. Let's exit the game. Thank you guys for your patience, by the way. Just uh, unfortunately, we're, we're kind of, we got screwed a little bit here out of the gates. Looks like it's probably going to be a, some age action, I suspect. Yeah, nobody in Discord knows anything. There's no, there's no secrets. Nothing is safe here. Come on. Come on. Give it to me. Okay, still looks like it's offline. Damn shame, dude. Damn shame. All right. So that's going. Watch turn get Zerg Rush. I actually, my first my first game back in multiplayer uh, was a Zerg Rush. I got Zerg Rush. Yeah, it was pretty funny. He he, what he did is he proxied a um, <laughs> he proxied a hatchery in my base. It was wild. He just like came in, slapped that bad boy down, and uh, it was it was pretty cheesy. Thankfully, we were able to defend it. I used to be pretty good at StarCraft. Like uh, a long time ago, I was I was pretty decent at it. Not anymore, obviously. I don't know what the new stuff does. Well, not new, but the units beyond Wings of Liberty. I have no idea what they do. I have no idea. All right. Uh, I would have been doing one v ones for StarCraft. Yeah, just competitive one v ones. Starcraft such an arcade game. It's like so it, it goes it goes um so quickly. Like the matches are just so fast and so furious. All right, working on the thumbnail. Just got to get the helmet that would fit correctly for old Van Dam here. Um, his head's at kind of a side angle, so a little bit tricky. Uh, that could work. That could work. I certainly don't know about that one. Uh, we're finding our way. Finding our way. All right, that one we'll have to do. So let's get you and open this. You guys can see the masterpiece of thumbnail making. Uh, yeah, we're trying to get Dune Spice Wars going, but unfortunately the servers appear to be down. Yeah, they just like, right as, the, right as I started the stream, they were like, no, we're not gonna do it, no. And they crashed, yeah. But um, yeah, you can see the glory of um, 
<laughs> the glory of the thumbnail making. Yeah, you guys want to see a little bit of that? All right, I think I have all the elements right now. Cool. All right, it's time for the thumbnail making. So we have the Age of Empires logo. We'll take you guys from the top, yeah? All right. You guys ready to see the just the shittiest thumbnail skills ever? So we got the Age logo. Slap that bad boy down right there, right? Oh, yeah, that's the good stuff right there. Duplicate the old layer. Get the layer underneath and augment that bad boy. Um, we probably don't need to do that. Yeah, okay. And then we can do this. Look, it's going to make it shiny. Oh, look at that. It, it brings a little bit out. Now we have our helmet here. Um, I don't know how well that's going to fit old Van Damme. So we're going to have to do some serious, serious potato work here. All right, that looks okay. His hair is a little bit problematic here, you know? He's got that... Um, <laughs> I think a hair is just going to stick out. It's just there's no way around it. Yeah, I mean, that's good enough, right? That's pretty cool. All right. <laughs> yeah, that's a pretty good one, right? It could be worse. It could be worse. All right. So let's get that set up. We're going to try Spice Wars um, one more time here. Yeah, I thought that was pretty good. It's getting there. The evil Atreides. I know. I really was excited for Dune today. I was, I was, I was going to play last night, but I didn't get around to it. So sadly, it, uh, it wasn't meant to be. All right. At least I do. I used to use Microsoft Paint. I used to. Uh, that was that was what I used for literally three or four years until my wife updated me to this to uh, to this program. The thumbnails were which got you. Yeah, those were those were the early jams, right? Okay, we're gonna try Spice Wars one more time. I'm gonna fire it up before we give it up. Uh, give up on it here, and um, and we'll see what we can do. Maybe we get lucky. Come on, come on, baby. No, no. Okay. Dune is still down. Yeah, I think it's going to be down for a while. I'm not going to sit here and wait. You know, could we could be waiting an hour and then just still get nothing, and that would just be super sad. So they forced a ceasefire on the servers. I know, I know. What a bummer, man. What a bummer. All right. So let me download this bad boy, get this changed up here, and uh, it is time for some age. Who would have thought? Age. Okay, do this. Do that. Perfect. Got that going, baby. Let's get the thumbnail changed out. I was very excited for this other one, but it is what it is. Okay, so where is that? Looks good to me. Let's uh, upload that, save it, and then um, we are gonna do a wild Sunday. All right, perfect. Let's fire it off. Do you have an opinion on Warhammer 40k 10th edition? Yeah, it's all right. I actually prefer, um, I enjoyed 8th edition a lot. Um, 10th edition 40k, I haven't played that much, to be honest. Um, you know, because when it came out, I'm, I'm just more interested in the fantasy. Like, I, I don't like how oppressive shooting is in Warhammer 40k. And yes, terrain balances that out. But a lot of tables you play on don't have adequate terrain, right? So you, um, you kind of just get screwed in a lot of games, like casual games and whatnot. Yeah, sorry guys. Sorry. We got Lady Jessica. Yeah, they forced it on aggression pact on us, so there's not gonna be any Arrakis right now. Alright, so let's fire this off. Let's do this. And uh just need to do an announcement in the Discord that we're gonna be starting it. And it is gonna be AoE. It is AoEing time. Maybe four. Cream time. Soon work. So AoE four it is. Alright. Cool. So we got that fired up. Let's play, baby. Let's have some fun. Jumping on over to the old Empire of Ages. Let's uh, get a multiplayer lobby going. It'll be interesting to see, since a lot of the regulars probably aren't ready for this. Maybe we'll get some uh, some new faces in there as well. But I'm going to set up our first FFA of the day. And ladies and gentlemen, just want to sincerely thank you for joining. Apologies for the uh, difficulties in the beginning. We paid the troll toll pretty hard. Danny got us. And uh, now we have our lobby open. Surprise lobby. And turn FFA. All right. Cool. So it'll probably feel slower since people aren't expecting it. Yeah, you can see. Yeah, all right. All right, then. We're getting there. We're getting there. And allow observers. Uh, no delay. Reveal on elimination. And cool. Good luck. Have fun. All right, all right. Greetings from Israel. Hope you're doing well, man. Hope you're doing well. Yeah, age is, age is always fun, man. The FFA games are just such a, such a wild experience. What do we want to play, though, is the question. Um, let's see here. Um, Byzantines are always fun. Olives are bust. Yeah, I, I'm thinking I want to play a little bit of Roost and play some bounty games. You know, try that and see how that goes. Yeah, let's play some Roost. We already have an Olive Brother in here. 
And it looks like everything's filled up. I believe Whisper is pretty high ranked, right? Let's see. Let us see, brother. Maybe we'll do some 1v1 games towards the end of this as well. All right, so set no teams. Set no teams, please. We've got our mega random map all set. Hey, Cy, no worries. Hope your tournament went well. All right, all right. Howdy from Texas. That's where my grandma lives. I actually have a lot of family in Texas. Um, all right, one, two, three. All right, I think we're good. Map looks fine. Screenshotting the lobby in case it crashes so we can get the same players back. And yeah, Roos are fun in FFA. They're not like busted or anything, but they, they have some good tricks. You know, it sucks because one of the big strengths of Roost is their wood economy and having super good battering rams, right? But the issue with that being is that if you want to get the Imperial upgrade for battering rams to make them just raid bosses, you have to forsake stone walls. And not having stone walls in FFA is like one of the jankiest things ever. Are these new saves a little OP? Uh, it depends. <laughs> Roost is our gun and arrow. Um, yeah, so we have um, Byzantines are not OP. Japan is strong, but beatable. Uh, Joan, Joan, I think, is really good at like stomping players in the lower ranks, for sure. Uh, Ayubids and Jushis. Jushis is definitely OP. Like, they're definitely OP. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about that. Yeah. Hey, Taren, do you play cross-platform at all? No, I haven't. No. I, controllers hurt my hands a lot. I have really bad hand problems. So, and controllers are not very uh, easy on my hands, so, yeah. It was a solid turn, you said. Grudges were settled. The champion was crowned. Hey, right on. Good. Glad to hear it. Oh, man. The Dritz books are my favorite. Oh, my God. I love the Dritz books. Those were so great. Those were so good. That was probably one of the first fantasy series I really dove into. The Forgotten Realms, like the, the you know, the Sojourn, Homeland, Exile, um, you know, Streams of Silver, the Halfling's Gem. Those, those are just like such masterpieces of, of books. I mean, look, they're a little bit simplistic when you go back and read them as an adult, but still very, very fun. Dritz is such a cool character, you know? I love how he emerges from the Underdark and then he's trained. It has like all the stereotypes. He's like trained by a blind monk and uh, he slowly gathers this party. You know, you got Brunor, Battlehammer, you got Wolfgar, Caddy Bree, you know, just uh, Artemis and Cherry, just the most, <laughs> like there's so many cool characters. It's so fun. Uh, I think the high trade house counts separately. So you get 300 from hunting cabins plus high trade house. Yeah. So typically Roos will get 500 passive gold a minute, which isn't bad. That, like that's enough to make some, at least some artillery with your wood armies. Yeah, it was fun. I, I mean, Ari Salvatore's first three Jits books are the first books. Yeah. Same, same Robley. Sounds like we had a similar experience. Those, those books are great. What's your favorite fantasy books? I mean, I love Lord of the Rings. Um, I'm a big Lord of the Rings guy. But, I mean, honestly, I probably, as a kid, enjoyed reading the um, Dritz books more. Those, like, arguably might be some of my favorites. Um, I mean, I love Game of Thrones, too. Uh, Game of Thrones is amazing. All right, that's right. We're playing Roos. I was like, I got I to gotta be on top of this and go uh, hunt for some bounty here. Yes, yes. All right, so we got that. Looking good. Uh, he's going to set up the hunting cabin here. And then we can get you to come over and set up a house. All right. And hopefully we can get to like a high amount of bounty like real real quick. The later books got super generic. That's a shame. I never read past. I think I read the first 11 books in that series. Um, and then I stopped. So I don't know what the more modern ones are like. But yeah, Dritz is a really fun character. Good luck. Have fun. Yeah, good luck. So out of the gates, we don't have a great spawn. Um, it's a little unfortunate, but it's all good in the neighborhood. Let's get you and cut these guys. And then we need to get a second scout running around and... Um, Probably high trade, not high trade house, but the Golden Gate. No, Kremlin is better for 1v1, but I think in, in FFA format, um, it's going to be better suited to have... Um, I feel like there's water nearby. Like, the way the land is here, it kind of looks like there could be water, which would suck if we missed that, but we're already kind of... Oh, of course, yeah. Right right as I look, yes. There's there's a glorious, glorious sea here. So let's grab you guys, do this, do that, and um, yeah, okay. This is like, if we don't play this, then we're just a potato. So let's do that. Do this and keep hunting bounty. Is this an island map? No, it's not. Okay, so it's not islands. Uh, let's take you back and drop those sheep off real quick and keep looking for bounty. So far, the bounty isn't great. We need to get on the water, 100%. So let's keep creeping around. Uh, let's drop these sheep off here, and then you, buddy, can go down here and see. So that's the lamb who's on the bizon memes. And uh, yeah, we need to play the water. We need to. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, because Wolfgar gets uh, he gets like trapped and in, in basically uh, you know. And, and Dungeons and Dragons hell, right? And yeah, I mean, understandably, that's going to have an effect on him. But yeah, no, that was that was uh, interesting. I remember reading that. Yeah, I vividly remember that. Oh my God, there's a bunch of sheep up here too. Hopefully, nobody's denying bounty as well. 
Um, so far, we haven't had too much success on the bounty game, so let's uh, get that wolf. We haven't found too many of these. Um, all right, so you guys go there, and then we can send the next one over here to set up in the water. And can we find some deer? Sometimes they're, like, up in the mountains. It's very strange. But, yeah, I doubt it. All right. So it looks like it's not, like, a true water map, you know? There's, there's a... Okay, perfect. So we got some deer. As long as you get, like, two waves, don't you dare try and deny that purple. Don't make me sweat. Not right now. Okay, Dritz isn't going to make me uh, sweat here, which is good. All right, he's, oh, oh, is he? Is he now? He's attacking me. All right. So I have to sweat for this bounty. How dare you? We're going to remember this, Dritz. Okay, so we're going to go up here. Look at this. I will remember this. You made me work for it. This is an FFA game. <laughs> All right. So that's fine. We're going to go look. I think we see another deer pack right here. So let's go get all these. All right. And then we can start in the wheelbarrow here. And you guys do this. And um, outstanding. So let's get some boats moving out for the old roos. Okay. I just accidentally lured somebody under a TC. It was not my intention. <laughs> oh, he chased me under the TC. That's what you get, dude. Oh, uh, did you guys see that? So Dritz chased me under the TC. Oh, he's playing roos. Okay. I understand why he's, he's denying bounty now. Okay. He just lost his scout, though. He chased me under that guy's TC and got caught. Holy shit, that's so funny. All right. Cool. So looking good. And uh, we'll keep you here. We should have enough soon to age up. And all is good in the neighborhood. Scout fight, scout fight it was. All right. This is kind of a fun part about playing Roos. You get to play this, like, mini game. You know, it's always, always, always a good time. All right. So let's look around here. And uh, we're pretty close to aging up. We have a shit ton of uh, resources right now, so let's just get some upgrades. Why the hell not? Uh, our fishing boats are moving out in full force. Okay, the scout can go and drop you off. It looks like the blue scout emperor was near us. Looking a little bit crunk. The combat will cost you dearly. Yes, it will. Oh, he didn't even—he didn't get the deer pack right next to his base, actually, which is good for us. All right, let's grab you guys, do this, and we're going to do the Golden Gate because it's just, uh, you know, getting that stone trade in the late game is just very, very powerful, right? So, all right, let's keep looking. Keep looking. Hopefully, we don't lose our scouts here like a potato, and I, I'm sure I will. Um, we should have a pretty quick castle age. I mean, I could go 2 TC, which, what do we have near us? We have the Lamb, so we have the Byzantines. I mean, they can rush. Byzantines have a respectable rush for sure, and uh, the other scout should be out and about now. All right, guys. Fishing Roos, yeah. Roos, Roos uh, definitely have a good wood economy. They can go pretty hard on the wood. We need to find all the relics. So we see red down here, so let's not run under his base and die. Alright, so let's hug the middle here. We're at 285 bounty. We should be able to find at least a couple boar and get that going. House is about to finish, and now we have uh, gold being gathered. Outstanding, and uh, we can get some eco upgrades like as soon as we age up, because we have a very, very good passive build right now. Alright. Let's get the Roos fishing boats, and they can teleport. You know, the Roos discovered that, apparently, in history. Okay, first boar in the middle. And, uh, all right. All's good in the neighborhood, man. Looks like there's, like, an interesting peninsula here. All right, so we got the teal base, so let's keep rolling around. Uh, I have no excuse not to scout now that I'm playing Roos and I have two of these guys. You know, I should be able to scout pretty heavily. So that's going to give me 25. Um, this will give me 38, 40 a minute there. That's actually a really good spot. Plus, it's next to some berry bushes in case I want to gather those. Uh, we see the boar. I'm not going to be able to take the boar yet. And um, let's go down here. How's life treating you guys, by the way? I hope you're all doing well, man. It's been uh, My wife's going to be back in town. She's been in Poland visiting her mom. I've just been like a creature here, just uh, growing haggard and, and old. <laughs> <laughs> in her absence. Um, all right, so we grab that, and then we just go fast. I think we go fast castle and try and secure some relics. Although I don't know where too many relics are right now. There's probably some hidden up by up here. Let's get another scout and go like check that out. All right, so they're heading for that, and um, we can go ahead and set up a little tower here. Although we probably want to set that up here. Okay, so we see a trade post down here. Pretty close to aging up in a moment. Uh, let's get the lumber upgrade, because that's going to be really good. And we we'll, could get the mining upgrade, too. Okay, so we see Zhushi's cackling in the night. And only two relics so far, which is a bit of a bummer. I need to I need to find more of those. I suspect there's something going on up here. Let's get Wheelbarrow. You come back to the base, buddy. Jump on that. And almost, almost ready to age up. <laughs> Whisper is a schemer, by the way. I feel like everybody's a schemer in this, in this format, though, right? 
Okay, the Khan is shooting me, but we're just going to ignore him and go for the bounty. Whose Khan is that? The Siberius? Okay, Siberius is eyeing me like a like a prize here. Alright, so he's not denying me, which is good. Um, we only see the one. Checking here to see if there's any relics, and it doesn't look like it. So let's go over here and see what we can find. And are we getting all the bounty? We are. So we're up to 335, which is great. Almost ready to age up, actually. We can sell a little bit of wood here. And now you guys can do the Abbey of... Abbey of the Trinity will get us faster relics, but the high trade house is... is um, that's only 180, though. 176, 153. Uh, that would be 211. Yeah, this is what? That's like two relics worth, basically. I suppose that's an okay spot. 180. It's, it's not terrible. Okay, so we see another deer camp here. And we're just going to grab the relics the old-fashioned way. And, uh, you know, hope it works out. Alright, get you guys going. And let's make some Roost Knights, just in case we get attacked or something. We're going to want some of that. This con is having a, or getting its jollies off, for sure. Oh, another deer camp in the middle. Oh, baby, sign me up. That is a steal. Alright, let's get this up. Okay. He was he was coming for blood. I thought that Khan was going to try and kill me there. You know, straight up hunt down that scout. Let's get one more fishing boat. And that should be enough on that department. And uh, we'll also get the knights upgraded. We see docks. So we've scouted most of the map. And unfortunately, that deer camp was uh, purged there. I only see two relics in the middle. We might be able to get them. It's going to be hard, um, for sure. Let's buy a little bit of wood as we age up here. And now we can make the roost knights. Looking great. And um, we can also set this up just to be safe. I don't know where the aggression could come from. So want to be cautious. All right, let's get you. And um, I think that's literally it. So let's just do like two layers of walls up there just to make sure we're safe and secret. Um, we see the Mongol walls and a new age has begun. Outstanding. So let's get you guys, a handful of you guys to come back here. We need to get the, re rel the reliquary monastery. Drop that bad boy down, get the knights upgraded, and uh, yeah, and then we get the wood economy uh, sauce as well. Okay, so we're going to get the walls there. Should be okay. We've scouted most of the map, but really, really haven't. Ooh, we found another deer camp. Hell yeah. Give me that sweet, sweet bounty, baby. Yes. Give it to me, precious. All right, and let's see if we can get some relics. If we get at least two, I'm going to be happy with in between that and the high trade house. And we're going to be at 500 bounty here in just a second, right? So that will be very, very nice. Let's get this, and we can set up some palisade walls to uh, secure some of this land and um, secure this gold as well. Gonna get some horsemen. We could try horse archers for fun too. They're not like the best unit, but they're certainly pretty rad. Um, I don't think we need to wall anything else off there. I think that's the extent of it. And we can go 2TC now if we want to. Alright, so let's go here and check for relics, and you buddy can go and uh, check for relics up here. Okay, did he actually pop out? He did. Okay, and then you guys can do a little bit of this. Looks like a Keshik is here. So maybe they're going to raid me. I'm not sure. Yeah, he's thinking about... He looking like he wants to raid me here. We're going to have some knights popping out in a second, though. Okay, no problem. Let's get the stable up. And it looks like we did lose a character there, but the warrior monk has grabbed that first relic and is going to be bringing it back here. And then the other relic hopefully can be grabbed in a moment. And brought back. Okay. Outstanding. Let's get on wood. And now we should be able to get our knights out. And they, they can fight those Kashyyyks. Kashyyyks are more of like a... They're decent fighters for sure. But um, yeah, I think we'll have a slight advantage there. All right. So that's going to be two. Dude, I don't, I don't, I, this map is really, really... Um, like Baron Bear, I guess would be... Or, or Relic Bear, I should say. Okay. Looking good. We got one Relic here. We got our knights coming out. Um, let's start getting some upgrades for the knights. And you can make a journey all the way down to the south. And try and grab that one if you can. Oh, hello. Okay. And then come down here and get this one. And that's going to be two. We need a lot more in gold for sure. I don't know what I was thinking with that. We're a little bit lax. Uh, everyone chose their factions here. Yeah, everybody chose their factions. Correct. So that great wall is being built. And um, then we can just wall off the rest of our empire. So let's get you. Come down here and take, like, let's take land, like, quite out a ways. Yeah, I think that's going to be good. And then we can do this. And that will be very much our piece of the pie. All right, so that's going to be double relic. Let's get some more fishing boats. And, um, yeah, I would like to hide our last landmark. Maybe, can I get up in the mountains there? Is that possible? We'll have to see if it is. Okay, looks like we're being harried to the border. So we know who our first enemy is here. Uh, who we're going to have to fight. That is for sure. Let's get the Chef Boy RD. And we're at 500 plus bounty. 
The walls have been destroyed. The Keshiks are uh, are doing a number on it. I wish it wouldn't select my religious characters. Lamb is still age two, so he, he's he's potentially going to be the lamb to the slaughter if he's not careful. We're going to do like a big mobile Rus army with a lot of a uh, lot of knights and stuff. It's going to be pretty metal. Um, let's go grab the sacred site. You come down here, buddy, and we can grab. Try and grab this relic, and then sneak back up, 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 up. Yes, good. The Roost Knights should win this fight pretty decisively. We have a lot on gold now, so not so bad. And uh, let's get some more Roost Fishing Boats and also get the upgrade. Make some Horse Archers and some Knights and whatnot. And that relic is still there, which is really good. What's my favorite? Oh, shit, he's got a big army, actually. Okay, well, we better put some respect on this uh, this Bizzin meme master here. Okay, let's do that and that. Okay, horsemen, we might need them. I don't think he's going to counterattack. He could, could counterattack us, I suppose. But, um, yeah, that was... He actually had a lot of Lehman tonight down there. So, we were able to get some work in. Get the upgrades, and we... Oh, hello. Okay. Well, that's not going to fly. We're not going to get that relic. That was a little bit too deeply and too greedily we delved. Alright, so let's grab this. We see the Biz and Meme army. Um, let's get our horse archers. It's not the most optimal army comp in the world here, but let's also mix in some like some men at arms or something, just so we have like something to uh, bash the spearmen, and we can start working on stone here. Yeah, and I'm I'm saving up my charges on the uh, trade house here for the um yeah horse archers are just so cool. Let's make a bunch of those. Favorite single player game? That's a really tough question. I mean, back in the day, I would have said you know probably like mm, Baldur's Gate 2: Shadows of Om was one of my favorites. Um, let's have you ride around. I mean, can we even get there? Is there a peninsula with which we can run? We see trade in the middle, so that's pretty good. Uh, obviously, we blundered our houses as usual. All right, let's set you guys up here. Um, upgrades, yes please. So they're going to power build those houses. We shouldn't have to worry about supply block here, and uh, we're going to gather a dread legion. All right, so the men at arms are going to be on the way out. Let's get you do this, and we need to go build uh, more hunting cabins now. So where do we want to set up? Oh, we can do one right there, yes, and um, buy a little bit of wood, and um, we can do another hunting cabin up here. Ooh, forty-five gold a minute is pretty sweet. Okay, it looks like that's actually like just the end of the peninsula. That relic is still down there for teal. Okay, build some crossbows and some men at arms. And uh, we also would like to get a siege workshop so we can finish the job. So we're going to bring a couple rams in and hopefully that'll that'll seal the deal. All right, let's get walls here. The Bizen memes uh, did destroy some of our walls. They're on what appears to be two TC, so their their economy could be could be very strong. But I have fishing, so I'm not even that far behind really um, in regards to the uh, overall state of the eco. I know, I, I hate to fight my olive brother early, but he's he's right next to me, you know. There's there's he's not leaving me with too many choices here. Yeah, and he's got what appears to be a decent army. Alright, let's go down and, and see if we can make war with him here. I think like I think we should just probably butcher his armies. Um, but I could be wrong. I mean we have the castle age advantage. Our units are pretty upgraded. And uh, we're we're coming for you. We're we're coming for you, bud. All right, so we're gonna charge. Um, let's pull you guys back. All right, let's do this and attack. Let these guys kind of flank, scoot and shoot with the archers a little bit. Good. Lehman's and I are very Chad, so we probably want to shoot the Keshiks. Yeah, because they they're not gonna be super resilient against this fire since they're only feudal. And uh, yeah, that's gonna be the end of him. We're gonna get into his base now and just give him the dirty. Um, do we have any rams we can send? We do, so let's send some rams over there. All right, looking good. And uh, we can finally finish these walls. He does get it upgraded. Let's get in and disrupt his eco a little bit. So yeah, two TC with me as a neighbor's pretty, uh, pretty, pretty, uh, pretty rough. We're gonna get in and definitely give him the business. He just lost a ton of eco. That's probably gonna seal the deal for him. And uh, let's get a siege workshop. Uh, I doubt he has any relics. And do we ever get this wall finished? We didn't. Do we get that finished? All right, great. So should have rams coming in a second. Yeah, a lot of his bills are fleeing the scene. It looks like he canceled the age up. And um, yeah, I think that's going to be our first foe, which means we get control of this corner, which is very, very big. So a couple of you guys turn and fight. You guys chase down the bills here. And uh, rams should be arriving in a moment. Yes, yes. We got rams coming for the ram god. Rams for the ram throne. Yeah, the olive oil is certainly going to get cooked here, guys. Certainly going to get cooked. Um, and once we get the rams, we should be able to really, really finish it. Yeah, Roos, Roos Cavalry can be pretty overwhelming in the, uh, you know, with Boyar's Fortitude and all those different upgrades. You can be pretty nasty. He's got two landmarks. So we just take this one down. We got the rams coming. Let's get you. All right. And then we can seal this. And U19 Bills have finished that. Let's get over here. We need to uh, get our high trade houses going. 
Yeah, Baldur's Gate 3 is fun, you know, I, but I, as I've gotten older, I've, I've become less interested in single player games, you know? One thing that I kind of find you lose as you get older is like, you know, in many elements, like, like, you know, a lot of your friends go separate ways and whatnot, you know, gaming buddies, you know, sports buddies, whatever. Um, so multiplayer games for me kind of help scratch that itch, you know what I'm saying? All right, he's some good micro here from the lamb. He's doing some some nice uh, ninja repairs on me. So let's get you guys, and now we need to kind of annex this land. Uh, why can we not do that? Okay, that was a little bit of a weird one there. Okay. Yes, yes. Cool. So we're gonna go work on that, and um, now we need to get his other landmark. I suspect he's building one somewhere else. Yeah, Baldur's Gate Three is. I uh, what I should I should be more specific. I mean, I like PvP. Um, you know, that's my jam. Okay, so that's going to be the end of the biz and memes, probably. Well played, my olive brother. And now I can safely expand up in the corner here. So let's grab you guys, do this, and we'll go set our uh, landmark over there. Okay, looking good. Oh, he does go uh, castle, which means he probably built something up here. So let's go do a little bit of scouting to make sure, see where he went. The Byzantine Emperor may have fallen this day, but we will continue clearing out the base and we'll find his landmark. All in due time. And uh, yeah, we're going to go expand up in his uh, corner there now. Okay, I think we have most of the upgrades, and there it is. Okay, there's the Golden Gate. Okay, so let's head down here, do this. He's got a handful of vills with their little prison shanks, and uh, looks like there is a villager hiding here too. Okay, so let's go get this landmark here. We got you guys doing this, and we're I think we have to go Chadskaya. Because Chadskaya Tower gives us stone walls, and without stone walls it's just so rough. I know the high armory is really good. It's like very, very good, but um, yeah, let's make some more fishing boats. All right, so the walls are being built, so we're taking over this portion of the empire. Um, what the hell is this? That was weird. You guys see that? It was like, started building and then ran into some issues there. Ah, uh, sorry about that, Evaniel. Sorry to hear that, man. That's that's always... What the hell is this? Is there like some... Oh, there's deer carcasses there. Okay. Um, all right. So the north has been secured, so now what we try and do is get some trade going. We need to gather a lot of stone, too. So let's go up here. Can we actually get up there? Is that possible? Let's see if there's a route to get there. There must be some way. Uh, Chad Sky is coming. Um, we have this here. Let's go ahead and build a couple TCs to try and pump the jams on our eco. So let's do this right here. And the rams. Is there any reason to destroy this? We can mm, maybe we keep the rams. Go up here. Try and get aggressive this direction. I think that could be smart. All right. Okay, so let's fire these off. We have a pretty good economy right now. Chad Sky is going to be finishing in a second. And when that's done, they can come and grab this. And we'll continue our uh, our aggression. Yeah, I think our food economy is more or less stabilized on the fish. Roost fishing boats are insanely good. They're insanely good. And on the south, we have... He is toast. We have a second TC coming up here. Emperor has reached Imperial Age. And we are now in age as well, so let's get all these sweet upgrades for the boys. Yeah, we'll get the horse archer upgrade. Why not? It's kind of fun, right? All right, let's fire you off. Get you back here. And uh, we have our second TC. We should in a second. And upgrades. Upgrades for the upgrade gods. Upgrade for the upgrade throne. Uh, we can get some of these. Probably actually get that upgrade. And then, um, yeah, we just save up for university. GG, Lamb. Well played. Sorry about that, brother. You know, you're just, you're next to me. And uh, the dreaded Keshik raids certainly uh, instilled fear in my heart. All right, so that's going. You guys head over to wood for now. Let's keep the villagers heading here. You guys turn in and go there. We're at 585 bounty, so we don't need to worry too much about that. Uh, and you guys can jump on this. Yes. And we need to get a uni as soon as possible here. Okay, can you just do this, please? Thank you. We see sacred sites being grabbed. Tithe barns uh, could be worth it. I mean, we only have two relics, but I still feel like it could be could be decent here. Uh huh. Men at arms and knights, and then we need to get biology like right away. Don't know if we need burning oil by for any reason. I would like to wall off the southern border. Um, I don't know how we do that. Maybe like this. This is so greedy. Holy shit. That's a huge wall, like right in that fallen base. 
The first turn he ever put on for turn, I was eliminated by turn two. Oh, yeah. That's funny. Okay. So Uni, is it up? Should be finishing here in a second. Then we get the biology upgrade. And uh, where the hell are our siege workshops? That's right. We have one here. Could get banded rams. And uh, let's get another one of these. I don't know. French can be pretty scary, but he's a corner French player, right? Like, if nobody puts pressure on him, he just wins the game. So it needs to be dealt with. You know, he's got to... He's got to... You have to meet his, uh, his 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 corner situation with uh, serious intent here. Okay, we're making a very expensive army, so another player is bit in the dust. Okay, interesting. It's gonna be one of those like turbo wonder games where somebody just like wonders like really early on. Okay, biology. It's gonna make our horsemen super jacked. Um, the fishing fleet is looking good. He says too greedy. All right, well somebody's being greedy apparently. Let's get a bombard cannon. And uh, get you up too. Hmm. So the trade post here is like is is a godsend for us. If we can secure that, let's see if we can like get a cheeky wall like something like this, and start to secure that. That would be really nice. We'll try our best. Um, it looks like the wood economy is picking up here, which is good. I don't know if we max out our hunting cabin situation. So let's uh, make sure we have all our hunting cabins set up so we're getting the maximum amount of gold we can possibly get. Which, uh, that should do it right there, I think. Yeah, it should do it. All right. So we got a big, mean army. And uh, bombards and biology is coming. It's great. And then the next operation is going to be starting to set up some trade. So we'll set up a couple traders here. Start working on that. We got 10 workers down there. Let's go jump you guys on some gold here. No problem. Our food economy could be better. Maybe we just produce more fishing boats, huh? Yeah, I mean, I guess that, that gets the job done. They, they have really, really good return. But I don't want to get like lose a big fight because I like uh, was too relaxed on the... Uh, uh, let's set up the keep. Where would we want it? Like, like a little bit deep set here? Yeah, so we have stone walls being built. Slowly but surely, they will uh, secure our great empire here. And let's keep working on the empire. Yes and yes. We're just gonna try and cut that corner. Yeah, the French the French are definitely definitely very strong uh, Rus Imperial armies are pretty respectable though because of the Streltsy. You can definitely do some work All right, so now we can start bumping the gems on you. I think we're gonna need to set up some land-based farming here soon And uh, okay, these are oh, oh, he's dead if that's if that's what I think it is if those are feudal archers that are unupgraded I think this man is in some serious danger uh, he, he, unless he's got something else hidden in the shadows, right? So we're going to move in. We're coming for you. And yeah, I think he's in some danger here. All right. So the huge Rus army pours through the gates with uh, these huge boyar knights. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Here we go. Okay. So we got we to gotta focus those things down stat. Okay, never mind. He's actually got elite royal knights. I don't know why he was making potato archers. That was weird. Um, but nonetheless... Our Streltsy and Horse Archer lines are doing big damage. And uh, let's get our cannons to shoot at you. And it looks like the Roost Knights are about as good as the French Knights. And we have way more HP and upgrades. Yeah, so it looks like we're able to get in there and do that. Okay, let's make some battering rams. And just keep that momentum going. Looking good. And uh, yeah, the Horse Archers are kind of cool. They do a little bit of damage. It ain't bad. No, he's got elite units. It was just those three. All right, so the Great Wall is going. We're going to try and clear this out. Uh, definitely need to get more stables. The fact that I can only make a couple knights at once is pretty bronze Odia. Okay, let's set that up and keep moving through and try and finish the job here. Looking good. And um, now you guys can come down here and we can just wall this off like so. Okay, so let's keep moving in here. Yellow Hulk smash, yeah, basically is what, it is what it is. Um, we got the Great Wall of Stone in the south. Um, panic building a keep is a good idea for sure. College of Artillery, all right. So Streltsy should be pretty jacked here. Let's pull back, let's pull back, and move you guys and move you guys. Uh-oh. Battering rams need to go. Thankfully, he didn't dive my artillery there. Um, that's what I thought he was going to do. Yeah, he just lost a ton of villagers here. Um, our eco is 124, which I think is enough. Oh, we're actually able to get up here. Okay. So this would have been a good spot to... Um, to build a landmark if I had scouted that a little bit earlier. All right. Uh, he does dive the cannons in the end, but I think it doesn't matter. It's a little too late for that. Uh, so let's go landmark hunting. He's Imperial, so we got one, two, three, and the other one will soon come into play. So let's get this, 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 and um, let's go see if we can scout out his last landmark here. 
Alright, so we're just taking all the gold we possibly can before we switch to trade. Uh, you guys, yeah, can finish those trees, no problem. Probably a red palace up in the corner, I would suspect is going to be the case. Yeah, it could be. Okay, let's get on those workers, make sure they can't do much. Rams can go there, rams with the ram god, and that is going to fall. Yeah, I suspect there's a red palace in the corner, which is going to be where he makes his stand. And then this is where we would corner Wonder here. It's a, Unfortunately, it's a bit of a big spot. Okay, he had a lot of farm eco back here. Okay, Move across there. Walls are coming. Set up a gatehouse and a gatehouse here. Yeah, they're, they're slowly setting up our, our southern uh, blockade. Who's still in the game? So Whispers, Zhu Shi, which is really tough. Emperor's still in the game, Siberius. Dritz is still in the game, too. So a fair amount of players still left. All right, let's do that. And let's do this, 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 and this. Keep clearing out the old base. Um, yeah, he's losing a lot of bills up there. It seems like uh, my two neighbors went like multi-TC, so that was able to give us a, uh, a good a good jump on him. Take as much gold as we can. All right. So where where is your, your last landmark? No, it's around here somewhere. All right, so let's head north. Ah, there's the guild hall. Okay, great. Send so the rams. We'll take out the French knights. And uh, then we need to pull some bills and finish the Great Wall here. And also pull some bills. And they need to come over here. And we need to set up a Great Wall over here too. So when they arrive, we'll do that. All right. So we got that. That's his last landmark. And it uh, looks like there are a couple of roost knights. I think he might have sniped my bombards when I wasn't looking. Which is fine. Um, so we'll just keep clearing everything out. Rams are still doing some work. Yeah, French Knights coming in once again. Uh, we need to make sure we finish the job here, so let's keep sending some troops. I think the only upgrades we're missing are maybe the food gathering, which doesn't matter so much since our food is really tied up in fishing. All right, so into the farms we go, heading north. Looks like a couple of bills here trying their best. And uh, yeah, we're gonna have these guys, so let's see how we can do this. So let's wall, let's see what the, the coast looks like. Take down the keep. Actually, you know what? Let's just go for his landmark. I don't think he can repair the other ones in time, so it's whatever. All right. So we can use the French walls there. Ah, oh, that's annoying. Oh, my my poor villagers. I was all, I was ready to secure the lands, but sadly he was uh, he was waiting and watching. Okay, you guys turn and fight. Let's get the upgrades fully done, including siege engineering. You guys jump here. And that is going to be the end of the guild hall for sure. Yeah, he's pulling everyone to try and fight. Those villagers actually get away from those knights for real. Huh. Yeah, he must be pulling everyone up north. And is that going to be the end of the corner French player? It is. GG. You can't have the French in the corner. You can't. You guys have seen the FFAs long enough to know that that's basically a death sentence. If you let the French players live in the corner, you're just going to lose. So now we just we kind of secure our um, our corner, right? And we can delete the rams. We need to get a big bank of resources. We're at 140 eco, which is pretty heavy metal. Let's get the food going, army tactics. Yeah, let's just get all the upgrades because they're all going to be relevant at some point or other. I was next to the Dark Lord himself. Oh, you, did, you did fine, man. You did great. You did great, man. Well played. All right. So how are we looking? Um, this trade is going to be decent. Yeah, we can start on that. We got you guys. We need to polish off like every gold node we can find, like every single one, right? And you come up here and let's do this. All right. So that's going to be here and here and here. Let's make sure that landmark is safe. And uh, how are we looking up here? This is going, I think there is, is this like a choke point up here too? It could be. This is definitely a nice little uh, angle, too, where they might have some problems with us. So obviously somebody might attack from this direction, so let's do that, let's do that. And uh, also we can get another one doing that. Man, we can do one more. I think that's literally just the only choke that they can get through there. Okay. Set up a little tower here for some vision. Did he have trade? He probably has, ooh, yes, doc, oh, hold up, actually, hold up. All right, so let's do this, and you guys go there. Yeah. That is going to be the way. All right, so onto those resources you go, my friends. Let's continue making some uh, business here. It looks like green. The Mongols have set up shop here, so that's Siberius. Um, I definitely need some more infrastructure here. Uh, stone? Yeah, we need to get all the stone we possibly can. 
We have taken, you know, we have taken uh, pretty good map control, I would say. Let's go see what that looks like there. And the traders should be able to move across pretty seamlessly. Uh, obviously, we're going to be walling that. And is there any more? There's some nice territories up here for sure. Uh, I suppose this gives us some vision here. Is there a way through? Okay, yeah, there's a horseman there. Okay, so we got all that walled. He's going to set up a couple layers of walls there. You can come and build uh, gatehouses here. Yes. Now we just hang out. Probably want to upgrade some basic units just in case we run out of gold at some point. I think that's going to be smart. And we uh, have these guys just cruising, cruising up for a bruising. Gold's being taken. It's good to have a greedy economy right now, I think. Oh, a trade ship, really? Okay. Um, yeah, a food economy is the one really flimsy part of our empire. Uh, he's trading with me with a trade ship, maybe? Could be, I'm not sure what his game plan is there. Our bounty's maxed out, gold is being taken. Um, so Whisper's down there with Siberius and then Dritzt. Dritzt is over here, that is the other Roost player. Okay. Okay, so let's build the gatehouse here. Make sure the boys can get through. We are being scouted a little bit. Um, this corner is being walled. We have the Great Wall here. Then we have the Walmart wall behind it. And uh, we need to be banking more food. Yeah, I mean, the fishing boat's teleporting food back is giving us a decent food economy, but it's only 2400 a minute, which is, is okay, I guess. Yeah, you guys come here. So let's get our traders, gather them here. Don't mind me here. I'm just hiding from Teal. Sounds good. Not surprised. Zhu OP. I have to politic here. But green green must still be alive, huh? Yeah, green must still be alive. So Zhushis could be doing something. I mean, he has trade in his base. Uh, yeah, I see it. So purple and green are both fighting him? Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm pretty sure the Zhushi player is, is the one who's the villain here. You know what I'm saying? It's pretty obvious. So we're setting up layers of walls. Our traders will go through this. We got this nice and secure here. And also we're going to get a little wood patch there. So U43, let's come down and grab this gold. Yes. And you guys can come up here and grab this gold. He's coming. That's what she said. Um, all right. Couldn't help myself. I'm sorry. Okay. I'll, I don't mind him getting 20 trade there. It's not a huge deal. Okay, traders, and then we can start to delete some of the lumber eco here in a second, since I think we have enough. Yeah. All right, so almost all set there, and then you guys can go trade up there. All right, let's party. Like, it's 1999. Great year, 117 a pop. And we're pretty, like, safe against, like, scouting and stuff, too. Uh, somebody could land on us, perhaps. So let's maybe do a little bit of this. Can we get, like, a wall going here? And then, um, yes, and yes, yes. Take our knights and go kill these docks here, the ones that like are open for other people to trade with. We definitely don't want to share our wealth. That is not the recipe for success. And um, for now, let's build some more military tech. Okay, okay, and yes. It's gonna take them a while to do that, but eventually it'll get there and then that should be enough for us to sustain late game fighting. Trebuchet is, you know, might as well get the upgrade. Yeah, Abbasid are a decent sieve. The only downside of the Abbasid is that they have, um, they only have one, two landmarks, so they're very easy to snipe. Like, if an Abbasid player screws up once and just gets their base compromised, they're basically out of the game, right? Oh, we never finished this great wall. Alright, let's take this down so nobody can trade with it. There could be, like, trade across, right? Yeah, buildings outside my walls and calling me a tyrant. Someone has to deal with OP Jushi. Yes, yes, OP Jushi. Deal with them, minions. Okay, so let's set you guys up, and um, in the meantime, we can go ahead and set up back here. Alright, so we're going to start switching into that a little bit. So that gold has been taken. Let's go down here and grab this. We've gotten that dock down. I don't think there's any other docks around that are going to be a problem. In all Delhi FFA, that would be pretty wild for sure. That would be a uh, very intense one. Relics being grabbed, elephants flying everywhere. Flying elephants. Um, yeah, we got the stone here, man. Let's go grab it. We're getting all the goodies, man. 
You just got here? Um, yeah, so we killed our two neighbors successfully, and now we are um, scheming. Scheming how we want to play this, really. Yeah, we're scheming it. Unfortunately, there's a lot of surface area here. Like, a wonder would actually be better up here. Um, holy shit, yeah, with these choke points and stuff. But they can always, like, attack my base, and then I would have to defend that. So I think we would probably just wonder back here. Just, uh, even though it's a little dodgy defending all this, like, open ground here, we still have some decent choke points and whatnot. So, um, I think that would be the play. All right, second layer of walls, just in case. Let's get you going, and you guys going here. In the old ruined Bizon meme empire. It's gonna take a while to get those walls, but it should be fine. Uh, may I suggest... Yeah, yeah, those maps are good too. I played those maps quite a bit on stream. We've done that. And then you guys, um, we're slowly starting to run out of stuff to grab around here, which is a good sign. Just grabbing all the free gold we can, and then, you know, eventually we'll get the re reliance on trade. Yeah, I don't know what you guys are doing. You can go up here and join the slumber camp, and uh, we can set you up. Do that. It's, it's the calm now, though. It's the calm. Jushi is, uh, is going to be powerful. Sacred sites? Uh, let's see. Let's get you down here, and then we can we can do this. We want to just control the sacred sites if possible. To make sure if we decide to go wonder at some point that we're going to be safe. Okay, so they're all good here. So we can start spamming out keeps here. I think the wonder would go like right there in this little like choke point here. Yeah. Byzantines. I'll play Byzantines next game probably. I think that's what we're going to jam next. I just got to got to scheme this out. Yeah, so water landings could be an issue. I definitely need to um, plan for all of that. So let's grab you guys. And um, do I want to do a coastal wall? Might not be a bad idea because that is a vulnerability. Um, unfortunately, that kind of blocks us there. Okay. And then we can delete this. We can always make more. Then you go, buddy, 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 and all right. Yeah, it's looking good. Looking good. Delete this, and uh, you come down here and complete the wall. Yeah, might have to just be a vulnerability here. This is this is like the the Helm's Deep spot that's vulnerable during the siege. Enemy destroyed Siberius' landmarks. Okay, so it looks like there is some serious conflict. By the way, guys, I still have access to the uh, Golden Gate, so I'm going to be able to get super cost-effective trades for down. Yeah, we're going to get very cost-effective trades. And this is popping off here. We have 33,000. Our food is, is uh, bank is pretty respectable. And if we can get it down to just two opponents, and then we can we can definitely safely wonder. You know, one of my big mistakes and weaknesses as a player is being really conservative with my wonders. I'm very cautious. Uh, I think I need to break that habit. So, yeah, we're building in the ruins of the old Bizon Meme Empire. Slowly but surely. Um, this is getting set up here, so we can do this, and then we can do a little bit of that too. Get those old keeps going. And the uh, market is going. Yeah, nobody's really buying stone. So let's buy some stone. We have plenty. I'm just going to push the rates up really high to screw everyone else over. And then... Um, yeah, great. So we just bit, bought a shit ton. We just pushed it up to almost 500. So at that point, yeah, now we have 8,000 stone. Uh, that's going to be very, very good. Um, we got that being set up here. Let's get this and this here. The, icon the super iconic uh, ruined Byzantine Empire. Very, very normal in our games. All right, so food is going. We're going to need to delete some eco here in a minute. Let's go ahead and wall that. We're getting our, our base layout going, which is good. Taking all the possible gold on the map. And uh, we're gonna we're gonna pull the trigger soon-ish. That's for sure. Yeah, this this little vulnerability here is certainly making me nervous. Alright, how's that trade looking? Pretty good. Pretty good, if you ask me. So walls being built. We got siege. Um, our food bank is 3,000 a minute, which is pretty okay. Considering it's all this fishing boats, and yeah, there's plenty of fishing. Nobody's disrupting that. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, that's exactly what I'm doing. You just push the rates up, and then you... Um, can, can we grab some of this stone? If they're going to let me get that stone out there, I'm happily going to take it. All right, so we need the great seawall. <laughs> yeah, we have our seawall all over the place. Could definitely get attacked here. Um, this is where purple would likely come from, right? If he's still alive. Dritz. 
Yeah, probably probably would be the case. Okay, let's do this, and then we can get that. Okay, finish the wall, finish the wall. Just kind of laying everything out nicely. And it looks like there was still some gold in the middle that nobody had taken, which is great. And yeah, we're still getting a lot of stone in the map. This is awesome, man. Surely, uh, Coward Tannin's ban- Uh, so, the- yeah, with Coward- we can't make cannon towers. So, it's- for Roos, it's a little different. You can put Spring Alds on them, but Spring Alds aren't going to be terribly impactful against Imperial units in mass. Alright, so let's finish this. Looking good. And the trade is still going pretty strong. We definitely don't have, like, a super good bank right now. We need to get more wood. The wood eco is definitely lacking here. Yeah, finish that gold off. It sounds like there's still some heavy fighting in the south. Uh, most of the gold here is being taken care of, so let's get this, this, and this. All right, sounds good. And we can start transitioning some of the workers onto um, onto food. Although we do have 40,000 food, so I suppose that's not terrible. Let's do that, and then we can do this. Yes. Cool. All right, guys. It's coming together nicely. I, I, I love walls. Walls are super good, especially stone walls. I mean, if they're trying to, you know, dive deep onto you, it's uh, it's pretty big, right? All right, so let's get the gatehouse here, and then you can come over and help with these walls here. That looks fine. You guys have finished this off. Um, this node here is still available. I think most of the nodes on the map have been kind of dealt with. Uh, I don't think you can actually reach that, so it's kind of troll. So let's just cancel that. No problem. Finishing great walls here. All right, so we got enough production to bring a pretty big army to bear. Um, we got green here, Siberius the Mongols. Looks like he's capturing a sacred site, and uh, none of the boys ever got that done, so that's unfortunate. So we need to do that. So let's get this, and then um, secure that sacred site to make sure we don't have any problems with the sacred game. And our armies can lurk around there. I know somebody's landmark is dying. Somebody's paying the price. But, um, I do not know who. Okay, so lumber economy should be much better now. So let's get these walls all set up, and you can start in the keep here. And uh, then we can go out and do another layer of walls. Sacred site's been captured by the Mongols. All right. Nobody's bothering to decap mine, which is great. Another keep coming up here, so we can do another one of these. Okay, how's this keep looking? Let's get you on this gatehouse, and uh, let's also get a gatehouse up here. All right, so yeah, it was very action-packed early game, and now it's very much devolved into, uh, you know, kind of a planning stage of things, where um, we prepare to do battle. They're going to be attacking from a couple angles, most likely. Let's throw down another keep here. Um, how are the rates right now? Still acceptable. Let's buy a little bit more. We got that going, and uh, let's get a stone wall tower here, just for vision, to see when the enemies are approaching. And, and plus, they're super thematic and cool, so I think that's going to be fun. Uh, a little bit of resources down here. I think green is, yeah, green is probably not the strongest. I mean, he does have infrastructure right along my border, which certainly makes me a little bit nervous. But um, overall, it doesn't seem like too tyrannical. Okay, so let's uh, finish this great wall here. That one never got finished. And you guys come down here, finish this great wall. Um, we could get attacked in the north. Um, our traders appear to have been cut off here, which is pretty funny. Let's get that and that. Come back to the tree line. Good, so we got the gates there. Traders are now moving again. We need to make sure we have good maneuverability around our empire. We could do insanity walls too, like just a bunch of like wood palisades. Probably wouldn't be a bad idea. Yeah, nah, for now I think we're fine. All right, so we got the keeps up. They're coming together nicely. You guys, are they stuck in the walls? God, I hate that shit. Look at this. They're, these characters are all stuck right now. Yeah. And is this guy stuck too? Look, I straight up can't move it. Wow, that's really haggard. Okay, so let's get this. And uh, let's get that. And you get that afterwards. You get that. We got one uh, 46 eco. Turn, are you just AFK? Uh, and battling. The wildlife. Purple and me in a death spiral. <laughs> yeah, he's like, are you AFK? <laughs> he's prepping wonder for sure. The boars fight ferociously. Okay, I might need to just like quit messing around here. That doesn't look like it's going to finish. That was really weird. That was like buggy as hell. I could, it wouldn't let me build that. If I kill you purple, he wins. Okay, they're starting to learn. 
They're, they're growing. They're growing wise. They must be. They must be stopped. All right. So we're gonna have to tone down our eco here in a second. These guys have done it. Um, we could set up some. Uh, I keep here. Would that stifle any progress? Maybe this is probably where they would attack. So uh, I don't know. We do have the double keeps here. So let's do this and this. So one and one. And then you, buddy, can set up another one there. And let's go to the high trade house now and switch that to our primary market and just start buying some stone out of that. So we're going to buy some stone there all the way up to the amount we need. Call it a day. Okay, so they're, they're, they're already already scheming against me here. You, you think I'm strong, eh? Yeah. I did them a favor. I killed the French corner player, you know? Okay, so the gatehouse should be online here. Let's go for him then. Uh oh, they're, 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 they're learning. The creatures of the night, they're evolving. Okay, I only have 23 bills back here, which is really haggard. Um, but I think it's going to have to do. I think it's going to have to do, ladies and gentlemen. Do we have any more bills coming across? We do. So we got 33 here. And um, I don't know if we can get this more bills over here quick enough. Yeah, because they're going to start attacking me soon. I don't know when. So keeps are being built. Let's get you to build that keep here. We got you guys at the ready. Let's just go power build this bad boy while we're waiting. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna definitely uh, definitely come to party here in a second. Okay, so what can you guys do? You guys could, I guess, build some walls to troll. They're going to power build that keep. We do have more bills on the way over, but they're still, I believe, a ways off. Yeah, a lot of lumber homies here. All right, let's go up there for now. I think that's fine. And you guys can come back and go here and here. And then we can use them to just power build keeps and whatnot. All right. Yeah, it is close to them, but this area is pretty entrenched, and it's um, it's far away from purple, too. So um, it's going to be a hard hold, for sure. It's going to be a very difficult hold. Arguably, the top would have been better. Weird no turn politics. That's what she said. Those are my politics. All right. It's a risky spot. But, you know, it's very, it's very Chad. He knows he is caught. He's gonna. I'm just gonna pull the trigger. You know, I always am too cautious, like I said. So let's uh, get you guys and get some bombards coming. Knights, Streltsy, these guys. My food is adequate. I did not see that coming. They said. All right. They, they're saying we can take sacreds, or so they think. Um, but that's not gonna be as easy. That's for sure. Okay. Let's get you, and then this can go here. In fairness, I can't see much, so we're going to have to delete some uh, eco after this. We'll probably just delete all these bills. Slap the base down. And, uh, yeah, I think we can hold this one, no problem. All right, so let's get you guys to do this. Uh-huh. New objective is to defend my wonder. All right, cool. So we delete you guys. I think we still have enough on eco. That's going to give us a big military now. So now we have, not big, but, you know, respectable. Uh, Mongols might try something, I'm not sure. They might try and move through there. We see the Chinese gathering here at the uh, sacred site, so we need to get everyone heading over there. We do have double uh, double keep there. It's a lot of rams, but like I don't suspect they're going to be able to get that in time. Let's get you guys over here to go do this. And now we see purple coming across this way, which is not going to be an easy route to take, that's for sure. Um, and we can also rebuild any walls, like all sneaky, when they uh, try and get through here. They're saying just go wonder. Yeah, that's the smart play. All right, so we got the keeps up. Let's go ahead and build some uh, siege workshops back here for the final stand. And I should have built a wall here, but I guess he's going to knock it down for me. This is a Jushi army. Yeah, very scary. Thunderbolts and lightning. All right, so he's pouring through, but this is my favorite part. Okay. Oh, we need to get back into the hills. He's watching. Mass horseman army. That's that's always a good sign. When you see the potato horseman, you're, you're ready to go. All right, so let's take down these battering rams. Um, we're going to need to get more knights, more streltsy, more spears and whatnot, and let's pull back to the keeps. We don't have, like, our full numbers here yet, so we got to be cautious. Uh-oh, you did find the bills here. Oh, clever girl. Clever girl. Those guys are being held. The Mongols will attack soon. We don't know when. Okay, let's grab you guys. Oh, no, he's watching. 
The boy watches. And uh, the Shelty can get up on the walls. Yeah, let's get him on the walls. They're going to be pretty nasty up there. Uh, Sacred Site, we still have a lot of time on the Sacred. Like, they would have to get religious characters over here and, like, all sorts of scary stuff, so. All right, so they have finished that. Let's get you guys on wood for now. And, um, yeah, we can go ahead and try and ninja these walls and, like, rebuild them here. So let's see if we can. That's going to be hilarious if we make that work. All right, so are the Mongols attacking us yet? No, not yet. Okay. And, um, unfortunately, the villagers were not able to get Sneaky Sneaky there. So let's get a couple of you guys to come and see if they can get Sneaky Sneaky. Excellent, excellent. Um, Jushis is coming in. We do have Mangonels approaching. Ah, uh, but they have the Yuan Raiders. Yeah, my angling was bad. They, they must have come through here. That's a shame. Well, it's all good. We're going to try and escape with one. Let's see if we can get through. Shoot those guys. And then we got 24 bills here. Uh, you guys can just basically lumberjack back here. We'll keep them there as, like, a bit of a contingency. And, uh, yeah, we're able to fight off this army. Did we get the rewall? I don't think so. Trade is not going to be a uh, thing anymore. Okay. Are we hanging in there? Pretty good. You guys get that. The Chad Strelts here fighting him off. Mongols maybe knocking on our door now. I'm not sure. Going for the sacred is going to be tough. Yeah, trying to rewall this, but he's watching. Yeah, he's watching. Let's see if we can just get this for pathing purposes. All right. So, Streltsy, you guys. We still have a bit of eco, too, which is really nice. We're not, like, you know, all in on this yet. So, eventually, we will have to pull the trigger once the Mongols start to gather and attack. Ah, oh, I'm so happy I set up a coastal wall. I'm so happy. I'm so happy I did that. Oh. See, if I didn't set up the coastal wall, homeboy could just go balls deep into the base right now. Uh, it's almost time to abandon this spot. It's almost time. Let's pull you guys in to torch all these. All right. Outstanding. We got you guys, and he's landed here with what appears to be a bit of a force, but nothing too serious. Yeah, is there bombards in there and stuff? Yeah, okay, it's mostly a potato tier units, which is good. All right, let's repair this. Um, we're fighting the army ferociously here. Zhushis is going to be obviously the biggest threat, right? So we need to shoot all these. Yeah, we're going to lose that keep, but 11 minutes is going to be enough. We got rams coming in, so hopefully we can reseal that. Um, that Rus army is not that strong, so it's good. And uh, let's fall back to the uh, to the inner walls here in a second. I don't think he's going to have a religious character there in time to take the sacred site. Oh, plus all three people would need to be unified. So, yeah, that's not a problem at all. All right, so the Mongols have uh, gotten through. Let's fall back behind the walls. You know how much the Mongols love their walls. We have, what, 10 minutes left to hold? It's, it's a pretty, it's a pretty uh, long hold there. All right, so you guys, let's delete this. How's our eco looking? It's respectable. We can delete you guys, too. And uh, let's gather up. And now we need to start gathering some units over here. Yeah, because he's getting kind of close, actually. Shit. Getting a little little dangerous over there. All right. So if we could take this Rus army down, that's going to be pretty fat. Push them off the shores. And then um, Zhushis and the Mongols actually have a hand cannon in your army. Oh, wow. Okay. So let's buy a little bit of this. Oh, wrong one. We need to go to our golden gate. Let's do that. All right. And then we get another keep here. So we dispatch this Rus army, and then we bounce over there and go deal with this army, and then I think we're okay. We're at the nine-minute mark. Yeah, this horseman-based core should deal with that well. All right, let's garrison you guys. Stop the keep here. And uh, we need to get you guys and you guys and you guys over. 17 bills. Do we have some lumberjacking back here? All right, that's a hell of a lot of rams. Zhushis is going to be approaching soon, too. It looks like they're going to push through in the same choke point. All right. So that should be the end of Purple's army. So that's one player's aggression dealt with. Now we need to gather up and hopefully get a good critical mass here. Shit, are we just going to be in danger of losing this already? That's pretty wild. Yeah, we might. Green could be a problem here. We need to try and reseal some of these walls that they've come under. Yeah, to stop the, uh, to stem the bleeding, basically. So Purple is, is going to be more or less a non-factor for a minute. We do have those, and um, our big army can now descend. So let's get those Chad Spears coming. And these Vils, do we have Vils up here? We do, so let's come down here and get ready to repair. Okay, so the Spearmen have engaged. We got a big army coming across. Um, let's see if we can get Sneaky Sneaky. So let's uh, get up on the walls here. All right, garrison you guys. Yep, it's garrison in the keep there. We got our big army coming, and these guys are going to try and take down the Rams. And we need to get these horsemen on the Rams, like, straight up. Like, real, real quick, like... Yeah, Zhushis is coming with a Nest of Bees-based army. Okay. And uh, let's grab you guys. I don't think we're going to be able to get any sneaky counter walls there. 
Okay, Streltsy and you guys looking good. And it looks like we've gotten in. Let's get these rams down. So rams, rams, rams for the ram god. And you guys need to come here and repair any walls. And cool. So we should be able to get these down for now. I'm thinking. Uh, the red army is pretty damn close. And we haven't been able to quite seal that breach, which sucks. That was the spot that was really problematic. And then we can reseal. It looks like orange is back with some horsemen, or purple is. But I think we're okay. Is anyone going main base now? They've destroyed. They're destroying my fishing economy, which is whatever. We don't really care too much about that. It's gonna be hard to deal with that Zhushi uh, Nasty B army, though. It really is. All right. Let's get you. Rewall that. You guys do this. And uh, then we need to seal this breach here. Our army now is is pretty big. I mean, we have a little bit on eco, but not too much because most of the fishing has been destroyed. So we're more or less all in now. Um, that is for sure. All right, so we've gathered. We see the Zhushi army. Um, let's buy a little bit of this. Looking good. We got U13. Let's head over here and do that. And gather up. And do we have you guys? We do. So these bills are here. So let's uh, seal this hole. And uh, we can also move up here and get this, hopefully. All right. Yeah, so they're getting in. Teal's knocked a, knocked a hole in there. I have a huge army, though. It's pretty erect. For sure. We see some trebuchets. So let's gather up the troops. If we can squash Teal's army here, that's going to be pretty big. It looks like a, a solid army, though. It looks like a very, very solid army. And uh, let's see if we can, like, sneak around the back and maybe do a little subterfuge. All right. Let's fight here. Get these horsemen around. He's going to be protecting, so let's envelop if we can. And you guys need to get the nest of bees. So get the bees, get the bees, get the bees. Attack. And uh, we got that resealed, which is great. And set up another keep down there. Yeah, the Chad Streltsy are definitely giving them the biz. That Streltsy line is no joke, dude. Look at these guys. Oh, yeah. Face that firepower, baby. All right. Subterfuge. Sneaky, sneaky buildings. We got keeps coming up again. I believe we resealed all that, so no drama there. And uh, we have crushed that teal army, so let's head over there and do that. You bills come across and re-wall. All right, so let's keep it up. Keep chasing. Uh, we got a couple rams here, no problem. Uh, green's coming back, so we need to go deal with green shit. Yeah, cancel that, and then you guys come back here and set it up a little bit more deep. All right, so just keep holding in this area. We got five minutes left to hold here, which I think is doable. There's going to be a huge influx of rams soon, though. Uh, we're going to start seeing all the potato units coming out in droves. And, um, all right, so I like how the rams are just, like, peacefully leaving. We're like, all right, all right, we've had enough. Sorry. All right, so let's get this. Let's attack in here. Streltsy able to deal with those. We got the walls resealed. Granted, he's just going to get right back in. Um, I don't see any landmark sniping being a problem. Yeah, it's mostly just horsemen, which is good. I mean, we can definitely deal with that. Let's get some of you guys to go kill the siege equipment. Some of you guys to kill the siege equipment. And uh, cool. So this keep should be coming up. You guys can target this. Let's get these guys to come here and defend this force. Defend that force. And cool. So we've gotten all the siege equipment down. He's got rams here. So let's go get these. Uh, you guys come up here and rebuild these walls. So one, uh, so one, two, three, four. Let's get those. All right. Taking down some random houses. All right. Very, very evil. Bills come here. Uh, rebuild these walls, please. Thank you. What do we got? Four minutes left to hold? This is going to be a long hold, boys. This is going to be a very long hold. He's going into my base here, so it's going to start getting very messy. We might need to be rebuild infrastructure um, over here. Maybe we do. I'm not sure. We'll find out. All right, so let's grab you guys and you guys. Uh, come over here, and let's start building some infrastructure here just to be safe. Because we could for sure lose all of our, our ground in our main base. Depends. No, the rams are coming here, so I think we're fine. All right, so the walls have been rebuilt. This is a hard hole. This is not going to be an easy one. All right, so back we go, back we go. Let's get all of you guys. And let's get the bombards to start sniping these and these. Send some horsemen to go dive those. That is a shit ton of rams, dudes. That is a shit ton of rams. Um, all right, let's get a couple of you guys to get some tables up here too. All right, let's fight, fight, fight. And uh, holy shit, that is a lot of ram signing. That is a lot of do hosting. All right, you guys come here, seal that. And you guys need to just start hunting down rams if we can. And uh, in the meantime, let's get you guys coming here. You guys go after the rams, 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 rams. It's rams for the ram throne, dude. They're they're showing no mercy. 
Okay, we need to re reseal that if we can too, but I don't think that's going to happen yet, so let's run back there. And now we just need to target all these down, so let's go get those. Alright, no problem. Yeah, this is this is the classic. This is an FFA match. Yes, it is. Yeah, it's an FFA match. So we got some bills. Let's keep them coming back here. Get them rallied. Um, you guys clear all those rams out. Yeah, it looks like they're all being taken to Pound Town. So they need more actual military instead of just rams. Then we can reseal that. No problem. All right, so how are we looking? We're holding okay. I would say it's going adequately well. Let's reseal those walls. That's a really important thing on C on Wonder Defense is just rewalling and rewalling and rewalling. You know, like because it's a lot of effort to you know perpetually deal with that, right? Good micro. These guys are very scrappy. Um, my Wonder is not super like defended at this point. Yeah, it really isn't. Okay. Let's get all these. We can chase a little bit. There's the Coral Tie. All right, Coral Tie is up. Do we have Bills nearby who can rewall? Definitely need to get that going. Teal's coming with a big army, so we need to regather. Prepare for it. We did stop that wave. Um, you guys come down, and let's go sneaky and sneaky, sneaky. All right, let's fight. I guess those archers can, uh, yeah, obviously not do super well against Rams. Okay, so the rewall is done. Let's get you to rewall this. Now we need to fight this uh, dread Chinese army. Okay, men at arms, hand cannoneers, all the good stuff that we love. Bruce armies, just keep engaging. Let's get the horsemen to dive any artillery. It's mainly just battering rams there, I think. Are they even going for it? No, the rams are coming here for a sneaky sneaky, so we need to go get our horsemen down there ASAP. Uh, a couple of you guys can go pop these, and uh, let's get you guys to do this and this. And then you guys wait for these rams down here, which are trying a backdoor, so. All right, so that's been rewalled. Let's get this sealed here. We got 15 of you. Let's do this. Okay. So we've dispatched that army again. I'm pretty much all in now. Yeah, we have 38 eco. We have a little bit left. And these guys are at the ready, General. All right. So we got the rams coming. Let's go here. Uh, you guys can fight and try and block them up for now. You guys come back over there. A couple of you guys can stand and fight here. Yeah, looks like it's mostly green here. I'm trying to sneak some rams uh, by me, which is a good call. Probably GG. Are they going to get on it? Okay, I don't think so. So we got that. And, oh shit, that's a fuck ton of rams. Okay. Rams are just such, so tyrannical, dude. Alright, let's get all our bills back here. Just pull them all. Are we? Are they going to get there? Are you not close? Yeah, green's pretty close. We need to roadblock him as much as possible here. So let's get in front of him and attack. And we have a huge ass army, but that's actually kind of scary. To be honest. Yeah, we see Bombard's coming. Uh, so let's go get these mangoes if we can. Let's snipe these and these. I think we stopped the green rams. Um, let's repair the walls here and try and keep them from getting there. Oh, it's isn't it weird how it always ends up being so close? GG well played. Yeah, we certainly aren't, you know, taking out our two neighbors, establishing the trade cross map. Um, that's how you do it. Let's get this wall here, reseal that and do it. Yeah, buddy, still got it. Still got it. Yeah, we had a lot of resources, too. Not even the best wonder spot. Um, if we went top, this was like a god-tier wonder spot. You know, just like literally these two choke points. Yeah, that was, a, that was a good scrap, dude. That was a good one. Green eggs and ram. I know, that's what it was. Let's see what the map looked like here. <laughs> Wall of horse flesh and men. Yeah, yeah, it's like that scene in Game of Thrones where, uh, yeah, the sort of Sir Arthur Dane. Yeah, I remember that one. GG, well played. Let's see what the map looked like. I'm actually genuinely curious to see what the Duel of Fates was like. That was a fun one, man. We just had to karate chop our two neighbors, and then uh, we got the whole top to ourselves. Plus, it, this like natural water barrier made it really hard for purple to help, like really, really hard. Yeah, we had a huge army still. Those Rus, those Rus armies were were no joke. Um, yeah, see, he was he was in a civil war with Purple. As soon as they called me out as being the tyrant, you know, it became pretty clear. Sir Turandane, yeah. Does Pwn want to play? You want to play, Pwn Dog? You want to do a Team FFA? Let me see here. Let me find the old Pwn. Yo, man. Team FFA? Can you stay? Yeah, I'm checking here. It would be a Team FFA, because, uh, you know, I want to get more people involved. It's It's very fun, so... Um, let's check here. 
Okay. Let me message him. He says he can say unless it goes three hours long, which it shouldn't. So. Yeah, Spice Wars multiplayer is still down. Damn, yeah. All right, so we're going to do another one. This is going to be a team FFA, so you're going to team with whoever's below you, basically. So we're going to have the Golden Shogun as our ally, the the legendary Golden Shogun. So let me get him and uh, find him. I wish there was a more efficient way to go through the friends list. It's pretty annoying. All right, uh, where's the old Pwn Dog? We'll get him on mic, and we can, we can talk some strategy here. All right. Hey, at this point, the opponents can use, uh, yeah, they did good. All right, so setting team, and we will go here, and now it's open. So turn team FFA. Ah, oh, some strong players. Grab the player below ya, and good luck, have fun. All right, baby, let's get it. So what's everybody going to be playing here? Um, Malians, Ottomans are really strong. HRE is fun if we can get relics. I am weak. I am weak. Please don't. We kill could go me. with the Olive Brotherhood. I am weak. Please. I must don't betray Pony. He's my teammate. Why would I betray him? Team Island? No thanks. No, we. I. I, I don't think we're gonna do Team Island. We'll do. Uh, we'll do the Confluence. That's actually a really fun one. Let's have a proper scrap. Yeah, Confluence is a great map because each team is going to be spawning on um, on one of these islands. So teams together, uh, allow observers with no delay, and reveal on elimination. If, if this goes quickly, we can do a... Uh... Oh, Pwn's playing Joan of Arc. Oh, man. Okay. Uh, anyone you want. Just grab a partner. Yeah. So what do we play... Mongols would be good for sure. Delhi, Delhi is always very fun. Do we want to go for Delhi and just be the the Lord of Elephants? Uh huh. Oh, Delhi is like so weak. I mean, we got HRE Japan, Japan HRE English. Um, let's put it to a vote and see what you guys want. I like I like Confluence. I think it's a fun map. Ottomans are. I don't like playing like really OP civs, so I'm probably not going to play autos in FFA. They're very strong in FFA. Uh, Civ. So we can do English. We can do Biz. I'm down to also play um, Delhi. Delhi is fun. Or we can do the... Um, or we can do Japanese too. Although Pwn's, are, oh, Pwn's not on Japanese. Okay, so we could do Japan. Although, I don't know. I don't feel like using the Ozutsu. So let's see. We could do Malians, Ottomans, Mongols. Mongols are an option too. All right. So you guys vote. I'm gonna go grab some water. I'll be right back. We won't get this, this yes. party on the road. Yes. No. What's no. it gonna be, lads? What's it gonna be? Wow, English. Okay, uh, that's know, a pretty decisive vote. This game has a good tutorial. So we are gonna go on the English, and then we will do that. Everybody's got a teammate. Screenshotting lobby just in case, and hopefully it doesn't crash. Malians? Uh, Malians are okay in FFA. Good luck. Have I don't fun. know. I'm not a huge fan of their armies, as uh, although luck. they do have. Um, have fun. They do have what's it called? Oh, I need to call a phone too. Let me get my headphones in. For England, James. Yeah, England's great, man. They're they're a super solid sieve. Who doesn't like? Maybe we'll do um, we'll do Wingard Palace. Let's call a phone. All right, so we're ringing the Dark Lord of France. He's playing Joan, actually. Okay, cool. What's up? Hey, man, you playing Joan of Arc? Yes. Sweet, dude. So just get a guild, yeah. guild hall and we win. That's how you do it. <laughs> yeah. So do you not know, sure what I'm doing? Do you know? So a couple of things that are really essential is Arbalists are a really good unit. Your Castle Age Archers, um, they have an upgrade that gives them melee armor, so they become really resilient. So those are really good to spam. Um, also, the crossbow guys, right? Yeah, your crossbows. You have unique crossbows. But you have to get that upgrade for them. It gives them plus five armor in melee. Um, makes them super tough. 
And then say they're ca- castle age. Yeah, castle age. The knights are obviously good. Joan of Arc. Do you know how she consecrates buildings? Uh. So once she levels up, no. she gets an ability where you can consecrate your buildings, and when she does that, it, it increases their production efficiency. It's like a cooldown ability, so. You want to just cast it on your town centers, on your military buildings. You need to be doing that. Like as soon as it comes up, you pop that down on something. Um, that's really big. So the Golden Shogun is playing a Civ. He's never played much aside from Japanese. So um, yeah, so he's he's playing the uh, the Joan of Arc right now. You have to use that in politics, man. You have to like tell them you don't know what you're doing to try and get them off our backs. Uh, they might just realize it when they walk up and see. <laughs> when they see the disaster that's afoot so there is fishing on this map granted it might be a little bit far away to like run or out of the gates so maybe it's something we do in the same age why don't you ever do same team FFAs what do you mean same team I don't know what you mean you gotta learn today I don't know I'm speaking, speaking, some, speaking in riddles here so um, we have choke points on this map. It's like each of us has our own little mini like landmass. So we can, let's get you up there. Okay, so there's the water there. Okay, so we definitely should be playing water, but we can do that in the Feudal Age as well. Man, the music is, music in this game is pretty great. Do you play with your music on or you mostly have it like kind of low? I, I play it on, but I do have it low. Yeah, pretty low. Yeah. Okay, so we're just doing a very standard opening, guys. Um, I will be rushing to the water soon. Um, I think I'm just going to go feudal land, and then we'll we'll rush water after that. Okay. So we got you guys there. Looking good. Let's go scout around the back of our base. So what's good about our alliance is neither of our civilizations are really like dependent on anything on the outside for gold. Because you get it from your guild hall. You have your scout hanging out in my TC, by the way. Oh, that was did supposed you, to go to my TC. Did you just give me all those sheep? <laughs> oh, wait, did it get to... Uh, I'll, I'll, I was I, the lord of sheep, but hang on. I, made a, I made a generous donation. No, no, I don't need them. So I'm going to find a way to get them back to you. Hold on. I didn't even know you could do that. Okay, so we're going we're gonna to bring some sheep back to you. I got you, homie. They're on the way. <laughs> the sheep delivery. I thought that was my TC. <laughs> okay, we're coming back to old Pone Dog. I don't think we're gonna get rushed, but we should definitely wall off our um, our river. So like down here and down here, there's gonna be like bridges, and that's how you get to the other players' empires. Okay, I got these sheep here for you, homie. So you uh, you grab them. There you go. Man. I'll continue my scouting. And see what's here. You try, you try and do one nice thing for somebody. I know, man. Just no respect. You just drop them back off. Like, I don't need your pity. Like you're a piece of trash. <laughs> All right. So let's maybe go. Do we want to go 2TC? Probably not. Probably go King's Palace. Although White Tower in the corner is pretty nice. Hmm. Not as good as Red Palace, though. A <laughs> simple offering of lamb, yeah. That's what Pwn was doing, man. It's a generous uh, generous one there. So yeah, fishing already going down for the lads. Do I do School of Calvary? Or School of Calvary is probably better here, yeah. So that one gives you uh, production to knights immediately, obviously. And number two, it's going to give you um, it's going to give you 20% efficiency on your uh, stables for the like everywhere, which is really good. It's very, very good. Uh, Teal's got some some boat shenanigans going. Yeah, that's smart. I mean, he's he's Japan. Like, I, w I probably should have fished early as well. It's not not the end of the world. We'll be we'll be all right. So King's Palace. We're, we're dead. Just let me know. Yeah, we're we're in trouble already. <laughs> I think we'll be okay. I'm gonna do a bit of a delayed dock here and uh, see what we can we can do. Pestis commende. So find, make sure you find the crossing, and we're going to want to wall that up pretty quick here. There's a pr very pretty bridge right here. Yeah, is there? You know what? I don't know if it's even worth... I can just go English Farmville, right? And that's going to be fine. Okay. We're just going to go English Farmville. Yeah, I'm going to wall this right now. You should do the same on your side. Make sure nobody gets in. 
Yeah, there's a couple land masses with which they can cross. I feel like investing the wood in English farms is going to be a little bit better. I don't know, simply because it um, will yield gold for me at some point. <clears throat> I need lumber. I can't uh, can't build any walls. Uh, you you might want to fish, although at this point it's probably too late, so maybe don't worry about it too much. Set up another dock. Yeah, it makes sense. It's smart. Docks are really good. Haggard farms only, please. No, you're not getting the haggard farms. You guys, you guys don't deserve it. <laughs> I appreciate you withholding that. All right, so we want to make sure nobody steals our relic, obviously. Um, we have two relics on our island, so we want to get those. You, you want to get those specifically. Um, so I will try and get us those. Feudal Age being reached. They're going to get castle way faster than us because they're on water. But those fishing operations um, are uh, temporary. So, Like, it's it's all fish that will disappear. They're not deep sea fish. <clears throat> Do we want to aggro... Ugh, sorry. <laughs> Do we want to aggro them? Phone's dying here. Um, no, we don't. Not yet. We want to... We're My strength is Imperial, and, and you're pretty good Imp too, so... I, I gotta get some XP on John though, right? Yeah, just go hunt the wild boars. So you get experience by killing boars. So one there, and then go look, go scout for boars on their island too. You taught me to just go into the forest and kill boars. Yeah, that's exactly what you're gonna do. You're giving me the South Park strat? Yeah. All right, looking good. We're hanging out here. Let's go see what can be done. Did you wall your uh, your breach yet? Uh, no. Not yet. Let me know but if you want. I do have an archer, Jean. Okay, that's that's fun. It's it's definitely easier for beginners to go archer, Jean. All right. So probably should... Yeah, I think we got a nice, clean farm set up here. Let's get you. Let's do this. Okay, we got bridges down here. I found... Uh, a, there's two boar. So hunt that boar and the other one. I impone the boar destroyer. You're going to show those boar who's boss, dude. Never again will like, they, they like cross Like, does she you. solo it, or should I bring, like, a knight? She can solo it. You just, uh, you just yeah. kind of poke at it, and you're going to be fine. <laughs> Collect ten boar bots in return. What are we playing? Early day MMOs? Yeah, see, they got really quick castle because they're on the river. Uh-oh. It's fine. We need to seal the not let him come get our relics, though. That's That would be super bronzodia if we get our relics jacked. I'm trying to wall and get castle age myself. Yeah, so we're definitely a little bit behind here. Uh, can you... Let's see. Yeah, Joan's going to get those. No problem. I don't want to send another worker over here. That feels very potato. Yeah, get that wall up. And then the only spot they won't be able to wall from here is, is this, uh, this one here. Probably going to be coming across with a prelate. Um, be ready to respond with Joan when I tell you. Are those your knights? Yeah. Okay, good. <clears throat> Looks like they're chasing a scout. Yeah, just watch the relics nearby. Make sure that they aren't grabbing those. That's going to be the important thing. Okay. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, that's the big thing, because they're going to want those. Joan, and you can also have your knights help Joan. It's not like she has to like have some like virtuous duel versus the boar. You know? Uh, but she can. Yeah. Oh my god, the board just healed. Well, you you, you you tethered it. Don't try and kite it. Just stand and fight it. Yeah. It's going to be a close fight. Didn't know it was a, uh, a boss fight. It, it is a boss fight, dude. It's a uh, close. Am I under attack? Uh, yeah, up north there's a shinobi attacking you. Uh, you go ahead and send your knight to deal with it. Sounds good. Yep. They did stop me from sealing the breach. It's fine. Take your knights up there and then make sure that happens. I'll be castle age soon and can start sending some troops. Oh, really? Uh, Kirk is here with some units. Okay, curious. Uh, let's grab you guys, do this. So they're gonna probably get our relics here, I would suspect. Hey, pull back, pull back, pull back, pull back. There's they got a lot of numbers on you there. This is a good spot for Joan to uh, do some business. Oh, fighting a uh, Oni Bugesha. Yeah, they're coming. 
Okay, trying to seal this. Oh, they're, they're definitely coming to steal our relics. Okay, let's grab you, do this, and then that. Oh, we didn't seal it quick enough. They're definitely going to get some of our goodies here. Oh, uh, defend that relic with Joan. Where you have her right now is perfect, actually. Yep. Okay, so White Tower's coming up. Oh, yeah, get that priest. Get that priest with your knights and Joan. You see him? Yep. Nice. Finish him off. I have longbows coming down. Cool. So, crisis averted, for the most part. Um, so that's good. And let's get you guys on the uh, the old stone here. So I'm with a very haggard build. Here they come. <clears throat> How many units? Hey, I got longbows here. We can fight. We can fight. Go ahead and turn and fight. This is great experience for Joan. That's right. No escape. Ride them down. Hopefully Joan's getting some experience off that. She's far behind me. <laughs> Keep chasing. See if she can get some of that experience. You want, You better watch the thing, then. The oh, they got a... They got a... Uh, whatchamacallit? No, the relic. Oh, they got a boat, yeah. No. The relic's fine. We're good. Okay, I need to go 2TC now to get this eco back online. So, yeah, we didn't lose any relics, which is good. So, well played there, man. Good defense. Could have been way, way worse. Um, I suspect they'll be attacking us. Um, so at this point, yeah, you got some idle workers on food up there. Get those bad boys back online. And uh, just try and eco up here. Get Castle H when you can and build Guild Hall. And Guild Hall, build it up in the corner here. Probably be smart to hide that there. Alright. We're back in it. We're hanging in there. Get a couple of you guys. My food economy is really good. Oh shit, what the hell is this? Hey, back, back, back. Watch your army. They just had like this like legion hiding here. Watch your John, watch your John. South, south, south. Oh! I, I'm trying to move her, but she's just not going nowhere. I guess no worries, she's yeah. completely you... engulfed. It's okay, I'll, I'll get a le legion of longbows and deal with these guys. I don't even know. There's like this random raiding force in our lands. Okay, so houses should be coming up here in a second. Let's get you here, here, and here. They really want those relics. Oh, you had a bunch of sheep here too. That's pretty funny. Where are they getting in from, by the way? Uh, they brought the sheep. Not this one. So they... Uh, yeah, I have no idea where they got in from. Very strange stuff. Oh, they have that prelate there. Yeah, he's, he, he wants the relic. So we got to make sure they don't get that. Um, once you get some troops, come back down and see if you can help me out. No rush, obviously. Do you want, should I go castle or should I... Go just... castle. Oh, yeah. Okay. Let's get enough for 2TC, maybe. Where, where do you want uh, Guild Hall at? Uh, in the top corner would be good. Okay. I'm battling I'm battling the gremlins away from our lands. I'm defending our, our shores with the dreaded longbows. Okay, I have a couple knights now. Should be able to fight these guys off. Okay, I'm going to gather enough stone for two TCs. The very least going to bring Joan down here. For XP. Joan gets passive experience too, by the way, so don't worry about it too much. Like, even if you're not getting a lot. Yeah, make sure to consecrate your buildings too. It's a good call. Um, oh, your wall up north needs to be finished, by the way. If you could send someone there to finish that. They're not watching anymore. Oh, they're still coming through. All right. Get another TC there. All 
Prime has gotten Castle Age only just now, so he must be in some early conflict as well. Interesting. This map is really cool for um, FFA. I really like it. The Zerg is coming for me. Yeah, let's get you guys. It's just like in Mortal Kombat here, dude. These guys want blood. Okay, I got my second TC up, so that's gonna sauce my economy out. I need to just grab these relics for ourselves so they'll stop coming. <laughs> I think they managed to snake one relic away. Son of a gun. Uh, Alright, so I'll grab the other one in a second. Go look around and see if you can find where that gremlin went. What gremlin? The, uh, they stole one of our relics, but he couldn't have gone far. He's probably around here somewhere. Joan, Joan can also come farm this experience, too. Alright, let's do this. And build another TC here in a second, so let's throw that down. And did you fully uh, wall the north? I think so. Okay, so he's probably around here somewhere, I suspect. I'm gonna go Wingard Palace because it's just super cool. Yeah, she, I can't make it on to, to the other side. No worries, man. Yeah, you got Castle Age. Good. Looking good, brother. Old Pwn Dog's learning a new Civ. Doing great, man. For your, one of your first games with them. I need, uh, <clears throat> need more farms. Yeah, you can start transitioning into a farm economy for sure. Oh, you guys seeing this? That was weird. Okay, so we got a good army. People are ahead of us, though, for sure, in terms of tech. Uh, let's get that. Get wheelbarrow here. So I got three TCs, so I should be able to pop off pretty hard here economically now. Yeah, they they're, they probably already got the relic off our land, but they only got one, which is good, considering. Uh, I'll take this and that. Oh, can build the, uh, the shrine. Oh, uh, which shrine? The monk scary. Which one? The, the monastery. Oh, yeah, I got so that I covered. I'll grab the relic. Okay. Yeah. I'm already on it. Bring that back there. Let's grab you guys. <clears throat> Get some beautiful English farms. I'm going to start stonewalling all of our... Uh, all I of just our... want this thing to sit here and collect stone, right? Oh, which thing? Yeah, the guild hall. Um, if we were playing 1v1, you would start on food, so you could get faster Imperial Age, but for the sake of an FFA game, yeah, probably just having it camp out on stone is going to be prudent. What needeth be undone? Uh, is there any boar? There's another boar up here for you to get some experience, by the way, if you want to take Joan up there. Building done. I think they've given up on the aggression for the most part. So that's good. And let's get you to throw down here. We just so we need to just turtle, brother. We just need to like be the turtle masters. People are getting imp a little bit ahead of us, it's fine. We should have a really good sustained food economy going into Imperial Age. Where was the boar? Uh, oh, I see it. You see it on the map here? Yep. Oh shit, really? Okay, so they're actually attacking us pretty good here. What kind of an army are you rocking right now? Got just got the knights. Thankfully, I think I was able to fend them off here. I need to make stables. Some, some stables. Yeah, let's sell a little bit of food. We're gonna go Wingard up in the corner, which is gonna be super fun. Definitely excited to give that a try. Um, we need to switch our walls to stone so we're not as vulnerable here. Okay, let's get this and this. And then get some infantry as well. Oh, they're coming. We might have to yield this river here. I'm going to try and fight them both. I don't know how well it's going to go. They got a pretty decently sized army. Look at Joan just fleeing, dude. Oh, she's got to stop to do that, huh? Yeah, yeah, correct. <laughs> Pull your knife back. Hoping that was the... Hope, hoping that was the... It would just retreat at this point. We need to just pull back. All right, let's go north. I might have to go Barcher. 
much as I didn't want to, I think it's going to have to be. Because otherwise, um, we could die here. Okay, keep poking. When are you ready to try and kill topside? What? You need to tell them. Tell them. You need to politic for us, bro. Okay, let's get you guys to help and then jump back there. Are these I hope that worked, but I'm going to go with that doubt. Yeah, me too, man. I'm hoping it'll work out. All right. Let's ride to turn Zaid. Yes, lance them down, brother. Uh, you can resurrect Joan instantly, by the way. Yeah. That I did know. Oh, we went in base Barkshire. Not what I wanted, but it'll have to do, pig. Let's get these men at arms upgraded. Uh oh. You're good. Just idle, uh, not idle, but pull your bills back for now. I should be able to muster an army to fight them off. Especially since they're making shinobis and shit. Oh, those are the, uh, the Ultra Giga Chad guys. Yeah, those are the Order of the Dragon. Yeah, correct. Alright, so let's get you to this. And we need to get enclosures ASAP. Which is going to cost, what, 100 of this? And enclosures. Okay, we held them off, which is good, man. Well played. Good survival. Good survival. Um, Do I go champion companions or rider companions? Uh, champion ones are probably a little bit easier to use. Okay, let's get you guys. We got Barcher online. Careful, pull back, pull back. Okay, so once we get those enclosures up, we should be good. Just keep masking out hand cannoneers. I'm, I'm resealing the bridge behind them. It's the sneaky reseal. Um, hopefully people will underestimate us. That's going to be one of our best bets. Hey, let's go down and catch that Japanese army at the river. The one that's trapped there. You see him? Um, trying to like relocate my villagers to something helpful. No worries, dog. Keep up the good work, man. I wanted to go win guard, but we needed Barkshire to survive there, unfortunately. This is how my base is always looking 1v1. With English. Maybe that's why English is my main civ. I'm going to go, like, harry the Japanese force a little bit. Um, the triple TC has gotten my eco back. I mean, they're basically just spamming infantry, which we should be able to wreck with my, my ranged units. At some point, we'll come back and, and kill those two, or at least try to. Okay. Yeah, we'll let them live for now. Yeah, we're 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 being chill. This guild hall is collecting stone, which is outstanding. Wingard is a fun landmark. You can get those unique units like the Wingard Rangers and stuff. But yeah, I mean Barcher is pretty awesome. It's it's a really epic landmark. Uh, what do we need for that? A little bit of wood. Okay. So I think we're safe for now, my friend. I got the south walls. Let's go up here. I'm going to start walling the north for us, too. So we got HRE in Japan over there is what it is? Okay. <laughs> yes. You guys hear the voice acting on that character? It's pretty good. So they have a cannon tower over there, which is going to be constant notifications, which is pretty troll. Um, gold's going to start running out on our island, so at some point we'll establish trade across our island. If that works for you. Does Consecrate last forever? Yes, until the building's yeah. destroyed. So slap it on your town centers, your military buildings, um, yeah. the works, you know. I see, I see. All right, great. So I got that secured, and um, I'm going to be walling the north, which is the border we share with these very aggressive neighbors here. They could be... Yeah, so you can just mass knights and arbalists is honestly a pretty good army comp, but you're going to want to mix in, like, spears, and because that's a very gold-intensive army comp. Right? Right. 
you'll need to mix it up a little bit. Sell some food. Army tactics for the boys in the front. Let's just delete this. Okay, so our border on this side is secure. Now we just need to worry about these guys. Um, and then let's get some siege workshops. And prepare for the Duel of Fates. One, two, three, four. How are you liking Joan, by the way, compared to your usual, uh, your usual? Um, you know, she's fun. I just, it's hard when you don't know. <clears throat> like when I gotta stop and like read things, you know, it's just like I know that it's really slowing down. Whereas Japan, I just don't yeah, you know, know what I'm doing. Yeah, you know what everything does. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. I wonder if they're gonna attack here. I feel like this is the bridge they've been enjoying the most. Um, yeah, you just focus on getting Imperial at this point would probably be the play. You're ready for the next worker. We'll get a lot of trebuchets. Yeah, England, the English have, the, the, the they're, they're awesome. They're really fun to play. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Okay, wow. Oh my god, they're here with the big army. Must, muster the Rohirrim Pwn! Rally the legions. They have like 15 trebuchets, dude. If we lose this fight, we're in big danger. I have pretty good production, very good upgrades at this point. Um, I'm not sure how your army's looking. Could be bigger. <laughs> we could be dead. <laughs> All right. The uh, you ready to strike? The, the the wood forces will come. Yeah, bring bring what you can. Let's go get some tower set up here. Okay, so I want you to flank and kill the siege when we fight, yeah? Okay, they're fighting in the choke here. You go around the back and kill the siege now. I'm going to engage them in the front. Okay, I have them in a choke point, which is like about as ideal as it gets. I need you to get around the back and, and get the other units, yeah? I'm doing very well, though. Yeah, flank and kill what you can. Get those artillery. Get the mangonels first. Those are the most important. I'm, I'm fighting them pretty well, 2v1. Oh, yes, the dreaded golden flank. Are they going to lose to us here, really? Yeah, snipe the artillery. Good, good. Good work. Good work, Pwn. Get a tower up here. Man, English armies are so stalwart. Holy shit. He died with honor. Did you kill a lot, though? Yeah, yeah, I killed a lot. Okay, looking good. Do this. Here they come for round two. Pull back, pull back, pull back with your archers. They're soon going to be in Barcher range, which will help. Um, how many? Yeah, you just keep trying to snipe Trev. Just focus on making horsemen and killing the uh, artillery, yeah? Because then, then they won't be able to get through our static defenses. All right, so let's get you guys. Uh, yeah, we can do this. Set this up, like, right here, maybe. Here's going to be good. All right, so we're alive. That, it could have been worse. Could have been way worse. Need to get how do I know how long it takes for Jean to come back? Is there anything to tell Yeah, I think there's a little, like, timer on the left side of the screen in the left middle, which will show it. They're still lurking outside okay, of our base. Yeah, yeah. You see it? Yeah. Okay, they just got Imperial Age, the guys we're fighting, so... That's good. Yeah, they weren't that, that, that strong in that regard. Uh, Arbalists are pretty good against what they're getting. How are you doing on gold? You doing okay? Uh, I got, like, just a thousand <laughs> Okay, so we got the food upgrades coming out to the max. We just need to survive until another team attacks them, basically. This is the plan. Thankfully, they're letting me get a ton of gold down south. Let's get some spring alds. See the samurai. 
I'm trying to get him to fight in the bushes here with us. You can go ride and scout. Maybe ride across the bridge and go see if you can counter raid their bases. You know? Yeah. We need to just take the pressure off us a little bit. All right, uh, gunpowder upgrade is going to be needed here. So let's sell some wood and get that. They're just fighting in the spirit choke point. They're both still here, though. Uh, you know what? Let's actually get some revolve coins. That's going to be really good in this choke point. Yeah, ride around with just. I think they have a wall. I think they built the wall up. Just go check if they did, and if they around. didn't, just pick off what there you can. Is. Holy shit! Really? <laughs> oh. I was like, I was, I'm clicking over there, and they won't path there. Got it. No worries. They don't want to get flanked again. That seems to be the case. Okay. Might be able to two v one in this show point with all my hand cannoneers and stuff. Green and red are here, he says. Says Tron. Okay, I don't think that's us. This Order of the Dragon Army gets its butt kicked by my hand cannoneers for sure. Could I tear up, or do you think now is not a good time? Yeah, build a red palace somewhere. I might need your help on this choke point here. I have a. Uh, let's fight now. I have Rebalquins. Those things are just disgusting, so. All right, let's do it. They have a keep here. It's not a huge deal, though. Let's just push. Let's get some traps. Okay, keep going, keep going, keep fighting. Keep John nearby. The choke point favors us. Oh, that Rebalquin! Just mowing him down. Yes, the sacrificial horseman. Somebody's, somebody's got to go, right? Holy shit, this is going really good for us. Something did a lot of AoE damage. I'm not sure what that was. Oh, it's a cannon tower here. Let's kill that real quick. Oh, man, those are Valkyns. Just wrecked them, dude. Okay. Now you're Imperial. Um, Where'd you build the Red Palace? Yeah, that's good. Near the front. Yeah, that's good. Okay, I'm pulling back a little bit. is gone. We get the trebuchets to start shooting. We need to get this damn tower down, though. Okay, and shattering projectiles. This Ozutsu abuse is... <laughs> sounds like somebody's losing to the Japanese over there. Oh, we have Ozutsu against us now, by the way, so it's going to be a little bit scarier. I think they have some proper anti-siege. Yeah, if I was any other save, we'd probably be dead. <laughs> England's is so good at defending. Can we target that? Let me know when you remuster an army and we can try and push them out again, yeah? How much is that? 375, really? Jesus. John's champion? Uh, John's champion? Yeah, that is um, that is a unique unit you can build in your keeps and stuff. It's pretty good. The Trebs. I got a pretty big army here. Uh, probably get some... Sure, we can just throw down textiles. Need to focus on some of the core upgrades, though. You have a, do you have any army you can bring? Um, I'm re, I'm remacroing right now. They're, they're popping, pooping out right as we speak. Sounds good. I think we can break their army right now. What, uh, <coughs> excuse me. What's the final upgrade for Jonah should go? Uh, I don't know. What are the options? The one that summons a cannon. Is... Gunpowder or, uh. Hey, they're, they're coming. Get ready. We're going to need to fight here. Gunpowder it is. Here they come. I need your armies when you're ready. Oh, yeah, yeah, that hurts. Okay, 
Your Valkons are doing a lot of damage. Those things are super clutch here. Okay, it didn't go badly. We did kind of pull ahead there in the fight. Okay, we got to deal with these rams back during our base, though. Okay, let's grab this gold. Thankfully, there's a little bit of gold left. Okay, back, 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 back. We just got to survive, brother. Just got to survive. Got to deal with this haggard ram signing on the other side of the base, too. Okay, let's get some spring alds. Need to get the spring ald range upgrade if possible. Let's get you guys back on farms. I mean, they just lost a shitload of wood for nothing, basically. Alright, so basic upgrades. Uh, let's get you guys fully upgraded. Alright. Did I just hear John of Arc yelling? She's a very angry person. She's getting pretty hyped. Yeah, they're definitely, like, taking down trades against us, but I don't know if it matters. We don't know what's going on in their island. Um, we have a big stone node up top, so let's actually start on that, maybe. I'm gonna build a, uh... A, uh... Uni? Nope, a uh, trading post. Yeah, you can build it on the... the back corner. Uh, you can build it. It'd be better, actually, to build it on the east side. And we go across. It's a it's longer distance. Okay, so somebody's dying somewhere. Um, it's not us, thankfully. I mean, we've survived pretty well, brother. Yeah, not us yet. Yeah, it's it's all in due time. I have, like, no gold. I almost feel like I should cash in my... Uh, yeah, at this point, you probably can. And just go gold, yeah. Yeah. I, I have 5,550 stone. You want me to start plopping keeps down? Or uh, not yet. I'm gonna put one to yeah, you can put one to protect like your farms or something. Oh, here they come. They want to play Black Forest against this, huh? <laughs> Let's move up and fight. Um, I think we can win this. I just need to get the siege advantage against them. Okay, here we go. Let's get the Manganel. And get these spring alts. It's kind of hard to click in there. Let's get that. Now their Balkans can move in and we can start crushing them. Attack around there. Kill that. Oh my god. It's crazy how hard they get last samurai by those Balkans. Yeah, they have no artillery. We definitely have the arty advantage. Nice. Jones summoned a cannon. The Dread Cannon. So it looks like one team has died. The guys to the west of us. So that means Southern Alliance is going to get a lot of trade now. Let's uh, push these guys off our island. <laughs> Drive them to the shore, Spawn! Ride, brother! Make safe the city. That's what's going to happen. I got a lot of traps. We can, and you have a cannon, so we can knock down this keep really quickly. I got springs in case they want to get any arty. They do have a culverin, but I should be able to 4v1 it. Is there any gold left? Let's find out. Okay, looking good. Uh, once we drive them off our island here, we need to try and reason with them and get them to uh, uh, turn on the other team. It's our only chance because the other team is going to have bottom like trade all across the bottom. Pretty epic defense, though, huh? We're holding, and people will tell tales of this. They will. They will sing songs of this. The reason why we're winning is because they're taking horrific artillery trades. Like, they just keep getting already smashed over and over. Hey, when you get a second, can you make a... Uh... Trade post, yeah. Yeah. I, I just have... I have 155 gold. I have nothing. Okay, let's drive these gremlins off our island. Back to the shores with you! Oh, Prime, your game crashed? Oh, no. Well, that's going to certainly change the dynamic of this game. Is that because we were driving him back? No, it's not Prime who's attacking us. Uh, you can bet it will be like if it was, though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Alright, let's get upgrades. To the... <laughs> back to the shores with you. Back, peasants. 
<laughs> All right. So now we need to go to just um, just hanging out here. We secure the uh, sacred site. We got trade options going, so market's going to be up in a second. I don't need it quite as much since I have my farms, but for you it's quite good. It's always a good idea to build like five or six trade posts when you want to transition into trade, so you can just pump out a bunch, by the way. Alright. We could probably push and kill these guys. Maybe. I don't know. I have a, my army's pretty haggard. Yeah, that's true, but we, we just broke a lot of momentum. Not even Imperial H units. Just, I have no gold to upgrade. Uh, I can send you some. Hold on. To pay a tax on it? Okay. I just sent you a thousand gold. Oh, thank you. Yeah, just trying to upgrade a couple units. Wait, it costs gold to, to make traders, though. It does. We have successfully defended the shores of England and France. Oh, they're coming back for more. Really? Okay. Here we go. Let's fight. Let's get him. Okay, let's get you and then you. And as long as those die, we're fine. Okay, so all their artillery is gone. Let's move in here. Probably going to lose a bit here. They do have more mangoes. Two, three. As long as those get sniped, we're A-OK. -okay. okay, they lost all their artillery again. We don't have the attack speed down here. I need to get that going. Hmm, I don't know if we can hold this. Maybe. Just keep sending reinforcements over if you can. Yeah, it looks like we drove them off our shores once again. Okay. Go back to the Act shadow. Foul demons. <laughs> Go back to the shadow. Hey, take this gold node here, by the way, the one they were sitting on. <laughs> Joan's like, oh, I'm too weak. She got ambitious. All right, what are we at? We're at 127. A little bit too hard there. Need to get some spring alts. All right, so I got trade coming. Um, our food is. Want to knock down this wall that's separating reinforcements and everything? From me. Where is it? Yeah, yeah, we can knock that down. We need to just make sure they're done coming across the river for now. No, they're still here. I need your help. They're still at the bridge. Uh, I need I need Jones' help. Hey. I believe one of the teams down there only has one player, so that actually certainly increases our odds of having a chance here. Okay, definitely gonna slap down a keep here in a second. Let's get the trebs, keep shooting at those. How many times must we teach them this lesson? So the bottom team is dead, we need to start um, Scheming that there might be trade opportunities in their base, too. That would be bigger. Um, keeps coming up. Maybe they'll relax. Okay, they're starting to spam spring alts. The creatures are learning. Okay. So you got nice trade. Looking good. Um, yeah, that wall is pretty trolly there. I'll start knocking it down with my trebs. How do I make, like... Oh, here we go. I need a black <laughs> I don't have just a free one as, like I do with Japan. Yeah, that's right. Oh I shit, you don't have any upgrades yet? Nope. <laughs> oh, God. I just thought about that. Okay, they're coming, get ready. It's it's the Chad Pone, he's been fighting with no upgrades this entire time, just an absolute beast. He doesn't need no punk upgrades. It's the only way for it to be fair. Yeah, if Pone had gotten upgrades, I mean, it would just be GG. Their base would be destroyed in flames and... It takes my reinforcement so long to get there, right? Yeah, they're probably running up through the middle, huh? I, 
turret. I need you to trebuchet that wall right behind me. I'm trying. Uh, I need the trebuchets to help us win this fight. Okay, it looks like we won it again. You have non-upgraded crunch to do that. <laughs> yeah. That's right. Uh, speaking of, I think I still have a couple more. Siege engineering is useful to have. My summon cannon can lend aid. Yeah, we'll get it. We'll get it down eventually. You know. Okay. Uh, collect your collect your um, gold maybe and switch to stone now, so we can try and wander eventually. Here they come. These guys. These guys really. It's just uh, pure. Watch, watch Joan. They're shooting at Joan with the cannon. Monsters. I know. They're villains, dude. We'll teach them. We'll teach them the ways. Although, uh oh, Teal's attacking us now. Oh no, that's that's the same guy. Okay. Just got a couple of wild wild rams. I mean, okay. Be ready to defend the breach. I'll go kill these rams. We don't know what the other gentleman's up to down there. We have no idea. It's a very weird situation. Okay, the walls have been destroyed. Um, let's get you to go after this. Fortunately, I'm going to lose that because I wasn't paying attention. The rest of you guys can go over here. All right, they're pushing the keep. I'm gonna send some shattering projectiles their way. Oh, the keep you have right here. Yeah, we need to, we need to keep that too. Careful, careful. Oh, shattering projectiles are so good. Oh my god. John's got like a nice little missile dart there. She does. They have a little like weird entrenchment in our lands. Okay, let's go back here. That's been taken care of. Yeah, Kirk's trying to ram spam us. Um, I don't know what the situation is with that other player, the Lone Ranger. We're definitely just going to go for Wonder though. It's going to be the plan. And uh, let's get you guys to go after these cannons. You men at arms to go chase them down. Okay. Let's keep running with you. The Chad French Knights are on the way of Professor Pwn. Yes. They arrive. <laughs> Precisely when they're needed to. I, I mean, I guess let's just push these guys. Let's uh, let's keep the aggression going. Yeah, bring your, bring your legions. We march! It's time for the counter-offensive. The Baron Turn has summoned us. <laughs> I'm the Baron in this game, too. That's right. Yeah, England and French are pretty... Uh, they have, though Zutsu is definitely a big disadvantage we have, but um, the fact that they have the Ozutsu. Let's go here and then get this. <laughs> Marshal the troops. We ride to war. No, let's just do this, this, and this. Gonna hit this keep here. Uh, let's get some longbows, some men at arms, whatever. We have we have the one thing they don't, which is shotgun of arc, dude. You know? Yeah, she shoot she shoots for she France. Does. She does. Almost got that keep down. It's gonna be a relic getting dropped by them. I wonder what this like wild player is gonna do. Is he gonna wander by himself like I did the other day? I don't think so. On this map, it'd be pretty hard to do. Okay, we got culverins coming in. Okay, we might need to pull back, re regroup our armies. Let's do that. Pull back, pull back. There's some janky split pushing coming here. I don't know what they're doing. Should probably go deal with that. Uh, Alright, so that's good. So we killed the keep, which is nice. They have a keep down there, too. Yeah, I'm gonna go get it with my traps. Shouldn't be a problem. I mean, uh, where are those things going, even? They appear to be going after some walls, trying to get through here. 
Okay. We can just run around and intercept them. Okay, let's go clear out this like little rat position here. Uh, you hold the bridge for a second while I go clear this out, yeah? If that is what is required. It is, brother. It is. Alright, so you guys come down here. Let's set that up. Lost some trebs like an absolute potato. I need your help uh, on the bridge. Okay, let's grab that sacred site. Good job. And uh, you got stone in the bank, right? You got some stone cooking? Yes. Good. So we just need to fight this as long as possible and then just guild hall win with stone. That's basically how this is going to go. We could maybe push in and kill them with some fancy tactics, but um, at the end of the day, I think I think that's a better uh, route to victory. Alright, so yeah. Stone's pretty low. They have some sneaky rams. Um, enemy contesting. Since when could rams contest sacred sites? Huh. You live and you learn. I'm going to try and backdoor some action here. Alright, so watch out. They got some uh, anti-artillery here now. Alright, uh, do we want to make knights here? Probably not. Let's just make some hand cannoneers. Okay, perfect. Um, I'm going to go do some scouting over here and see what this looks like. We almost got the gremlins pushed out of our base down here. Okay. Uh, rams are just randomly in our base. Just whatever. I'll go kill them real quick. It'll only take a second. And uh, let's get you to shoot. Those are culverins. Yeah, that's one advantage they certainly have is the culves. One, two, three, four. You guys can start popping these bills here. Looking good. Let's get the spring alds back. Uh, we need to keep reinforcing the front. We gotta be careful that we don't lose that. And uh, let's get some more siege workshops. Alright. So how are we looking? So far so good. A couple random cannons on the way down. Um, we need more we need more troops for losing ground. Yeah, it seems like our uh, attention slipped there a little bit. Okay, let's get you. See if we can hold this keep. We might get pushed back to our base again here. I'm a little bit tight on gold myself. I don't know about you. Uh, yeah. It's slowly draining. Slowly draining? Okay. No worries. Oh. That was a lot of focus fire. Did Joan die? She did. She has fallen. She, she fought valiantly, brother. Okay. The keep might go down here. We'll have to see. And send you guys over to go get this and this. And just keep saving up. How much gold stone have we got in there? How much are you sitting on in total, by the way? I have 4,800 at the moment. Okay. I'm mining and then I don't know how much is in the total. We need to go see if there's any like trade down in that abandoned base. I'm sure that other players are already taking advantage of that. But the thing is, he's a solo player. So for him to actually win with that, it's going to be pretty hard. And do we get it? We do. Great. Okay, so their charge was blunted yet again. A uh, little bit of raiding in the base, I think. No, doesn't look like it. England's definitely the wrong sib to just grind against. They can do this all day. I guess their, like, infinite resources aren't as good as ours, though. Alright, let's come down here, repair this keep up. Bones amassing a big army. Uh, do we have any siege here? Those are culverins. Ride them down, Pwn. Okay, you guys come down here and just spam out towers to make sure we constantly have that buff. That's right. yeah, all good. It happens. Let's get Kill some... those Ozutsu. Don't you love playing against those? They're so obnoxious. They have like super high range armor, so you can't even like kill them with uh, the traditional means. Okay, so those are being built out. They still have sneaky rams in our base, which is hilarious. Eventually, they're gonna run out of wood on that old island. That's for sure. We will too. Chatted arms. 
Um, probably got to deal with that at some point. I think two is going to be enough here. And you guys come back here. All right. So crossing, yeah, whoever crosses that stream is definitely at a big disadvantage. That ain't easy. Um, we need to come down here and Ramstein. It'd be a very different game if uh, that other player hadn't DC'd, if Prime hadn't. I'm actually getting a fair amount of stun myself. Yeah, they're happy to play this game, though. It's going to be a grind. Yeah, not Warhammer today, human boy. Not today. I had a tournament last night, though. Okay, we need to, like, ramp up our macro here. I got battering rams coming now, too. Help to clear out some of the infrastructure. Not losing too much. Uh, so what civs are they? Japan? Yeah, Japan has insane food eco. Order the Dragon is okay. They can definitely be a run out of food. Uh, gunpowder. Yeah, do we need biology? We don't, but let's get the siege engines. Yeah. Is that their keep? Are they really dropping a keeper? That's pretty ballsy. Pretty ballsy there, and what we can do is we can just grab these archers and pop these guys down like so. Get more spears coming across, mixing some hand cannoneers for some real DPS. And these are, are they ever going to finish? Good. Okay. So let's go knock this down. I'm going to go explore the trade options here. Alright, looking good. So once again, we've taught them the lesson. The English peasants are farming super hard, dude. They have been. They've been working real hard. Uh, as a matter of fact, I'm going to get another farm because it equates to gold. Okay, we need to make sure we have enough resources here. So let's get you guys on there. Let's clear out this little rat's nest down here. Um, engage them at the river if you can. Hey, watch your siege. It's out of position. All right. So that's looking we good. Didn't, we didn't want that so much. Yeah, we didn't need it. It was bullshit anyways. All right. So the Rams are clearing it out. Can have a couple of you guys support. A couple of you guys support there. Get this and this. They also, they also didn't want their siege, apparently. Flank it. U13. So, unfortunately, our Red Palace isn't in the corner, nor is the Berkshire. So, neither of our super sweet landmarks are going to be there. But let's start working on this. Um, this defense, yeah. I think that's going to be good. Let's clear out the rats down here. And, um, yeah, looking fine. Oh, did we ever clear this out? We didn't. What a potato I am. What's that? I was uh, meeting to clear out the walls to the dead player's base to go see what we could scavenge in there. You think they're going to come across again? I think they will. <laughs> the definition of insanity. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I don't think they'll ever be able to kill us at this point. They had a window, maybe, when they like broke through that first time, but... Then the the golden uh, the golden lady, as you are now, was able to uh, grow too powerful. So, Pwn, we're gonna build our wonder in the top corner there, eventually, and um, we're gonna need we're gonna need you to um, collect all the stone. And the future plan is that you're gonna build a bunch of. Um, you're gonna build a bunch of keeps and towers and shit up there. We're just gonna do the classic French victory condition. Currently have 2,830 banks and I have 6,150 stone at the moment. At the guild hall? Oh no, okay, yeah, 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 I see. <clears throat> they really wanna hold this keep here. They're really sweating pretty hard. So who's the lone player? Docs, right? No, not, there's Docs, Rex. Yeah, it's Rexosaurus. Oh, they're crossing the river. You ready? All right. <laughs> Round 15, fight. All right, so going to set up some towers. I got rid of the rat's nest of the gods. Um, you've cleared your way through. Let's go keep exploring with these rams. 
Arbalist are just such a hard counter against the, those Order of the Dragon units. Okay, let's clear those walls out. Don't really need to micro too much here, I don't think. Um, how are the Rams going? Let's keep exploring here. <laughs> I'm going to shed a tear when Pwn becomes the master, it's true. Oh, green. Okay, so green's uh, in the south, but he's a, he's a solo player. That means we're probably not going to be able to get trade there, though. Um, that's for sure. Yeah, so green's hanging out in the south. Maybe green's going to set up for a wonder. Hey, uh, watch your troops on the bridge. They're crossing. Busy trying to destroy these troll docks in the back. Yeah, yeah. They're epically trolling me. Are they trying to run over here? Here they come for round 10. Let's go. Back they go. Got wild towers being set up everywhere. Killing the walls. So green's probably full trading south. <laughs> It looks like can. they're looking at him. Epic is blurred? Epic is blurred? Huh, that's weird. It blurred it, it blurred it out when I tried to say epic. Yeah, green's gonna go for a, uh, probably a wonder at some point, which is gonna be really cool. Let's delete this mining camp. Your guild hall currently has 3,600. So we need to wait till, this could take a while. But we need to wait till you get like 20,000. And then we, uh... Yeah, there's no sense in trying to push across, in my opinion. I have nothing my partner DC'd for. You can set up trade posts on the other side. Uh, are... Yeah, I, I doubt that. It, but all good. <laughs> I expect the Chad wonder. We're gonna see if he'll go out on a shield. He's saying his partner, you know, DC'd or whatever before he was able to set up a wall, but, you know, come on now. So, we're not going to be able to trade while green is down there. We can't really afford to leave. Um, they go cons do some consecrating. You can consecrate at any range, by the way. Oh, really? Yes, yeah, so you can do it from across the map. It oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. Joan's really good. Joan is a very, very good Civ. Have you guys ever heard of the Civ? It's, it's pretty... I haven't been doing it, because I, I was like, man, I just ain't got time to go back to base and do it. <laughs> yeah. No, you need to... You got to do it. So I'm saving up... Oh! That's <laughs> just the, the Bible. <laughs> Use your cannon to kill the remains of their walls there, yeah? <clears throat> the cannon cost me a lot of money. Well, I know. You could just shoot their walls, though. Yeah, I see I don't it. Lose no, not, not that. No, no, no. Not those walls. I'm saying these ones here. Oh. oh. Let's just clear out all the rat's nest here. You know. We're getting some sweet trade, which is awesome. Uh, looks like they're going to beat up green now. If, if, if they beat up green, your prob's gonna get beat up by them 2v1. So they can take your trade. <laughs> Yeah, that's good. So politicking a little bit. I believe in you. <laughs> Hang on, this is the best. Sending thoughts and prayers. <laughs> Our thoughts and prayers are with him in this difficult moment. Yeah, that. AKA, we've been on defense hard. <laughs> Hashtag pray for green. <laughs> I like it, dude. I like it. Uh, biology. Uh, looking good. How's the guild hall doing? It's up to 4,500. Outstanding. Good job, brother. Can you uh, delete this mill up here? My favorite mill. I know it's your favorite. My grandpa built that. I know. I'm sorry. Uh, nobody's buying stone right now, which is good. Made some of Jones Champion, so I think we just win. Yeah, we can't lose with Jones Champions on the table. How's that even possible? 
Take a look Ogen at this guy. Oh, wait, wait. Where are they? Ogen, the they've, they've learned their lesson of trying to cross the breach. And the yeah. fact that they took green sacred side is really good. They're like not making friends, you know? So that's, that's quite solid. Okay, let's do this. Uh, do this. Outstanding. Up top. Looks like that is fully secured. I wish I had some more stone somehow. Really in the, the old stone pits here. Is there any other rat's nest they have on our islands? I don't think so, right? I don't no, believe so. Like we got vision. Yeah, I got towers everywhere now, so. I wonder how the fight I wonder if they are fighting down there. So what civs are they? We got HRE in Japan, right? No order. So they're infinite gold. They probably got three relics based on what I saw. So three relics is going to be 240 gold a minute plus the Yorishiru, which are going to be um, 50, 225, 300. So that's going to be... I need like a university. Huh? Yeah. Oh my all, God. Yeah. All <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. Get, get the uni. Get the uni. <laughs> oh God. All right. So um, how much stone are you sitting on right now? 6,660. Okay, keep banking that right now. Hashtag justice for green. Yes. Rest, rest in, uh, rest in, in pepperonis. <laughs> pepperonis okay. Do you feel like it's, oh, do you feel like it's overhyped or are you a pepperoni guy? Oh, no, pepperoni. Uh, I would, if it's it, team sausage, hashtag team sausage. Team sausage, yeah, you're a sausage guy. Yeah. Respect. Respect to the sausage. I'm gonna go see if I can take this green sacred side over here and just like, you know, have a freebie. Because it is passive gold per minute. I'm currently getting um, pretty respectable passive gold. They're wasting resources battling Rexosaurus. Dude, the power fantasy is coming true. Like, we might actually win this. Because because the fact they're killing green. And we sent our thoughts and prayers. Here, you need to. Will you send him some more thoughts and prayers? Will you do it? Yeah. Go ahead and send him some. This is uh, this stone is almost empty. This one up here, though. Ooh, we actually have some here. Okay. That's <laughs> so accurate. <laughs> oh my god, dude! It's so troll. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna send some rams down there. Uh, let's get the religious building. <laughs> what does he say? Ask Ask Green how he could betray us while we send him thoughts and prayers. <laughs> you need to find out. All right, let's go down this way. Let's do this. Sweet. Okay. Gonna grab this other sacred. Yeah, so now we're getting a little bit of a bank, which is nice. Okay, good job, boys. Let's uh, remember Jack out here. <laughs> all right. So that's looking all right. Now we move down here. Um, we need to cancel all that, get a bit of a refund, and delete a couple units here. I'm going to grab the sacred site to get us a little bit more money passively. Well, you know, the theory of killing them isn't a bad idea because then they get cross map trade, right? They can just, like, be rolling in it. I mean, if we kill them, then we don't have. I mean, then it's two v one. But we have the uh, we have the what's it called? We have the guild hall. So like we have a win con, like a very straightforward win con here. Okay, Green's not gonna let me get this post. It doesn't look like. He's he's not happy about this. His men at arms are on the way. Okay, let's do that. <laughs> they really want to kill Green, I guess. Holy shit. Definitely a bit of a hate boner, huh? More fun than running in English towers. <laughs> so oh my god, dude. Little do they know, there's going to be a lot more English towers where that came from. 
just getting started. I'm just getting started. Can you do a good Batman voice, like the, the, the haggard, like, gravelly one? I think I can when I don't have, uh... Yeah, yeah, when you're not feeling have, sick, yeah. Have my sick, sick throat. All right. So green, yeah, they're fighting green. Um, yeah, oh yeah, they're marshalling down towards green pretty hard. They might move to the northern choke point, which I suspect is, is what they're going to do, rather than crossing the small bridge. My fire truck is going to grab that, okay. Just trying to get some dough. Oh, you do have red palace over there, right? Or somewhere nearby? Yeah, that's good. So that's going to protect that angle a little bit. And it's consecrated. Is it consecrated? Oh. Can you... What does that actually do for you? Uh, I think it's just... If, consecrated building, reducing the food cost of units by 25%. Oh, that's right. And you make your champions from there because you're Joan of Arc. Oh, shit. Come on, grab it. Okay, I got a second sacred site for us. Uh-huh. Can we destroy that? We have a pestas. Just the shittiest walls ever. Let's go, baby. Oh yeah. Building to put an upper. <laughs> Green's he does seem pretty ornery, doesn't he? You know? If he if he would like maybe beseech us for help and just be a homie, but he's just we've got none of that whatsoever. No, he's just trying to convince them to attack us instead. Yeah. Get in the towers. Get in the towers, peasants. Despite all that, all right. I like how they're whispering here. The dreaded long distance finding there is pretty funny. All right, so that's looking good. We're getting the wall off here. Perfect. Layers and layers of defenses. These Holy Roman troops are just jacked. Holy shit, look at them. Should we just attack Green also? <laughs> just He's ride into it. He needs to be stopped. Yeah, we he... ride to Orange's aid. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to go down and see if I can. Yeah, jo Joan, shotgun them. Shotgun of arc those guys, dude. <laughs> Look at our hero character. Okay. <laughs> you getting him, dude? Unlimited power. He's saying okay. I'm not sure what he's gonna do. Let's see. Sacred side is yours. Oh wait, I can capture this with Joan. Can't yeah, I? yeah, grab it. Oh. <laughs> Just Bible noises. <laughs> oh, of course, the holy hand grenade. So good. All right. I just realized there's four secrets. Yeah, he's, 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 he's <clears throat> and so and so peace was preserved. God, I do feel bad. He's like asking for help, you know. But um, like it really doesn't. It doesn't. It's not a good idea. <laughs> you know. Could it go with work? I'm getting some static defenses along our borders. We sent him as our thoughts and prayers. That's enough. You know, he doesn't need more than that. What the hell does he want from us? Yeah. How many more thoughts and prayers does he think I can muster? You have, you have enough food and gold to make a wonder. Uh, def definitely not enough gold. I don't think. Yeah. How much gold do you have? Oh, I'm at seven thousand nine hundred. Okay, I just sent you two. Of course, 000. if I made a. If I make the wonder, I'm not gonna have uh, like much gold to defend with. Being in base. Your call yeah. though. No, no, no. I, uh, you're you. As soon as he's dead, you build the wonder. Yeah. Like, pull. But don't. Pl I, I, I mean, I have, I have the. You didn't have to send me anything. No, no, it's good. It's, it gives you because I have, I have passive gold for my farms, so like I'm, I'm totally happy with that. Um. Right. I got passive gold from my my traders, and yeah, I made that upgrade that generates a gold for all my traders. That is really nice. Okay. Probably get some stables. Actually, probably need to do that. 
I just need full production. Yeah, I'm building a little bit more for the inevitable Helm's Deep hold here. Got towers all over the place. Life's good. Okay, towers are coming. Green's getting our thoughts and prayers. We can still see... I'm serious, Trent. I'm losing a 2v1. Okay, so how much... How are you doing resource-wise? Pretty good. So I need you to pull... Pull... Pull about 50 villagers up there right now. Maybe maybe 50 or 60. And um and you can you can just lumberjack those trees while you wait, but as soon as he starts to die, we need to we need to wonder cuz it it could be a wonder race. We don't know the situation. Yeah. <laughs> Prime saving him doesn't benefit us at all. If you don't wonder or hit, they will win. I mean I, I would say, I would comfort him with words, but, uh, you know. Uh, how much food do you have? Uh, 34,000. We wouldn't even need to. Okay, I'm gonna... Ha you don't have any way for me to get through, sir. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm building a key for you right now. You trolled me! Okay, so that's that. Looking good. So get those work, uh, get those bad boys up there and do it. And yet, uh, what was your food count again? Sorry. Thirty-four thousand. Okay, so you can afford to sit off. We just need to be on standby. So I recommend putting them all in a control group, all those workers, and uh, and just like being ready to pull the trigger. We could wonder now even, but then I don't know how beat up Rexosaurus is. Okay. <laughs> I see a landmark dying. I'm like, all right. So be ready, dude, in a couple of seconds, yeah? Yep. Oh, no, so, so I do feel bad for him. He's like pleading. I feel like I'm like the guy from Highlander. Or not Highlander, from uh, uh, Braveheart. He's just like watching, watching the other Scotsman just battle, you know? I feel like the villain, but it, it is it is our win con here. Well, it makes you feel like better. Kind of are the villain. Yeah. Well, to be fair, we got rushed and we held it. You know, we're not like pure villains here. Plus, it's like your first time playing Joan. So, um, okay. So he's losing. Let I can't believe he's holding so long. You're holding real well. Impressive. Imagine if he had Prime on his team, how rough this would be. <laughs> we would just be getting Ozutsu into the Shadow Realm right now. Alright. Um, yeah, so you're looking good. Maybe pull these bills up too. Are we being attacked? No, we're not. Okay. We got some cannon towers. Have they decided to do? Are they still attacking him? I mean, what the hell's going on here? You know, I'm genuinely curious. Because the problem is, if he's alive, that's going to be like a hundred rams we got coming our way. You know, right? Um, three v two is, and he's clearly a good player here. So, okay, let's get that. All right, so you guys build that wall. He says wonder an hour hit, which it's good that he's giving us like a heads up, you know. I fall almost immediately. Once we see another landmark die, Pwn, we can. Oh, nice, yeah, yeah, good. He's put you're putting those workers to uh, to use. Okay, we need to sell some food. Okay. Nope, no, we don't want to do that. Sell some food. All right. So I think we're okay. Yeah, you got the double keeps back there. It's gonna be pretty Helm's DP, for sure. And this doesn't look like it's fully sealed, actually, is it? It might not be fully sealed, which is very weird. Uh, okay. Can they actually get through there? Don't think so. I can't believe they haven't killed him two v one yet. We we sent our we sent our thoughts to him, dude. You, you guys can't expect much more than that. All right. So it looks like that is not sealed. 
So we'll get this and do that. And then we can set this up there. Get the market. We need to get horsemen upgraded to the max. Elite horsemen and probably get biology next. That's Pwn's uni. Where's my uni? I love that just attacking us was so miserable that they just decided to go kill this like solo player. It's my favorite thing. Pure villainy, dude. Alright. So we got walls. Um... We got the double sacreds. Yeah, we do have the double sacreds with some cannon emplacements on them, which is good. And you guys, is there any wood nearby that I can grab that's safe and secret? Yeah, we got some over here. Good. Okay, build it, build it, build it, build it. Build it. Build the wonder. Build it. I'm going. Oh, uh, what the hell happened? Wait, Docs died? Oh. <laughs> this is the most haggard shit ever, dude. Well, what if he's actually winning? Is Rex is Rex killing them? Guys, I think the Holy Roman Emperor killed one of them. Okay, I'm just gonna go attack across the river because this is just too strange. Oh, I think his system, dude. We just have all the Walmart connections here. All right, so he joins his brother Prime. Dude, I just feel like you're just you're just undefeatable, dude. He joins Prime in the pits. He says, "Get, get off my!" Oh my God! Look, dude, look, he's definitely get not off happy. My swamp. Yeah. Oh, by the way, here's another thing. If Joan of Arc is near villagers while they're building, they build 33% faster. So you can park Joan next to your wonder while it's being built, and um, and it's gonna like turbo it out, which is really cool. My wonder wall. So we definitely have won this um, by having the most stable internet connections. <laughs> I mean, our odds of winning weren't bad though, because you're French, and we have, you know, we have we're being left to our own devices quite a bit. I did take French one and two in high school. That's right. So let's get some trebs and just move across. Do that. Definitely too hard in the paint here. We're getting uh, quite a bit of passive. I'm delete you guys for now. Get some trebs. You think they're going to try and counterattack? You think they're going to make an effort? I was thinking they might just try and go for the sacred side. They can't. One of them's in our base. Right. Yeah, it's like that's just all bad news bears. I'm sure the legions will come. I don't know. I feel like they might not. All right, let's just go poke across. I really don't need the traders either, so let's delete those if we can. Oh, oh, the Holy Romans are, are mustering for war. All right then, I will meet them. Wonder where they're gonna try and cross. Pwns, you defend the the east, and I'll defend the west. We already did wonder. Wonder's up. It's a two v two. I mean. There are two of them attacking us, so it'll be very, extremely difficult for them to win. It's it's not impossible, but it's uh, it's going to be quite hard. So is he trying to build docks? Is he going in the north? Um, we're not sure. How much stone do you have right now? Two thousand four hundred forty-one. Okay, let's see all this. I don't know where the Holy Roman armies are. Um, we could see the other player here. Okay. Undefeated. They've got the sacred site. He would need to get all the sacred sites to defeat us, obviously. Okay, he's going north. So I'm going to head north and intercept here. And, uh, yeah, we'll do battle. We've got some towers coming up, so Bill's going to pound those out. You fight Kirk, the Japanese, when they cross. And uh, we'll go from there. Sure. They're about to <coughs> shut down our trade, so. You are the author of your own destruction, Kirk. He says, that's a great title. <laughs> yes, let the salt flow. I'm not capped on food yet. The reason why I'm not spam selling it is because my hands suck, and holding down that button is actually a pain in the ass. So let's do this and get these troops moving. All right. I should be able to fight off HRE. They do have a lot of cannons. I don't know. Moving through an English like unit spam is pretty hard, though. Okay, do you see the Japanese? By chance? Yeah, mustering. 
Yeah, they're mustering. Okay, be ready for them. Uh, on that sacred site. All right, yeah, it's your it's your sacred duty to uh, take them on. Okay, I don't think they're going to be able to get through. I think they have adequate walls. The Trebs are at the ready. Let's put them in group two and have them uh, snipe the bombards if they can. Let all my traders ride ride out and die. <laughs> yeah, it's at this point we have enough of a bank where I don't think it's too big of a problem. Yeah, my people will eat, will eat well, for sure. Uh-huh. Uh, they're sniping trebs, which is whatever. I can spam units all day. And he's he was on deathbed, so he's probably... Dude, look at the English trebs just sniping those. It's so good. Okay, he's going to get them. You can't really kite with trebs, so... Okay. Looks like they've been dealt with. They're going to be forced back. Uh, have the Japanese attacked yet? Hmm. All's quiet on the eastern front. Good, good. Got my villagers. Isn't there some bills nearby here? All right, so let's build these towers, make sure we get the bonus. It's crazy, Green still got a really formidable army, even considering he was not going super hot for him. Does he have bombards? He does, so building keeps and whatnot is pointless. Uh, Japanese haven't mustered or attacked you yet. Don't Make sure you don't engage in their lands, like on their terms. Let's see a little cavalry flank here. Sell some food. Okay, here they come. Intent to raid. And it's on, uh, let's get partying. Okay, let's have all the artillery here. Uh huh. One, two, three, four. I don't think he has the whip to defend all of his stuff. That's the problem if you go a little too heavy on Artie, that can happen. Yeah, you can't. He can't really even defend these. All right. So the English Chads are doing it. We've killed almost all of his artillery, so his progress is going to be stifled pretty hard. Yeah, if this were 3v2, it'd be hard, though. Rex is, uh, he's formidable. Spears and horsemen, yes, yes. A couple sneaky battering rams. Grab you guys and go take down those rams to make sure no progress is made. All right, let's cruise for a bruising. HRE men-at-arms trying their best. Um, getting up to the wonder would certainly not be easy. All right, so looking fine. He's going to get a good scout of what our lands. He is. He's going to meet the second wave of hand cannoneers. Okay, so the defense here is going fine. He's definitely not going to get past me. Uh, on your side, let's see. You can probably delete your traders at this point and just go all in on military. But I did delete the traders. Yeah, I don't know. I, I didn't know if you had, so I was just suggesting it. Um, culverins are fine. Probably could delete some eco. I'm still at, that's a lot of eco. If I just deleted my eco, I could probably steamroll him. Okay, what do we have? Okay, delete our wood eco. And get this. Yeah, I mean, he's just spamming men at arms, which is uh, pretty easy to stop here. What HRE does. They do, they do. And cannoneers would be nice though, for sure. All right, let's go snipe some of these. Okay, let's do that. Pull some of you guys down here. He's gonna run those. And now we push him back. Yes, minions. We're gonna do a casted FFA after this. We're gonna do something fun, like some weird one, mate. He's definitely trying harder than Kirk. <laughs> yeah, what's, uh, what's Kirk been up to? Well, he ran those horsemen. That bat horseman army, and that was it. Okay. I think he just did some scout. <clears throat> yeah, oh, so Kirk ran by with horsemen? Is that what he did? Yep. Okay, so Green's armies have been crushed. I can push him back now. Um, yeah, we got 109 military. Sneaky rams coming by. Dude, pushing England English is just such misery. It's like, oh, they're so annoying to push. I feel bad. Plus, he was also getting 2v1 pretty hard, so that didn't help. 
Kirk, are you pushing? I'm stalling for turn. Yeah. He can't handle the Golden Shogun. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if he's pushed. I don't know if he has. Have you seen him moving around or anything? Get some stone towers here. Get the horsemen up to do a little bit of artillery flanking here. There he is. He's coming. Are you ready? Can you take him? I think so. Let's go loose formation. Let's get you guys doing this. Target here and here. Little cavalry flankeroo. The classic. The bombards aren't a problem. They don't kill my army. It brings rams. Yeah, but I think Pwn's got this covered. Okay, so just a couple bombards, no problem. English armies crush HRE armies, Imperial usually. So we're A-OK. -okay. Let's get these. And, uh, yep, keep that up, no problem. Trying to establish a forward. He is. That ain't, he'll kill it, kill it before he can cancel it. And then he'll lose all that stone. There's a, a wild ram over there, okay. So let's send you two horsemen up here to go deal with that. Yep, we got the cannons and whatnot. Um, you killed the keep. Let me know if you need some help. I can always pull back. And, or I can delete all my, my food and, and double up my army size. I just want to keep farming because it's giving me gold. That's why. You're, you're doing good? All right. Estes Commande! All right. Uh, yeah, you got a pretty fierce little fight over there, bud. If you fall back a tiny bit, you have cannon towers, by the way. Um, I, ha I set some up over there earlier, so. Keep destroying his, uh, his keeps. Good job. Keep it up, man. Holy shit, that's a lot of mangoes. Wow, holy shit. Get some springs. Oh, he's setting up some walls. Very fancy. Little does he know, we can shoot over them. Oh, yes. I mean, it's fine. It's cool. We will, we will siege from across. <laughs> okay, I think we can sell some food here. The trebs are cackling. It's fine. We can even just fall back a tiny bit. If we want to set up here. We only have to defend for three more minutes. No problem. Just give ground. Can even ram spam. Uh, let's just let's just muscle him down here. We're just gonna delete and just get a ton of military and just muscle him down. Got rams coming across. The golden shogun is crushing his foes on the other side. It's a long three minutes here, bud. It's a long three minutes, old Rex. Could fight it, but it's underneath, you know, mangoes and stuff, so it's not great. It would take a lot of effort to get through that, that's for sure. Alright, so you guys come down and set up a gatehouse. He wants to fight us here? That's fine. Run into the south forest, let the main army engage. And uh, we just charge down here. Yeah, let's see if he can wall this quick enough. He might not be able to. Okay, he's losing a lot of units. Looks like we got past him. So we are going to get a bunch of these. Yes, the dreaded free artillery. Oh, yeah, just give it to me, baby. Just give it to me. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. No mercy. All right, so we got all the mangoes. Now we can just crush this army here. And we can just push him back. Again. We got spring alts coming. Trebs are here. Let's get the trebs to knock down the gatehouse. And we're uh, we're getting that sweet DACA. We've got triple springs. Here we where are we at? Okay, he's fleeing. It did not go as planned. And Pones in his Mortal Kombat with uh, with Kirk over there. Alright, good job man, keep it up. Okay, selling a little bit. He's got the Bible characters coming in to preach preach the, the gospel here. Culverins, don't want any of that. 
All right, let's attack. Get you going here. You chasing. Here you go and fight. I could, I've played this matchup many times. Usually, I mean, HRE will almost always lose to um, constant English pressure. It can sometimes get some work done, but overall it's, uh, it's really difficult. Okay, and Rams are on the way. If he doesn't have mangoes, he's going to lose ground here probably. Uh, we need to get some attack speed. It looks like we do still have that tower nearby, which is good. Uh, GG, I think. Yeah, I don't think they're going to be able to make it. Nope, I think, uh, I think this one's pretty secured. Shoot you back. Shoot that down. Pull you back. Now we can be really annoying. We can, we can get up on the walls so we can go up here. It's time to ride out and meet them. Yes, the sneaky wall handgunners. One last time. Oh, so MLG. All right. Right out and meet them, Brother Pwn, one last time. Yeah, they're not making any progress against the, the Golden Lady over here either, so. Okay, looks fine. 14 seconds left. We got old Duhosts of our own now arriving. Uh, is there anything sneaky sneaking up on our wonder? Does not appear to be the case. Let's get you and you. Keep shooting. GG. Historically accurate gun <laughs> John for the win. Joan of Arc just flying around on a shotgun? Hell yeah. <laughs> just like it's, it's more like a hand cannon. Yeah, it is. Yeah. That was pretty unfortunate that they had the disconnects, but at least it still ended up being two of them. You know? Yeah, it's rough though. Three people. I think we still win with three, but it's really tight. Like, really, really tight. Um, maybe. Because we do have good static defenses, walls, and things. I don't know. Three might have been too much on this map. It's really big and open. Also, uh, we had a we had a champion of Jean, though. How did they not kill him 2v1? They were literally at him for like an hour. It's wild. Like Rexosaurus would go into the night. Yeah, Rex was a beast. He was very, very strong. What if, what if he snagged, like, all the relics? Yeah, just, like, I, I, I wish I could see that. Let's look at the economies. Um, yeah, Rex had the best economy. I had the best food. English always does. But he had the best uh, gold by not a huge margin. It was just a little bit ahead of me. So yeah, he must have had a lot of relics. So Rex was pretty beast mode for sure. He was pretty beastie. You're done for tonight, yeah? Yeah. Probably a good call because we started another one. Absolutely. Might be too late. GG's, man. GG's. We still got it. We'll uh, we'll we'll come back and defend our uh, strap next time you're on. The undefeated duo continues. Undefeated, baby. Undefeated. GG's, man. GG's. See ya. All right. So, how long have we been streaming for, by the way? Uh, we have been streaming for only three hours. Yeah, we got time. So, I want to do a very Thunderdome-y one. Uh, we could do Team Thunderdome. Team Random Thunderdome. So let me just observe this. I'm gonna just cast this one. So we'll do a casted FFA, which will be fun. Uh, let's see what our options are. Like, what's the most Thunderdome map out there? Yeah, Pwn plays great, man. He's got good RTS fundamentals, you know? Even though he's just learning age, he plays very great once he learns the stuff. Hmm. All right. So who was the first person to message me? It looks like it was Jordan. Uh, yep. Sure. Set up lobby. So Jordan's going to be our host. I don't think Jordan played today, so we should be fine. Yeah. It's insane yeah. how strong it is having a French player on your team. It's absolutely insane. Like, they, the, the value you get from Guildhall just knowing you have a win con in your back pocket is, uh, is nuts. Mountain clearing is the miserable one, isn't it? Yeah, we can do mountain clearing. The pit... The pit's fun too. Uh, we could do gold pit or mountain. So go here's here we'll do a poll, guys. Eight players. Uh, unfortunately, you have to go. You must fight. Gunhound says he must fight Pwn sooner than later. Gonna need uh, uh, not mega. Map is going to be standard. Uh, map on the way. So we will do mountain clearing. Mountain clearing. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> Put them on Black, for Black Forest or something. Yeah, as much as I like streaming, we'd be here for a long time if we did that, my friends. 
the worst map possible. I mean, mountain clearing is pretty wild. It's like it's like a very narrow Royal Rumbly type map, which it could end really quickly. Um, Prime sending me. I'm not hosting Prime. Uh, Jordan's hosting for anybody who wants to join. Oh, oh, but you were just in the game, Prime, so we should probably get different people in. Although you did disconnect. Yeah, Prime, you can rejoin if you want to. You got disconnected, so you're good. Uh, go ahead. You DC. Yeah, he DC'd. He, he didn't even get to play the game, really, so we'll uh, we'll get him back in there. Yeah, Joan is, is great, though. Um, so sometimes people are asking about some of the advantages that the French have. The French have faster villager production. Um, and, you know, their keeps do give the influence, so theoretically you can, like, pop off with your influence faster, but I think Joan is still better. I don't know. Just having that hero character is so impactful, like, in armies, and uh, she can just summon cannons out of nowhere. It's pretty wild. Uh, I'm casting this one, so this is going to be a casted one. Islands would Island games actually don't go... I mean, they, they can drag on, but typically it's not too much. Mountain clearing is really fun because it forces people into uh, into very tense situations. Uh, one of our map makers, you guys should make a new Thunderdome where everyone's really, really close. Not like like within, obviously, base range, but like, you know, striking distance. So Jordan is already in the game. It looks like that lobby filled up very quickly. I think? Maybe? Yeah, it might have already started. Let's see. Okay, I believe this is our match. And yeah, it is. All right, guys. So here's who we got. We got uh, Jordan on Malians, Eonimus on Japanese, Shadows on Rus, uh, Palin on Joan, Peter on English, RXP on the Delhi, Prime on Chinese, and uh, Factory Second on the Japanese. So that's going to be all of our players today, and we will load in and have some fun. Absolutely, Gunhound. Uh, as long as your birthday isn't on the 23rd, I am down for it. The 23rd, I have to uh, go to LAX and uh, head out of town to pick up my wife. She's coming back from Poland. She's visiting her mom a little bit. So, uh, yeah, as long as it's not that day, you can 100% count me in the entire stream if you just do rank 3v3, so it'll be really fun. Gideon, take care, man. Thanks for joining. Greatly appreciate it. Uh, the micro maps on Killer have been really cool. Smeagol even started in one of them. Yeah, I haven't seen Smeagol around in a while. Oh, no, he forgot to change the observer delay. Okay, we got five minutes to wait. It could be worse. You know, it could be worse. Five minutes will go by quickly. Killer Pigeon. Yeah, he's a, he's a caster, right? He does he does the uh, EGC TV casting, I think, every now and then. Rexasaurus, thanks for all the thoughts and prayers. Well played. Yeah, I mean, it's not, we did want to help you, but the thing is... Um, we had a guild hall just waiting, so for us it was like, if they just kill you, then they couldn't kill us 2v2. It wasn't like, they had been trying all game and just failing. So, we knew that if you were gone, it would just be a guaranteed win uh, at that point. Yeah. Sawmill, thank you for the two bucks. Can you tell uh, <laughs> Draven? Are you talking about the lead character? Oh my god. Draven. Draven, I'm actually a Draven main. He's When I used to play League, um, on my, what did I get to? I think I got to, I got to the lower end of diamond, I, if I memory serves. Yeah, I was like diamond, the lowest, the lower rank of diamond in league. Um, Draven was one of my mains. Darius was another one I really, really enjoyed as well. Darius was super fun. I like, and that was back when his slam dunk was actually even stronger. He was always kind of a, you know, why is Jordan hosting? He puts uh, observer on. <laughs> Yeah, it's all good. You know, we, we got time to hang out and chat. We were shouting save green and he turned the cheek. <laughs> yeah, we had to. We sent our thoughts and prayers and that's why you did so good. Why do you think you were able to fight them off 2v1? It's because of the thoughts and prayers we sent. Yeah, oh, I love playing Draven. Draven was really fun. Um, Darius, I liked playing Garen. I was a bit of a mouth breather. Uh, Vlad, I was also Vlad. I played Vlad top lane. I played Zed mid, but I wasn't very good at him. He was a little bit too hard for me. <laughs> the toxic turn days. This thing, disgusting Darius player. I love playing, you know, like so many Darius games in league would just go like, oh, I'm Darius top and I'm going to go like eight and one. And then you still just lose because like you just don't scale well in the late game. You know, Draven. Yeah, Thresh is really good too. Thresh is a fun character. My wife is actually really good at league too. We did a, we did a stream a while back. It was me. It was my wife. It was myself, Professor Pone, Italian Spartacus. And uh, we usually would have one uh, someone from chat on our team to fill it out. It was really fun, actually. We had a great time. 
Uh, no, he was on our team. Yeah, he was on our team, Frost. So, uh, yeah, we, we didn't we didn't make we didn't cause it any of that. Yeah. <laughs> My two Malzahar was good. Yeah, his ult was really strong. Uh, Order the Dragon Nevermore can be okay. We had them in the first game today. They were pretty threatening in that first FFA. There was a couple of Order players. Uh, last game we had an Order player cross the bridge. They had a scary timing where Pone and I got pushed back to our base, and like we were on the cusp of death the last game. It, it was very dodgy. Yeah, League's, League's fun. It's a, it's a fun game. I, I would go back and play that a little bit more. But, you know, I prefer RTS. RTS is my favorite genre, like base building, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, a lot of people get really stressed out playing League. I, I had a lot of friends who get, would get really tilted or really, like, you know, ladder anxiety, but they wanted to achieve a certain rank, so they pushed through it. <laughs> yeah, Frost, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Is that video anywhere to be found? I'm not sure. I'd have to look back. Yeah. What? So here's a quick question in chat for all of you guys. What is the um, what is the one game that has made you the saltiest? Like, let's let's maybe like focus more on multiplayer because maybe some single player games. You know, some of these like Elden Ring type things maybe. But let's focus on multiplayer. What multiplayer game has made you the saltiest? And if you want to give like a brief explanation too, I'd be curious to see uh, the overlap. Rust Rust is another one that made me pretty salty, but I love the hell out of it. Like you finally set up a base, you get resources, and then like a clan will come by and just raid your shit and it'll just annihilate you. Holy shit. Yeah. A hundred percent lol. Everyone has a list of friends they can't play with you. League of Legends League. Wow. League is, is a lot of it. League no contest? Dota 2? Yeah. So the Dota League, I can see that. Rocket Rocket League. Interesting. War Thunder Company of Heroes 2 or Dota. Yeah. I'm seeing a lot of recurring themes here though. Uh, have you played Against the Storm? I haven't. No. Yeah. Uh, Magic the Gathering without any shadow of a doubt has maybe the salty. Yeah, Magic can definitely drive people to the dark side of the force. Yeah. Um, I need to go let my Chihuahua out real quick. Dota 2. Uh, I live in the salt-free life. Yeah, Gunhound, I can't see you really getting salty. It takes a lot for me, too. I can take, like, five L's in a row on ladder and just like, go do something else. But if I'm lagging, that's what makes me salty, for sure. Apex, Vermintide. Verm interesting. Wouldn't have guessed that. Yeah, I've heard For Honor's multiplayer is wild. Uh, all right, so I am just gonna let the Chihuahua out real quick. At <laughs> home, board games, pure salt. Yeah, yeah, I get that. I get that. One sec, guys. She calls to me in the night, but I don't feel like cleaning up a mess. Come on, Lola. Maybe we should do a really salty league stream. That'd be fun. I'll do like some duos with my wife or something. That'd be really fun. All right, guys. We're in the Thunderdome, the mount mountain clearing. Spawning on the south side of the map, it is going to be our host, Jordan. So Jordan is here, and Jordan is playing the Malians. Malians definitely can do some work on these smaller maps. And over to the west, we do have another Japanese player. Uh, and Japan also quite resilient, right? Having their uh, their town centers just be raid bosses and Daimyo Manors and Shogunate Castles. I like that quite a bit. The next Dune stream will be sometime in the next few days. I wanted to do it today, but the servers were down, so. Over on the west, we have Shadows. Shadows is going to be on Roost. Roost can be really strong on this map. They can definitely get some really, really good high trade houses. And, uh, you know, that's always good. We have Factory over here. Factory is going to be on Japanese. Japan seems to be, you know, it used to be like English. You would see like tons of English players. Um, they were like the most common. But now I'm starting, to, I feel like Japan has kind of taken over the role of the very like easy to play common pick. Uh, up to the north, it is going to be Peter. Peter is going to be on the English. And to the east, it will be the Chad. The most Chad, the Delhi. Yes, he's going to be uh, playing Delhi. And Delhi could be formidable here. I mean, look at that. Two relics right next to your base. I mean, goddamn, that's really good. And one relic here. So Delhi can definitely go fast castle and snatch up relics. If you're in Japan, though, you want to go fast castle and get relics too. Like this, fighting for relics is going to be one of the most important elements over here for sure. Over to the east side, we do have uh, Palin here, and uh, he is going to be, I believe, a Joan of Arc. So the lady is uh, here and blesses us with her presence. And to the south side, it is none other than Prime, one of our homegrown champions, of course. A very, very strong player in both 1v1 as well as FFA. 
and uh, he's going to be China. So China doesn't have any source of infinite gold, but they do have really, really good units in general. Palace Guard are amazing. Jugnu can be good. They do have the uh, Nest of Bees. Uh, tons of great Imperial upgrades. Um, pretty solid in most ages, honestly. China doesn't really feel like... Especially in an FFA game, right? Like, you're not often going to get rushed. So you can just go 2TC Song Dynasty and just cackle. Nick, how you doing, man? Thank you for the donation. Greatly appreciate it. I too am Nick. That's my first name. Turn's actually my middle name too, so it's not it's not too fancy. Oh, look at the MLG mining camp right here too. This is great. Right between the two nodes means he doesn't need to spend an additional 50 wood to set that up, which I think is uh, pretty good. So predictions. Who do you guys think is going to be winning this FFA duel? Who's your favorite for the match? Um, definitely some very strong players. We've seen Anonymous win a handful of our FFAs pretty in a very convincing manner. Same thing with Prime as well. Um, Jordan has also been one of our perpetual champs doing very well. So yeah, we got some really, really good players in here. Really, really good players in here indeed. I mean, China does have decent gold via the supervisors. Yes, correct. So if you have four Imperial officials and you're collecting taxes uh, frequently, you can do okay on gold. It's not going to be like massive enough to fund like a huge war machine, uh, like English farms, for example. But I think like if you optimize it, you can get like five, six, five, six hundred maybe. A minute from that i'm not 100 percent sure it's something i haven't really uh, tested out too much so we got a lot of people named nick here yes yes all right so malian setting up their pit mines so if you guys are new to this game the malians will uh, build a pit mine on top of a gold node and that gives them passive gold and then if you surround it with houses and or mining camps it increases the amount of passive gold you can get and that even that includes after you've mined out the gold vein which is really good so malians can get good passive gold um this is going to be like i don't know 140 150 passive gold a minute this is going to be 75 so it's like 200 and then you multiply that malians can get about four or five hundred passive gold a minute pretty consistently if they can keep their pit mines up which is uh which is really really good which is really really good so look it around it looks like some players betting on old prime here prime setting up a barbecue of the sun a uh, great position by the way it's covering both a gold node a food as well as a stone outcropping so that's going to make sure that he's pretty secure once he takes the ones close to his base that are very safe, he's going to be able to move up here and grab both of these. Landmarks for the Malian's going to be Mansa Quarry. Mansa Quarry generates 75 gold and or stone a minute. Um, not and, but or. So you can choose between the two, which is quite nice. Over to the west side, we do have Yonimus going Cora Storehouse. So not going to be seeing any Shinobi memes here from a Yonimus. And a bit of a misplay. Did he pull his bills? No, he kept villagers building that. Okay, I thought he stopped for a second. And the Roost Kremlin, I would say, is probably the better choice on this map. And here's the thing. If you get Kremlin late game on this map, you can summon like a million militia and rush somebody's base, um, which is really strong because the map is so small that, you know, they'll actually be a really good offensive tool and it will also keep you from dying early on. So the Kremlin, I think, is great here for our uh, shadows. So the north, another Kura storehouse. No surprises there. It is a very good, sustainable landmark. Over to the east, we do have uh, Peter. Peter is going to be doing the two uh, farm early kind of Farmville build. So he has not aged up yet. And uh, now we do see the council hall coming out. I know Beastie does this. He starts with like two farms immediately. Uh, the one advantage of doing that, which it, it, it basically allows you to keep your scouts on the, on the map longer. I don't think in an FFA scenario, it's like an ideal opening um, because you know you don't really care about having your scout on the map as long, but I don't know. We'll see. It looks like he's going to go two TC anyways. He does have stone being gathered already. Um, if he was going to be going 2TC, though, you would want to pull uh, about five of these villagers, switch them onto the straggler trees, and, and pull these gold villagers and go in stone. So not necessarily the cleanest 2TC, but we'll see what he's actually going to do. Maybe he's just getting stone to set up some uh, arrow emplacements and things like that. We don't know. Delhi's going Tower of Victory. So over to the east, we do have RXP on the Tower of Victory here. So that is going to give all of his units or infantry produced near, uh, near Madrasas or uh, the tower itself a 20% attack speed, which is really good. Delhi can get super good quality units. Roost player grabbing bouncy wherever they can. And over here, we do have the School of Cavalry. No surprises here for Palinko, our uh, French player. And Prime, Barbican, and probably going to be going Song Dynasty here in a second. Looking at the bank of Prime. Uh, oh, shit, Fast Castle. That makes more sense, actually, because Prime is going to want to get the relics. China's Fast Castle is respectable. It's not as good as Yuxi's, but you can see he's already pretty close to it, right? And he's got a lot of villagers on food, um, all of whom are being supervised by the official. So that's going to be giving quite a bit of uh, goodies there for them. So all's calm at the front. Who's going to get Castle Age first? Delhi definitely should be going fast Castle. Looks like they're on their way. So Delhi's going to be getting Castle pretty fast. Unfortunately, no. Did he do Pro Scouts? Or did he push the deer back to his TC? It looks like he pushed him back to the TC. We see an early wall off from Jordan. So Jordan being uber conservative, which honestly, I don't hate it. Uh, he does have two relics within his base. So he's got a little bit of sustainability there. And knowing he's got some aggressive neighbors, 
Yeah, yeah, this is a really tough neighborhood. Like, this is this is like walking into the wrong neighborhood here. You got Ionimist and Prime. Both these players, I know Prime is a Conqueror player 1v1. Ionimist, I, I played against them a lot, and I would say that they, I would assume they were probably at least Diamond or Conqueror. Um, you know, if they're, you know, playing, if they actually practiced and played a lot of 1v1 and things like that, that'd be kind of cool to see. But, um, over here on the Japanese base, we do get 2TC. So very, very greedy stuff, but not going to be securing too many relics. If you're going to go 2TC, what I would recommend is walling the relics near your base to make sure they don't get stolen. But now, uh, Prime is going to be Castle Age and the Dark Lord is going to be uh, power building, most likely a monastery here in a second. I don't know if he has enough wood. Yeah, he doesn't. That's why he's focusing here. Looking at Prime's eco, he does not have quite enough to get the monastery, which is definitely a bummer for him. But the cool thing is he can supervise the monastery and pump out that scholar super quickly. He's got two relics in his base already and should be able to go north and maybe steal one from uh, one of his neighbors here, Palinko. Palinko on 2TC. So yeah, it's pretty... Joan 2TC is really good. You can you can uh, consecrate the town centers and get pretty good efficiency from that. Uh, I've never played Lethal Company. I've never, never played it. Uh, I would take a look though. I wouldn't be opposed. So relics are still all in play. Delhi is going to be getting compounded the defender, and uh, why Delhi is one of Delhi's strengths in FFA is the fact that they can get their scholars out pretty quickly uh, and just get a shit ton of relics. So he's going to be getting castle. He's going to get one relic. He's got two near his base, and he's going to be grabbing another one. If Delhi can get like five or six relics, they can definitely muscle you down. I mean, that's a lot of passive gold which you can use on elephants and uh, you know other scary pieces. Uh, Japan here going very conservative, 2TC farms, not much military, so if they did get aggressed early, they would certainly be in some danger. High Trade House should be up for the Roost soon. Let's see what the Roost player is up to. Shadows uh, is creeping up on Castle Age, but not really going too hard on it. Um, back here, yeah, looks like they're just taking it slow. Prime now has his monastery out, so his uh, monks are going to be heading out to grab relics, but this one is walled in, so that one's not going to be free. This relic is on the table still. You could get that and get away. The town center probably wouldn't kill you quick enough. Joan of Arc going to be moving out in the middle of the map to keep tabs and make sure the relics are kept secret and safe. And Delhi should be grabbing these, yeah. This uh, scholar is going to go down for sure. The knights are circling around like vultures waiting for him to die. And now he's going to be setting the relic down and fleeing, which uh, is not going to save your life. A good play in theory for sure. But uh, we'll see who's going to get the most relics. We'll do inventory once the uh, little battles have subsided here. So Joan able to fend off the uh, mighty scout here, but her bow cannot quite reach it. The uh, Lancer does get it down. Prime as far as relics go. Looks like he's going to get two only. Um, this one is walled. That one in the north is... Oh no, he stole it! He did jack it. He took it from Joan, but Joan's going to be coming down like a wrecking ball. Royal Knight should be able to get the kill here. Lance's couch for the lady! And there we go. And Joan does get the uh, kill on that character. All right, all right. Looking fun, man. Looking fun so far. Over to the west side, Japan's still uh, just bolstering their economies. And what's great, if Japan gets Imperial Age, they can definitely steamroll some people. I mean, the Ozutsu and, and the free units they get from the Tanagashima gunsmith can make up for their lack of infinite gold. Uh, they do have decent passive gold from the Yodoshiru. Like, if Japan could get four Yodoshiru plus two relics, I mean, that's enough to sustain, like, a decent amount of samurai. So you're going to be able to do some uh, good pushing, right? You're going to be able to do a little bit. Um, all right, so Japan here, eat going up on their two TCs, Cora Storehouse popping off. Nobody's getting terribly aggressive yet, but the war is going to be starting soon. Uh, I suspect Prime is going to go with a uh, really, really kind of big palace guard push at some point. I wonder if he's going to go two TC though. He's got two relics here, and the other one is being guarded by Joan of Arc. So I think that's why he's getting the barracks. Uh, most likely going to be pumping up palace guard, and now we see Imperial Academy coming out. So something we haven't seen in FFAs a lot um is the fire lancers right because everybody's had such a rock hard erection for shushis that we haven't really seen the old school chinese with fire lancers and fire lancers can be absolutely devastating i mean in ffa if you let like 30 40 50 of them in your base and your your army's elsewhere you're just dead right they're gonna get your landmark so well played here by factory uh, i really like that he walls the relic and he walled the other relic good play here by our orange japanese player that's very very strong i like that he was able to uh he was able to secure those and the Yodoshiru. Yeah, I enjoy PvP games. AI is just like you're always going to figure it out. So it becomes boring to me quickly. Um, whereas, you know, like any like anyone can accomplish like the pinnacles of PvE to an extent. Whereas like doing that in PvP is much more of an accomplishment for me personally. Um, I mean, there are some really impressive accomplishments in PvE settings. Like obviously world first and raiding and records and old school games. Wall's getting deleted there by Jordan, uh, so he might be... Okay, guys, I think we... I think Jordan made an alliance with Prime. So Jordan, I think, said Prime could take the Relic here. Look at that. So the Relic is going to be taken back here. 
I think Jordan was said prime. I will let you have this relic if you don't attack me. Interesting, because he's probably worried about yellow here. Okay. So the Malian's using a little bit of diplomacy. And to be honest, it's not much. I mean, Prime's a really good player. You're not going to want him coming at you full bore. So I, I can understand that being decent. Um, I don't hate that from Jordan. I don't hate that. A little bit of a scra uh, scrap in the north. We do see the Chinese spearmen coming out. But there's a couple archers. And honestly, Jones going to be farming a fair amount of experience here. Prime does manage to get three relics. Might be able to get a fourth here in a second. Um, Japan on the other side, uh, placing the Yorishiru in the stables. So he's doing what you do in 1v1, which is very curious. Um, so good to be getting some rapid fire uh, mounted samurai out. So maybe going for an early kill on somebody. Nobody's been aggressed yet. Nobody's been taken down high trade house. Uh, pretty nice high trade house position. That's going to be hitting a lot of trees back there. It's going to be hitting a lot of trees. All right. So Prime looking to duke it out with Joan. Um, Joan should be scooting and shooting and picking off the spearmen. Uh, Prime is uh, probably going to get up here and get this. And that is going to be his fourth relic, which is very, very powerful. The one thing about, you know, Prime over here is he doesn't really have the 2TC kind of goodness going on. Uh, does he have Song Dynasty even? He does not have Song Dynasty? He does. Okay, he's got Song now, so he's going to be able to eco up. Uh, conflicts on the other elements of the map. We do have the Monastery coming up, so Bruce is going to be able to grab a couple of these. Joan of Arc moving out, and uh, she's able to battle these archers pretty well. Granted, uh, this Joan player, is he Castle Age? He is, and Joan of Arc is able to fend off Prime's forces. Prime's only on, like I said, 1TC, so he's not going to have like a huge overwhelming Chinese army coming at you. Granted, uh, he is now supervising here, so that's going to be increasing the efficiency. And uh, is Joan going to be able to find a way to get this relic? We do have the Monastery Monks coming out. Joan uh, is going to need to uh, hurry up with that, though, for sure. However, the Joan of Arc player is on 2TC. So the economy, I mean, theoretically, should be able to outmuscle Prime here. However, Prime does have the artillery advantage. Um, Palinko might be able to still do it with Joan. I'm not sure. Joan can actually snipe artillery well with the Divine Arrow. It does 40 damage. So if you're able to kind of, you know, get this thing low, you can pick them off, which is pretty cool. But he's moving up, and he's got his Monk on standby. Joan's going to lose his fight 100%. It's not going to be good. Um, she's shooting, but now Nesta Bees is raining some hot fire, and those archers could absolutely smash. Joan using the Divine Arrow on one of the crossbowmen, but uh, a little bit of Bronze Odeo. Oh, no, he got to run. Running too late. And now uh, I think this is going to be uh, pretty rough for the old French. I think they will be the first victim of the Dark Lord here. And uh, that will yield another relic, if I'm not mistaken, because there is a relic here. Malians are going with the cow boom, so very interesting. They did a very different uh, build. And obviously wanted to go fast, faster to castle, maybe, to get access to their relics. Uh, but normally with cow boom, you put the cows on the cattle ranches before you age up. Uh, that, that's what you see more often than not in 1v1. But this is a different beast. I guess you want to get castle age to get the relics. But yeah, China could for sure kill the French. Uh, at, from the looks of things, the French army is mustering, um, building on the 2TC, but yeah, it's, that's, that's a conqueror level player on China right next to you, so that's going to be pretty scrappy. Uh, Roos not really doing a whole lot. They got their triple relics. That's very nice. Roos are definitely cackling it up here. Uh, three relics is good. Looking at the Japanese up here, these Japanese managed to get three relics too, so it seems like it's a pretty even spread. It doesn't seem like anybody um, really blew anybody else out of the water or anything like that, but you know, the thing is, on this map, conquering your neighbors is going to be super important because everyone seems to have access to a couple relics. So if you can take them out, that's going to be big. Uh, Delhi with four relics too. So Delhi's looking pretty good. Also getting their uh, village fortresses. So Delhi has a technology that allows them to build villagers out of their keeps, which is really good. So Delhi can go fast castle and then get the village fortresses from the compound of the defender. And then they can just build like boom pretty hard. And if they have relics, I mean, Delhi becomes very formidable. And really good wonder defenders too, because they can build walls and all that. So Delhi is actually going for the kill. Oh wow, I didn't notice this. So our English player Peter seems to be paying the troll toll here. Um, Delhi coming in with battering rams and men at arms. And uh, it doesn't look like there was too much of a fight. Looks like it was a pretty one-sided affair. So we didn't miss too much here, but that is gonna be first blood. And unfortunately for him, the English player didn't have any relics, but he still gets rid of a neighbor and claims some real estate. So if you're Delhi, I think you wanna wall all this off and like use this space and utilize it, right? But yeah, the white tower never got finished back there. And the Delhi shop has claimed first blood. Yeah, they have uh, claimed first blood. Wow. So where's this scholar going? He's got a relic. Oh, oh, he's going to wallow low those villagers. Hell yeah, baby. I like that. That's really, really badass. Uh, other fights looking around so I don't miss them. Fights, fights. Yeah, Prime is starting to try and kill the French here, which is looking more and more likely. Granted, the French do have some spring ults, so maybe they can defend it. This is a very, very Chad play. Oh, yeah. Let's go. So we got the scholars. Uh, that's going to be certainly increasing the Delhi economy by 15. That's a nice boom right there, guys. 
So that is a lot of villagers that have been converted. They're ready to go eat some delicious Indian food, and now they're going to be heading back. They're like, we're tired of our English cuisine. We need some spices, some flavor, and uh, we're, we're going to be uh, we're going to be joining the crew. So the scholar is heading back. That is really really quite nice. Uh, sacred sites on this map. It looks like there are two sacred sites. We got two in the middle, so they could be fighting over theirs. But one player has fallen. Prime uh, appears to be going for the kill here against the French. The French does have the 2TC advantage. Really, really nice Megan L shot right there, but the Palace Guard can definitely bum rush that if they want to. Uh, the French player needs to get Arbalist out, probably. Arbalist would be really good. Nice Mango shot here by Polinko. So he was able to get a, a beautiful bombardment right on the heads of those bad boys. More shots coming out from the old trebuchet. Nailing down into the town center here, and uh, the battle is on, ladies and gentlemen. The battle is on. The French player holding valiantly. Joan of Arc hasn't gotten Castle Age yet, which is Certainly a little bit painful. I'm sure she uh, would appreciate being able to summon units and fight a little bit better. Over to the other side, any conflicts? Not really. Um, Malians just kind of echoing in the corner. They have their two relics. Uh, up here in the north, we do have the Tanegashima gunsmith coming in from the Japanese. So factory second could be a big machine here. It could be quite the factory. Uh, Tanegashima, Zutsu, all that scary stuff could be very, very strong. But the French appear to be losing this fight. The artillery advantage does favor Prime. He's got the Nesta Bees out here and the Trebuchet. Joan has reached Castle Age, so that now she can call in some champions, which will help bolster the front lines a little bit. And it would seem the Palace Guard raiding is still being allowed to go unimpeded. Um, definitely need to kill that one Palace Guard there before it kills too many villagers, so that's pretty unfortunate. And look at this! The Delhi player is coming in! The Delhi shop is moving down on Prime right now. Very unexpected. And they're going to get all the artillery, the Delhi sprinters. RPX coming in to try and help out his neighbor, which obviously I think he knows how strong Red is. So he's going to be trying to take that bad boy down. I did not expect Delhi to come across the map with the steel chair. And wow, really good response from Prime though. He immediately repairs and he might only lose one nest to be from that Delhi ambush right there. And that is going to be the French being salvaged for now. But how much further is Delhi going to be going with this? Are they going to commit to full-on war? Are they going to move down there? What's it going to be? So border conflict here. We do have the Rus battling it out with the southern Japanese. It's going to be a Yonimist uh, battling against Shadows. Uh, and we do see a Chad Sky Tower. So now the Rus can actually build walls. But the Rus are being sandwiched on two sides. Oh, no. And a Yonimist is snuck into the back door here. The Rus valiantly trying to defend their front here. But they're being sandwiched on two ends by two Japanese players, and that's going to be GG. So we're probably going to see the end of our Roos player. Uh, obviously, he's defending well considering the circumstances. He's driving back one Japanese player, but the other one is uh, going balls deep in here, and that is going to be a very, very tough hold. I mean, Spaskai is pretty good, but Ozutsu will be able to kill it, and it looks like there are four Ozutsu here. Uh, we'll see. If he focuses the Ozutsu first, maybe he's going to be able to hold. But the Roos player in massive, massive danger. And that can happen in FFA. That's one of the perks of going after your neighbors quickly is it guarantees you're not going to be surrounded, right? So if the Rus had, like, moved up and attacked the Japanese as soon as they had gotten, like, early Imperial or Castle, maybe. But I don't know if that would have even saved them based on this timing that we're seeing here. So villagers grabbing the gold. Rus trying to hold on here but not looking good. Delhi building up a Dread Legion. And Prime appears to be on the defense now. So I think Prime is a little bit more cautious. Uh, you know, respecting that Delhi could push him at any point, but uh, it would appear this is going to be the Roost falling. Uh, Chad Sky Tower is going down. Ionimus is a very, very good player too. And Ionimus is going to come in and uh, take down the uh, town centers here. So that is going to be the TC falling. And then we have one landmark back here. It is going to be the High Trade House. And yeah, you might as well build some stone walls back here if you're the uh, if you're the Roos. Because you have Chad Skaya, but not for long, actually. It's going to die in a second. Um, but yeah, should have built some stone walls back there to try and hold that maybe. Yeah, so farewell to Shadow, man. He got absolutely surrounded, absolutely beat down. Looks like some uh, desperate Wololos going on. Nope, that is the offensive Wololo. And whoever gets these relics is going to be cackling pretty hard. Eonimus is going to get those. Eonimus looking to be a favorite in this game for sure. Uh, highest player score aside from the other Japanese, I suppose. And they have a lot of relics too, so I guess they're both very threatening, man. No surprises, Japan has one of the best Imperial armies in the game. They have top tier spear units with extra range and damage. They have some of the best mended arms in the entire game. They have the best hand cannon air unit. They got free artillery units. Uh, really sustainable food eco, passive gold. I mean, Japan is just incredibly solid. Now. So they are going to be able to pop off. And look, the Japanese players are fighting each other for relics. No surprises there. Um, are the Roos going to be allowed to live maybe? I'm not sure. Now back on the east side, it looks like Prime is coming in for round two. Uh, Delhi is kind of sitting and watching this time, and it looks like the French player does surrender. So that is going to be the end of Blinko there. GG, well played, bud. You had a very tough neighbor. Prime uh, could do that to pretty much anybody, so do not feel bad. He is very, very good. So that is going to be that. Now over to the west side. It looks like there is going to be a conflict between the Delhi 
Uh, how many relics do we have for the French? It looks like they didn't get any relics, actually. The relic that they had before is still here. Oh, look at the Delhi Scholar. He's going for it. He's going to jack it right from the nose of the Chinese. So, yeah, they're fighting over the scraps of the Roos base. The two Japanese players are going for it. I don't think they even want to kill the Roos. They're just, like, they're just trying to... Uh, it's building traders. Um, for what reason? I have no idea. Um, that must be a misclick. I, I have no idea why he would build traders. The base is being demolished. And now Prime is going to be going for the Delhi shop, which, um, you know, a couple of those Palace Guard do get converted there. Gazi Riders are really good here. They're resilient against missile units, and they also counter Palace Guard soft counters, I would say. So that's not bad. Spring Alts are shooting. It seems like the Delhi player is pretty solid with a good micro back and forth. So this is going to be a good fight right there for sure, guys. This has been a really good FFA so far. Really, really good action. It's been fast. We've been seeing kind of battle lines being developed. That's going to be the Gremlin going down, and the Bruce player is going to be uh, building a uh, wooden fortress and trying to survive. I mean, do they have any stone? I guess they just rebuild their TC once it gets abandoned, maybe. Two players have fallen, six remain. Delhi going to be uh, chilling back in its base, and Delhi's Imperial probably powering out a shit ton of upgrades. Yeah, Delhi just going bananas on that. And Delhi does have five relics with Tithe Barns. That's really good, and a ton of keeps. So Delhi is actually going to be very formidable here. Um, Imperial China, though, as well. Imperial China with the uh, granaries, unfortunately, doesn't have much room, so it's really, really ugly looking. But he's on five relic two with tithe barns, not yet. Uh, nor does he have his pagodas, but he will soon. Once he gets the Great Wall Gatehouse, he's going to be able to get the pagodas. It's cool to see these landmarks that you forget about, right? Because we're only seeing Jushi these days, so yeah, neat to see. So Orange is able to get a relic. It seems like they were both able to loot a little bit from one another. Um, both players got a handful of the relics. So yeah, some really strong players. I mean, Factory is a beast. Um, Yonimus is looking very good. RXP is looking good. Um, and also, the Malians have just been kind of semi-AFK here. Holy shit, 4TC! 4TC Malians! I mean, at this point, I don't know if it's necessary. Their eco is only 79, I guess, so I need to update the lumber back here. Um, and it looks like they're going to go landmark sniping. So, Malians appear to be setting up shop. Shadow says, holy cow, I got... <laughs> yeah, you got sandwiched, dude. You got, you got sandwiched pretty quickly, Shadows. The, hold your head up high, dude. I, I look forward to having you back in here. And, uh, you know, I believe in you, man. You, you played great. It's just 2v1 against Imperial Japan. I mean, what are you going to do, man? What are you going to do? Your only chance would have been to try and kill one of them earlier, which I think could have been prudent. Like, get Castle Age, get a shit ton of Bruce Knights and Horse Archers and Battering Rams, and go try and wipe one of them out before they can get Imperial. Um, if you're surrounded by two Japanese. Or Politic, right? Like, maybe make an alliance. Be like, hey, I'll let you have, uh, can I offer you a relic for peace or something um, against one of them? And then, you know, you can just fight the other one 1v1. So Delhi doing a little bit of raiding with some Gazi riders, but it's going to be hard to raid this Chinese base, I think. Um, it seems like uh, Prime is pretty well for it. Although good micro here from RXP. He's splitting his units. He's moving in multiple directions. Uh, he's going to get some damage on those villagers on gold here. And Delhi looks like it wants war. Yeah, Delhi's amassing a legion to uh, do battle with Prime's uh, China. Now, looking at Prime's China, he uh, does not have the best food economy right now. He is being disrupted and raided a little bit. A couple of Gazi riders going to get into the backfield. We do not know what the Malians are up to. Let's look at the Malian bank. Um, yeah, zero food. Oh, wow, that's pretty funny. So he's getting his food just from the cattle ranches, which is insane. Malians can get like a thousand passive food, if not more. But now he's setting up some farms, and uh, he does have his Griot Bar in the back. Griot Barra with the Siege Festival, I think, is the best landmark here. The other one, the Fortress of the Hunt, is okay, but overall I think it's uh, it, it pales in comparison to the army-wide buffs you can get from the Siege Festival. So so yeah, that's my, uh, that's my thoughts there. Fighting here, the Japanese players going to have a Shogunate duel. The Chad Shadows. Shadows is still in it. I see you talking in chat. Are you, are we, maybe, maybe we're behind in the game. I think we might be behind, yeah. So he, he, he probably dies here. Spoilers! Spoilers! But, um... Yeah, Orange and Shells after killing me said Shogunate bros. Okay, so we got a minor spoiler. Not a huge deal. That we The writing is on the wall for this one, right? It, it's on the wall. So the Shogunate is going to be finishing off the poor Roos. And over here, we have the uh, we have the nest of bees. Uh, how is this fight going to go? I mean, Delhi's eco is probably a lot better than Prime's. Yeah, it's looking actually pretty muscly. And they're going to be moving into fight. That is a hell of a lot of artillery, though. Delhi does have spring alts. Uh, I like the idea of Delhi keep pushing, because there's not a lot of like bombards here, so you could definitely drop keeps down and do some work. You're going to need some trebuchets, too, to actually get the job done. We do see some sultan elephants. Delhi looking pretty sauced over here. Uh, Malians have not emerged from their base yet. The Malians are going to pop out. Oh, you're good, Shadow. Don't stress it, man. You played very well. Don't you worry about it, buddy. Don't you worry. And uh, yeah, this is this is the definitely the end. I like I like this valiant defense here. This is this is the fighting spirit that we all we all love to see. 
So the battle lines of this map are emerging. It looks like three players will have fallen and then five remain. Battering Rams of the Delhi moving in. Delhi setting up towers here to try and make it a little bit harder for his opponent to push him back. Spring Alt's going to creep up, and I would assume he's got all the upgrades. Yeah, not all of them, actually. Still a handful are going. He has 15 Scholars. Uh, Delhi Outpost Tower is being set up. Nest the Bees and Mass. And Prime prepares to battle the Delhi. Now, the question is, who are the Malians going to backstab? What's their game plan? Are the Malians going to just take their Warrior Scout Legions and go Landmark Sniping? I mean, they could, for sure. If they got... Malians can Landmark Snipe pretty well. Griot Barra with Siege Festival will increase the damage of your um, torches, right? Uh, increases damage of battering rams guards and torches by 50%. Yeah, so that's going to be pretty big. Spring get wrecked. Prime able to snipe them. And uh, the Chinese army looking like it wants to move out. But this isn't going to be an easy fight. They both have really good passive income uh, from the Penta Relic that they each have. Shadow's Landmark has fallen. So GG well played to our mighty champion Shadow. You did well, man. First turn FFA I counted. You did good, man. You did good, man. And I hope to see you back. I hope to see you join in more. You will rise. And make sure to join our Discord, too. We, we have, like, FFA games running all day in our Discord. Great people. Um, and, yeah, you're, you're going to be able to get a lot of reps in there. And sometimes uh, I do host some FFAs off stream and we'll record those and put those up so we can uh, we can get you in there. All right. So are the Malians going to do anything? Um, they're very, very much channeling their inner dandy dragon here. As they hang out and uh, just chill out in the base and amass resources. I mean, he's got a lot of wood. I feel as if the Malians are going so hard in the woods so they can Ramstein somebody so they can just get a 200 stack of Rams. We do see a bit of a flanking maneuver as the Ghazi Riders are going to be hitting the back of the Chinese base. And uh, I think this is going to be war here. Yeah, we do see the armies getting ready to clash. The elephants need to move up though. Uh, Prime actually getting the better engagement, winning the artillery duel to an extent. Manganel shooting in, but the Nesta Bees able to get some good shots. Those elephants need to get their hands dirty. A bit of a lapse in micro from RXP. I think he's a bit busy microing. He does get a nice flank though. Ghazi Riders come around the back. And now the tower elephants, uh, they'll definitely melt a lot of this army for sure. Oh, Prime loses a lot of artillery there. That's another one going down. What is he doing? Is he, what are these guys doing here? You guys see that? They were like dancing, dude. Those guys were, uh, they were twerking over there. Um, <laughs> nonetheless, it looks like the victory does go slightly to the Delhi there. They maybe get a slight leg up on that fight. Not by much, not enough to be decisive and uh, move out there. Uh, elsewhere, the Shoguns, are they going to start fighting? Or are the Malians going to play play some sort of kingmaker here in the shadows. Are they going for a wonder? Malians have no stone. Um, probably you switch Mansakori onto stone at this point, just to try and build up. Yeah, it looks like it's on stone. But yeah, I, I suspect the two shoguns are going to fight, right? Like, why wouldn't they? It'll be curious to see who wins. Just casually getting six free Rebalquins from your Tanagashima gunsmith. Pretty, pretty good, right? Delhi has to wait, like, minutes to get their Sultan Tower Elephant. Japan just, like, waits, and they're like, oh, yeah, yeah, here's some free elite units, like, it's just in rapid-fire succession. It's pretty nuts. Uh, but Spring Alts are gathering in their masses, just like Witches at Black Masses. Dude, that song is so good. It's so quotable. Spring Alts popping another one. Man, RXP is doing pretty good here. This is a very impressive Delhi play. Normally, I would favor China pretty heavily against Delhi in Imperial Age, but... It seems that um, the Delhi player is playing very clean. And Gazi Rider is just going to kill all these rams. So those are going to go down. That's going to be 900, 1200 wood going into the trash can here. And we do see the Palace Guard coming out to raid. How good is the response going to be here? It looks like they do pull back. And the Delhi Elephants should be able to hunt them down. And the Palace Guard are just going to get absolutely crushed here. So Prime with a pretty reckless engagement. Um, he might get one Spring Alt, but he's going to lose a lot of units. And uh, yeah, this is uh, the, the Delhi pressure is mounting very, very quickly. So good surround there. Man, this is a really clean micro from the Delhi. Are they going to be able to get in and get momentum against China? It's not easy. Great Wall House, um, Barbican to the Sun could be upgraded to have a cannon placement. He's got his trebuchet kind of slow knocking here. And it seems that these Shoguns are gathering. I don't know why the Shoguns wouldn't try and kill one another. There can only be one Shogun, right? There can only be one Shogun. Uh, I'd be surprised. Okay, okay. Okay. Are they, oh, man. Uh oh, Prime's in trouble. I think Prime's about to get hammered. I think they're politicking against him pretty hard here. I feel as if these villagers are going to go, or this this Grand Legion of Warrior Scouts is going to go after Prime. I could be wrong. Uh, maybe they're going to go to Japan, but clearly they, they have malicious intent. They have uh, 85, so that's a lot. I love the Warrior Scout thing too, by the way. It's so fun. He's not fully upgraded. Definitely needs to get those upgraded if possible. <clears throat> have some water here real quick. So those bad boys grinding it out. I'm going to go let the Chihuahua in real quick, and we will return in just a second. She barks to let me know she's ready. All right. All right, Chihuahua. All right, guys, we're back. 
Sorry about that. The war beast calls, and uh, I don't feel like walking out to a disaster after this. So where are these guys going to go? Where are they going to go? Wouldn't it be interesting to hire the Malians as like mercenaries to like offer them relics and then they can just send their legions of warrior scouts? I mean, whoever they decide to attack can definitely turn the tides of the fight. Looks like there was a bit of a fight here. Uh, the the Delhi did do some raiding and some harassing, but they are they're they're slowly defeating the Chinese. It's a slow grind, but they're slowly getting there. We got triple spring alts, which are going to kill another bombard cannon here. Granted, these are clock tower bombards, so these things are just jacked as hell. They have a shit ton of HP. They have like 400 HP. But still, I mean, losing them is rough. And uh, that's going to be two of them going down here, potentially. Uh, this one has a little bit of HP left. But yeah, Prime is not in the winning position in this duel of fates here. He's certainly not in the winning position. We do see the Sultan Tower elephants nearby. Uh, those things are just monsters. They're going to be able to mow down these horsemen. Oh my god, just mowing them down. Just shotguns. All that goodness. So RXP's Eco, 95. So he's got a pretty balanced situation here. Uh, the Shoguns are battling. So it looks like the Shoguns are. And where are the Malians going to go? Where are they? What are they going to do? Such an X factor, you know? Personally, I would want to take out the Chinese. Because I know China's Imperial is way stronger than Delhi's Imperial, typically speaking. Um, obviously, other circumstances can change that. Like a copious amounts of relics for Delhi and things like that. And eco advantages. But yeah, I don't know. What is he going to do? He, he could just hang here. Eventually, he's going to be striking and going landmark hunting. Maybe he'll take out one of the Shoguns. But that's not easy. The Shogun, Shogun at Calluses, Calluses with 13,000 HP is pretty serious. Uh, we do see the Ghazi Riders trying to get into the back door again. And, okay, he pulled Scholars, which means all of his research is done. And uh, the siege push does continue. So we do see them getting pushed back very, very slowly. Prime has a fair amount of battering rams. Sacred Site being captured by the Malians here in the middle. And the Shoguns... Are they fighting? We do see the Japanese Imperial Army right here. And the yellow Japanese Army is over here. Um, they're both moving out towards the middle. Maybe they're going to be attacking into the Malians here. Uh, there could be a weird Shogun Alliance where the two Shoguns are going to be like, hey, let's be peaceful until we take out all the non-Japanese players. And then from there, we can start to do our thing. Uh, it could very much be the case. Uh, Delhi pulling back a little bit. Got to be cautious. I mean, you could get hit any moment from the West any moment and obviously he probably sees this somehow right like delhi has to be privy to that i'm surprised delhi doesn't have stone walls in their base yet i feel like that would be very very strong um they do have a little bit of stone enough to probably do that let's look at the stone bank yonimist has ooh, yonimist has actually a lot of stone yeah and looking at orange orange does not have a lot of stone so yonimist is the only one who's creeping up on a wonder right now uh prime is hanging in there but it is not an easy fight versus a uh, delhi player this guy this Delhi player is definitely conqueror level. Um, seeing the way he controls his artillery and, and harasses and his army comps, it's, it's very clear he knows what he's doing here. So, Yeah, the Malians will probably ride to the aid of someone. I'm not sure who. And it looks like the red Chinese army is going to be moving out, but uh, they're certainly going to be hit pretty hard here. More walls coming down from prime time. And over to the west, uh, we do see the Malians going for a raid are they going to be attacking the delhi here is the question they have their swords drawn they're moving into the delhi base delhi's going to be getting attacked and uh firstly they need to try and win this fight versus prime is he going to attack though i don't think so no it looks like he wants to but maybe he's not trying to make too many enemies at this point delhi with a big flank and prime's artillery corps certainly uh getting surrounded a little bit so they get hammered here the elephants are moving in if the Delhi, if the Malians interfere, maybe Prime can survive this. But otherwise, I think that Delhi, Delhi's just wiping the floor with these Chinese armies. Holy shit, man. Look at these elephants. There's no mercy. Like, Prime's armies are folding up. He does have the eco to sustain, though. Uh, Going to be running out of gold in the main base soon. But we do see the trebuchets moving up and the... Um, yeah, he wants the pit mine. The Malians want the pit mine, so Delhi's going to be losing that. But I think Delhi probably knows that they need to finish off the Chinese. Because if the Chinese are allowed to rebuild after this, they can definitely come back, right? They can definitely come back. The Sultan Tower elephants still alive, still very healthy. Battering rams being cleaned up. And look at that. The Golden Shogun engaging. So that is a big one for Delhi because that means that he's probably going to start trying to raid other people other than Delhi now. Um, considering that he's being attacked by the Japanese. Chinese down in the south appear to be stable. I mean, Delhi could kill him right now. I, 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 I think they could kill Red. If he just sieges the Great Wall Gatehouse and pushes with his elephants and has healing behind it, that would be pretty substantial. Um, why has Delhi not stonewalled their empire yet? I, I really think that's going to be pretty important. We do see some counter raiding. Fire Lancers looks like they're going to be moving, but um, not Fire Lancers, but just basic horsemen. And we do see the siege engines online. What are they shooting at right now? 
They're shooting at some random building. Okay, so the Horseman Raid of Prime has been uh, dispatched. And the Shogunate army in the middle is going to be fighting over the gold. So that's clearly what they want. They just want those gold nodes. Delhi doesn't need to worry too much. They're getting free elephants. And um, yeah, now the Great Wall Gatehouse is going down. I think that RXP knows how important it is to kill the um, red player. Red is a big threat to him. Prime is an extremely good player. So, And I think he can recognize you know, strength when he sees it. So. So we do see the Great Wall Gatehouse starting to fall. Delhi, though, like, they can't even, like, push this Delhi. He's just, like, he's ready for it every time. Great Wall Gatehouse at about 50% HP. Going to be getting bombarded pretty heavily. But once this thing goes down, it's going to be just huge momentum coming in. It's going to be just a steamroller of Delhi units, including the, the Tower Elephants are just going to be able to bull rush through everything. Uh, in the middle here, not sure what we got. We got the Malian Scout Legion and the Japanese Shogunates. Just hanging out. Yonimus, I think, preparing for a wonder. Yeah, yeah, looks like some stone is being bought. I don't know where the wonder would even go. I guess back up here, you could maybe squeeze it there. Yeah, uh, can you get through the tree line? I'm not sure. You can maybe lumberjack through it. The Prime is definitely slowly losing this fight. Elephants and Scholars need to be moved into combat. Uh, Trebs have moved in, so the Great Wall Gatehouse has fallen. And the Chinese are trying to hold valiantly, but when the elephants come knocking, that's when shit gets really serious. Especially with all these Scholars providing uh, passive healing to the elephants with their 1,000 HP. That's going to be absolutely bonkers. So Great Wall Gatehouse is down, Delhi getting the momentum, and the Chinese army just folding up. It doesn't have the critical mass it needs to deal with the Delhi fonts. Um, does he have landmarks hidden? Nice farms, though. He's got a lot of farms back here, so his eco is definitely good. But I suspect this is... Uh, if if nobody else interferes, this is going to be the end of Prime here. The Sultan Tower Elephant's going to be moving in. They're coming for it. They're coming for it. So Prime gathering up, trying to rebuild the Great Wall Gatehouse. Good spring all play too. I mean, he's just perpetually on top of it. This guy, this Delhi player is very, very good. He is very good. I, I'm impressed. Like this is, fighting Imperial China is not easy. It, it ain't easy. And like Prime's army is trying to dive artillery desperately, but just getting wiped out. That's going to be a TC, Barbican, this. Um, if you could start hitting the villages too, that is going to be uh, definitely supply blocking them. And yeah, this is just a very, very smooth demolition right here. Very smooth, very controlled, uh, methodical. Certainly looking good. But Japan is going to be getting gold in the middle. So Delhi is going to be losing out in the middle. And the Malians uh, have not really done a whole lot. They're just kind of kind of playing very cautiously. Jordan is being very, very uh, you know, conservative here with his movements. So that town center is probably going to be next. I'm not sure what he's bombarding. We do see the horsemen raiding the farm. So Prime is going to be losing his farm eco. He's only got 800 food and his economy is looking to be in the pits as most of his villagers are idled. Gazi Rider is doing excellent work right there. And uh, that's GG for Prime. He's dead now. Um, unless somebody intervenes and comes to his aid, which I don't know why they would. That makes no sense to me. Um, you know, if you're the Japanese, you want him gone because you know he's a threat. And uh, Malians maybe would, would be... I don't even know if they would be incentivized to really save him at this point. But yeah, that looks like he's gonna be uh, he's gonna be toast here. We do see the barbican of the sun going down. Those Sultan Tower elephants are just so powerful with micro well. Wow. Like he he micro them very conservatively. Was cautious. Had the uh, scholars healing them constantly. Um, RXP is diamond one really. Uh, I, I suspect he's uh, maybe that's a Smurf because see the way he's playing is not diamond one level. It's it's definitely a conqueror one level I would say um, from what I'm seeing. But it, it, maybe that's his Smurf account or something. I'm not sure. Yeah, so that is going to be the end of the road here. We are going to be seeing the end of the Chinese. And um, yeah, that was uh, that was some good pushing. Some very good pushing. And God knows what the hell this blob is going to do. Are they going to... Oh my God, look at this. The Japanese Shogunate has ambushed into the back of the base here of the Malians. And now the Malians are going to be riding by and trying to landmark snipe, which is pretty haggard. Um, they're literally just getting massacred as they try and ride through. Probably should have tried to go through the front. Granted, they have no siege equipment. Why are the Malians not building just normal units and trying to fight this? Uh, they do get some horsemen through. Um, they are not horsemen. They're warrior scouts. So that is going to be that. And yeah, those Revolkins just mowed down the army. I mean, is this going to be the end of the Malians? Is this how they're going to go down? Just like this? Are they not going to build any Sofa? Like, Sofa would be good against this. There's no uh, hand cannons there. Oh, well, not hand cannons, it's spears, excuse me. But yeah, it looks like the Anonymous is just going to kill Jordan here. Jordan was memeing a little bit too close to the sun, and now it's now he's building the infrastructure to fight back. It might be too late for that, though. You're going to need to start producing Sofa, yeah. So we see Elite Sofa coming out. Maybe, maybe, but I think that's going to be it. And Delhi, ooh, Delhi is going to be absolutely raid boss here. Absolute raid boss. 
because um, now he is going to just have so many relics. Prime had five relics, and Delhi's going to be sitting at like 10 relics, which is going to be nuts. But the two Shogunates can definitely team up on them if they want to, if they feel they're a threat. Obviously, it depends on what kind of information and knowledge they have, but um, yeah, Malians are probably dead. I mean, those Revolquins are so powerful. Japan is just so nuts. They're so powerful, man. God, you just get all these, like, even if you have no gold, you're just getting all this from the Tanegashima gunsmith, right? It's, it's insane. Uh, it's absolutely insane. Prime trying to hide down here, but not going to save him. The elephants are going to get the goodies, and uh, that is going to be his last landmark getting hunted here. I believe that's his last landmark. I wish the UI was a little bit better for multiplayer matches. 1v1, it's very good, but it'd be cool if we could get things like how many landmarks each player has remaining and like all that kind of stuff, right? Oh, is he going to wall low these workers? I think he's going to try to. I mean, he doesn't really need them at this point. So, yeah, a couple of them are stuck in the wall here. So, they're just going to get taken out. And those relics do get jacked. Um, Imperial Academy is here, and that's pretty much it. So, now the Shogunate is going to be heading to the deli shop, I think. Yeah, it looks like they're going to be doing it. Prime trying to survive with some of his workers here. We do see the Imperial Academy hanging in there. And Yonimus is going to get some relics. It's, it, this, this is a decent bounty here. Jordan uh, was a little bit too peaceful. If he had mustered a good army earlier, he definitely could have fought that off. It wasn't that big of a force for Meonimus. But, I mean, six Rebalquins is really hard to kill. If they're in the middle of a blob and you don't have Spring Alds, like, you're going to get dunked on super hard. Yeah, Japan is pretty, I think, kind of OP in FFA. I feel. Um, yeah, they, they feel better than China, for sure. I mean, China can do a lot of cool stuff. I don't know. It's hard to say. We don't get a lot of people playing China these days. But Japan is just so mouth breathy. They're just so, so straightforward to play. This is... So I, I think they're just more consistent than China. China requires uh, probably a little bit more, um, yeah, a little bit more composition planning, whereas you can just ban barracks units and Ozutsu and whatever, and you're fine. So I think that's it. That's going to be the end. Well played to our Chinese player. And um, now the middle is being secured by somebody. The Malians are trying to, but um, yeah, a valiant attempt here. He might be able to fight this off, but these Rebalquins... With their 10 melee armor, surprisingly resilient, just mowing down those those guys. Oh my god. And here comes another wave of the Japanese. So we do have the Samurai and the Ozutsu. Uh, should be able to easily push through the sofa. Although there are a couple keeps up here, maybe they'll be able to hold on for a minute. Um, the Shogun in the north looking pretty good. Factory definitely not in bad shape. Does have the highest player score. Um, Delhi, though, is going to be very muscly. Like, Delhi, when they get back and rebuild and just muster, they're going to have, what, 10 relics, if I'm not mistaken? I think is going to be nuts. Yeah, absolutely nuts. So Delhi is pulled back. And, um, yeah, all's calm on the front, man. All's calm on the front. A little bit of a scrap here. I think it's only a matter of time before we see the end, and that's going to be some relics taken by the Shinto priests. Looks like a couple of Sofa may be thinking about hunting them down, but the Revolkmans are just doing so much work. Uh, but Jordan is mustering a defense. You know, he's fighting well, considering how unprepared he was. But you can see his gold is currently nothing. Uh, so he has no gold. He lost his relics. In Japan, is probably, you know, passive gold is pretty good. So. Yeah, still getting 600 a minute um, from the Yodoshiru plus the relics. Plus the free units from the Tanagashima gunsmith. It's, it's just going to be uh, absolute punishment. Now, is there an attack coming from the north? It doesn't look like it. Um, Delhi has retreated back to its base. And Delhi's eco has got to be pretty sauced. Actually, it's not. I guess that war took a lot out of them. But their passive... Uh, do they have Tithe Barns? They do. So their passive stone per minute should be very, very good. It's going to be easily 125, 150, right? It's got to be maybe even more. Oh my god, their Evolquins are brutal! Because the Malians don't have any tech against it. They can't make anything. They can't make Spring Alts. So they're not able to deal with this. And the Ozutsu are just going to clear, clear through all the buildings. Yeah. English used... Yeah, England is definitely not unbeatable. England, like, you can... You, their armies won't crush you as badly as Japanese armies will. Um, England does have some advantages over Japanese, for sure. Like, the infinite gold is a big advantage for England. So if England and Japanese are fighting late game, like, England will be able to make men-at-arms on stop, and, as well as other gold-based units, whereas Japan, situ depending on the circumstances, like, let's say if they don't get relics, um, you know, they might struggle to keep up with an English army, because England also gets the attack speed buff. It's, it's an interesting fight between them. It really, really is. But yeah, look at their Balkans. That is some serious stopping power, man. Those horsemen, those warrior scouts just certainly have no chance. Muso Fatty Gunners, a pretty badass unit, but they're not going to hold up very well against your Balkans once those bad boys get in range. Uh, the Orange Shogun, is he going to be declaring war on Delhi? That's my question. Uh, what are the Shoguns going to do? Uh, like, why are the Shogun... Why are they not going to fight? Have you? Yeah, Zhushi Bombard Death Stars are very good. They're, th th that's why Zhushi is one of the strongest civs in the game, in, in late game FFA. 
It's because they're Bombard Legions. It's basically like mini Ottomans. Ottomans are still better late game. I think Jannies and Great Bombards are better. But um, I think that Zhushi can be very close to them, like in terms of strength. Yeah. So they continue uh, battling it out here. We do see the old Rabalquins moving up. Shinjo Priest's going to be pulling back. And uh, the Battering Ram's moving up. And here comes the end of Jordan. Jordan's last couple landmarks are sitting here. We've got Mansa and TC, both of which are going to be folding up like a piece of paper right now. And uh, we do see a couple of bills trying to make it home to maybe do some repairs. I'm not sure. But that ain't going to be it. So the Orn the Shogun here is now looking to uh, battle it out with the Delhi. Delhi's bank. Let's see what their bank looks like. They don't really have the stone. Ionimus does have 1,600 stone. So that's going to be the most that we're seeing. But for sure going to be very scary. It's going to become a very interesting game when there's only three players left, right? Like, Delhi, I feel, can defend for a long time. Uh, Teal's eco isn't bad, but look at Eonimus eco. Holy shit. 51, 21, 14. That's really good. RXP is also not bad. 23,000 gold. Their passive gold is about 7, 800 a minute, maybe even more. Yeah, 7 or 800 gold a minute. You see, like, even with all these relics, it's still not as much gold per minute as the English can get. So you can see the strength of English for sure. Yeah, yeah, Gazi Riders are great. They're really good. The fact that they have a bonus for Tevi makes them a kind of a dual utility piece against Japan also, right? They can dive the artillery. They can kill the uh, the Ozutsu if they can dive them. And they're also good against Samurai. So, yeah, very, very solid. It looks like they're gonna, there's going to be a fight here. Um, we are going to be seeing the end of uh, Jordan. So, well played, Jordan. Our glorious lobby host is going to be falling here. You know, he memed a little bit too hard. Um, I mean, maybe he survives if they don't notice his landmarks back here. Maybe... I seriously doubt it though. His cattle ranches are, uh, he should probably run with his cows right now, like uh, move them off the farms and go hide them somewhere and see if he can, you know, get them back and set them up somewhere else. But Delhi's gonna be going to war and man, this Delhi, this Delhi player's armies, they're mean. They're really mean ass armies. Yeah, they just like steamroll everybody in front of them. And uh, Delhi, I'm sure, would like to get the sacred sites for a little bit of passive uh, gold from the Sanctity as well. Delhi's army is 110. It's pretty fat. Yeah, he's not too hard on the eco. I mean, he could probably, if Delhi moves across, he could maybe kill Orange. Uh, like, from what we saw him do earlier in his army comp, like, he really, really could. The bombard cannons are shooting away. Uh, I don't think he notices that his armies are blocked here, but this mill is going to be opening up in a second. His elephants can now move through. So, once again, the Japanese army here is probably going to be karate chops. Um, looking at the eco of Orange, Orange didn't hear any bell whatsoever. Like, Orange is going to be able to fight all freaking day. Um, both of these players are. But somebody's going to get 2v1. We just don't know who yet. We don't know who. Um, Eonimus is going to be looking for the last landmark back here and is going to be find it, uh, finding it. So, the Griot Barra has been discovered. And now, what is Yellow going to be doing? Are they going to 2v1 Delhi? That would be really interesting. That would be really interesting. I mean... From a tactical perspective, I would ally with Delhi because I know Japan is stronger than Delhi late game, in my opinion. I mean, you know, obviously player skill can make up for that difference, uh, which I think we might see here. But, um, I mean, maybe. Because fighting a grindy Japanese civil war is going to be brutal. Like, fighting Delhi is a lot more straightforward. But these hand cannoneer elephants are just farming this army. I mean, look at Orange's army. So they're getting just knocked down in perpetuity here. A couple spring alts moving out, but he immediately grabs his horsemen, pulls these back. Very impressive play. Uh, looking at the Delhi base up here, are there any inclinations of a wonder? Not really. Um, you know, also, that's not a bad idea for Eonimus also. If you're Eonimus, you let them fight. You're like you're like the scientist in Godzilla. Let them fight. And you just sit in your base, you know, and uh, let them duke it out, drain their resources, and then you just wonder after that. Like, uh, if I were in Eonimus position, that's probably what I would do. That's probably what I would do. I would just let them fight. Because maybe Delhi eventually wins this? I think so. Yeah, Delhi's... Getting that momentum, and Japan is like kind of starting to desperately build some keeps. Um, Factory second is uh, looking pretty good on the economy. Good passive food, good wood income, obviously. Wall's going to be knocked down, and Delhi's still moving for it. And yeah, Yonimus needs to just sit and chill and just let them kill each other and then just wonder after that. that that's like in, in a three player situation, if you can get these players fighting, that is just absolute, absolute prime time, right? So Bombard's creeping away. Delhi fonts are here. Like, nothing can take this army of his. He's got 13 of those tower, uh, tower elephants. And the thing is, he's microing very well, so he's not losing them. Like, he moves forward, he engages, and then he pulls them back in kites using their hand cannons to mow down this Japanese army. Japan coming out with a second wave, but look how quickly those samurai fold up, dude. Look at that. And Teal just mowing down this army. He does have all those scholars healing. Japan is just, just blowing units out, sending them in waves. And look at this! It's going to be a betrayal of the Shogunate. So Orange is going to be getting 2v1. 
I think that that's the other correct play is taking down the Japanese neighbor and just hoping you can beat Delhi later on. Uh, Delhi did not lose any of their Sultan elephants in that whole engagement. They're going to be pulling back. They're going to be getting heals. And Delhi's going to be coming across. And now Orange is going to be getting uh, 2v1. So looking at Delhi's eco, it's not as good. I mean, maybe they need to produce more eco to keep up. Um, you can see Imperial Japan is no slouch. Like, they're able to fight back against his Death Star very well. Bombards will knock down the Delhi fonts. Looks like there's going to be a Sultan Elephant going down right here. As the Spear is able to push them back, but... With the other Japanese player coming in with the Anonymous, that's probably gonna be GG. That's probably gonna be GG. Oh, Julius, we had a great stream, dude. This game, we had, this is our third FFA, actually. We had uh, some really, really good ones earlier. We had some really good ones. All right, so Elephant's duking it out. Orange is probably toast, though. Uh, I don't think you're gonna be able to fight an Imperial Japanese player and a caliber of the player of the Zelly player as well. Like, maybe Orange eventually beats Delhi. Because uh, Delhi's eco sucks. They they don't have a good eco. So even though they're winning these fights, they might not win the War of Attrition against Factory, who has an insane food bank and better food per minute. But with um, with the uh, backstab coming in here from Yellow, I think you're going to be seeing the end of the Orange Shogun. I think he's going he's gonna to fall here. And um, Delhi, is Delhi going to fall back and wonder at this point? We do see Delhi. Yeah, Delhi needs to work out their economy, man. Because they're not going to be able to sustain this. Their food is draining very, very quickly. Uh, and we do see the uh, diving of the Bombard Cannons going, Delhi getting in and duking it out. But yeah, they're losing ground to the Orange Shogun, but it doesn't really matter. Because the Ozutsu Demolishers have come from the south, and uh, that's a nice backstab. It's, it's very smart, you know? You gotta get rid of your neighbors. Neighbors are the ones that can come and troll you, like, the most. Uh, a lot of ramps moving in. That's gonna basically kill Orange. Uh, Orange is dead at this point, because all of his eco is dying. Not eco, but uh, production. So he's not gonna be able to produce armies. And now Delhi's gonna come in and just steamroll him, and um, that is gonna be it, so... Yeah, Orange hasn't no I think Orange has noticed them. I mean, this is pretty hard not to notice. Azutsu are just clearing it all out. Delhi's going to be coming in, and that is going to be a 2v1 against a Factory second. It's the way FFA goes, man. Sometimes, you know, if you're a, a Chad like old Factory here, you're going to get, uh, you know, 2v1. Factory played really well. He was starting to win that war against Delhi a little bit. He was pushing Delhi back. It was it was solid. He was trading evenly, but yeah, now he has to deal with um, with Yellow. So if you, now what you do, if you're Delhi, is you pull back and you let them kill each other. You don't need to expend resources, right? Let them get in and fight. Rebuild your economy. Um, he's got 56 on food. His lumber's okay. Uh, no wonder on the horizon. Is Ionimus? Uh-oh. Ionimus is going to wonder. As soon as this guy's toast, Ionimus is going to slap down a wonder so hard and so erect. Yeah, you're going to be seeing that. Oh, baby. Okay. It's getting real, real crazy here. We see the sacred site in the middle being taken. Yellow cruising up. Uh, keep is going to fall. Orange? If Orange manages to hold off yellow, I'm going to be super impressed. Uh, that's so hard. Oh my god! 59 Ozutsu! That landmark is so stupid! Look at this! It's just like, oh hey, I need a, I need a super elite army. Here it is. Alright, so that's, that's a lot of stopping power, guys. That's a shit ton of stopping power. So, yeah, they're going to move out. Here they come. And uh, it is time. Turn when the Thunderdome game plays like a Thunder... I know it actually played like a Thunderdome tonight. Bonnie M? Oh, they, they do Rah Rah Rasputin. Yeah, uh, he was pretty He was pretty classic. Uh, all right. So, yeah, the Ozutsu Blob didn't get microed very well, though, unfortunately. So they do just get bombarded by the Revolvins and all these. Uh, I don't know why Yellow's retreating. Definitely a very winnable fight. You can just move up and steamroll those with your Revolvins, but... Uh, Delhi chilling out and uh, amassing Gazi Riders. Yeah, all right. And um, Delhi, what is their game plan? Are they banking again? We do see the economy sitting at 66 eco. That's very low. Yellow appears to be pulling back a little bit. So kind of, you know, taking their foot off the pedal. Um, probably because Delhi pulled back. So I think they might have seen Delhi pull back and are getting a little bit nervous about this. Eonimus, uh, where would the wonder go is the question. Um, probably right here. Although, no, you can't go right there with this entry. It would probably have to be down here. So we would like to delete these and wonder and just wall. Um, this point's blocked off by trees and other business here. And yellow looks to be moving up. I'm not sure if they're going to continue their conquest. Uh, I would imagine there's some politics going on here. Have any Are any of our fallen players still in the game, by the way? And look at that. The orange Japanese player already has a full army again. So he's, he's just like ready to go. Man, that's crazy how quick they're able to get that back. Maybe they're going to work on an alliance against yellow. I don't know. Delhi, Delhi doesn't seem to be too interested in attacking. I think Delhi's just trying to secure resources. Uh, Delhi does have the 10 relics, though, I believe. So, yeah, six. 
Nine, and I believe there's one more lying around somewhere. So he's got, at the very least, nine relics. Yeah, that's very strong. Orange is able to survive the Wrath of Yellow. Wow, crazy. I think Yellow didn't want to, you know, let the Delhi build up here. Delhi's going for fortifications, but they're going to learn the, the hard way how uh, inefficient it is to build keeps against Japan, because Japan just makes 50 Ozutsu instantly and just kills him. So you're not going to have a good time with that. Uh, old Japan here is uh, chilling out. Panagashima Gunsmith standing at the ready. We do have a wonder position back here for Orange. Orange definitely needs some more infrastructure. I guess they have some in their base, so it's not not like they're helpless there. Are they going to be attacking Yellow? Interesting. So the counterattack on Yellow, that's not going to work. I mean, Ionimus Bank is nuts. 60, 30. Ionimus is in wonder territory, basically. And uh, yeah, it looks like this is going to create, this is, the war is going to go on. They're going to be battling it out. Oh, Samurai's on the walls. How cool is that? I feel like I'm playing Shogun again. We do get the Ozutsu creeping around the side. Are they going to blast into these bad boys? Yep, they're moving into the base. Oh, are they going to go landmark sniping? That would be really interesting. I mean, that many Ozutsu can just like almost one-shot your landmarks. We'll see how much damage they can actually do here. So they're moving in. Are they going to get the Shogun in Palace? They would need to scoot and shoot. Otherwise, they're just going to die to the, the Revolcans here. And man, look how quick they kill that. 16,000 HP building. Holy shit. Yeah, it's not going to go great. And that might actually... Yellow might actually decide to go down here now. Or go up and try and kill them after this. This definitely is like a, you know, battle standard here. So, Jordan, brother, give us some updates. What are the politics going on in this match? That was definitely a very cost and effective fight there. Pretty rough one there from Factory, um, losing 30 or 40 Ozutsu for nothing. Uh, and now I think Yellow might come up and try and kill him. I think that, that like, was a pretty de big declaration, declaration of intent. I don't know why that was a tongue twister. I guess I'm getting a little bit tired. I haven't eaten in so long. Salt and Elephant's chilling out. Delhi knows how to roll, man. Just get that bank. Um, but they're not buying stone. So, I don't know. Yeah. What are they... How are they expecting to win this? Are they going to try and... They could win with Sacreds, too. Delhi, Delhi could definitely go for a Sacred victory if it's one-on-one. -on -one. He definitely could. Yeah, what are the politics, Jordan? What, what are the players saying? Yellow's cruising back up. Um, are they going to go in and try and kill him? It looks like they... I mean, he for sure could, I think. Orange is uh, taking a lot more damage, although his eco is still good. Japan's economy is pretty nuts. Their centralized pharma eco is very powerful. All right, so he's moving. How many Ozutsu does he have? Uh, he does have 17. That's going to be enough to kill landmarks. Uh, not like immediately, but pretty quickly. He's gathering, and Delhi appears to be preparing to attack here. I think they want to kill Orange. Yeah, there's a five-minute delay as well. That's true. We have the five-minute delay. Yeah, so you, you'd have to you'd have to scale the politics here. Yeah. Teal wants to team up. All right. So it looks like Teal's going to be moving forward, trying to take down Orange, and I think they're both going to be happy to do that. The Delhi Font Legions gather. Gazi Riders going to be engaging with the veteran. Oh, those horsemen are not even upgraded. Holy shit. He needs to get those upgraded. So this could be the end of uh, Orange for sure. If they actually team up and go for it, that could be uh, could be how it goes. And Ionimus will probably go for a wonder, and then we're going to see Sacred being played by Delhi. I think that is going to be the final battle that we end up seeing here. Uh, these guys going to move this direction and kill infrastructure while Delhi dives in with Gazi Riders. Delhi not fully committing to the fight. They definitely are kind of you know putting their toes in the water to see how the temperature is, but. They're not fully committing to the Royal Rumble here. So in the back, what do we got? We got the Gazi Riders looking. All right, all right. Uh, Delhi Fonts preparing to move in. Look at this. Look at this little wall that was made here. That's pretty funny. It's like a wooden palisade. Azuzu clearing out infrastructure. Pretty brutal. Um, that's going to mitigate their ability to rebuild armies here. And Delhi is... Um, I don't know why Delhi isn't attacking more. I guess they just want to bank resources and let them fight. Orange moving down. Do we see a counterattack here? We do not. Looks like it was just a kind of an errant tower um, doing a little bit of shooting here. And that is going to be some losses for the Orange Shogun. He's going to be losing some units for a very little gain there. Delhi doing some raiding. And uh, I suspect he's going to see this, right? Or at least know this is going on. But yeah, Delhi's being very conservative with this. He's not helping too much. He's just kind of putting his, like I said, dipping his toes in the water. Uh, Orange's army is going to get absolutely crushed here. Those are Balkan are just going to mow down these samurai. This is literally like the movie. It's like when they, they discover the superior technology. Samurai just going to get mowed to pieces. And also, look how many Manganels there are. This is an army that you need a lot of spring ults to beat. Uh, otherwise, you're just going to have no chance. And um, yeah, absolutely mowed down right there. Delhi is pulling back a little bit. Um, maybe to go deal with these rams. I'm not sure. And yellow seems to also be a little bit hesitant to commit, probably because they're not sure if they're getting help. But yeah, apparently according to our in-game chat correspondent, Teal is trying to form a bit of an alliance here. 
Gazi Riders doing some raiding while more infrastructure is being set up by the Orange Shogun, knowing that he lost a lot, so he's not able to replenish armies. But Ayanimus could for sure get the kill in there if he wanted to, but the question is, does he want to? When it becomes a three-player game, it's really it really gets weird. Especially on a map like this, right? Because um, this map is, you know, trade is very difficult. You can trade with dead players. Uh, is there any trade here? Let's see. Uh, don't think so. I think all the markets got destroyed. Any trade down here? The Malian base got completely leveled, so I don't think there's anything there. Up in the north, we're not seeing any trade. I literally do not think there's any trade options. Now, Delhi is going to be spotting this, which maybe will make them think that there's going to be a wonder on the way. Yellow pulling back to their base, but building a couple siege workshops here. Rally point is set in front of their opponent's base, and all is calm on the uh, the front here. Teal backstabs Yellow. Yeah, we'll see about that. Looks like that could be the case here. Now, be aware, Jordan, that you're a little bit ahead of us, so you have to temper your, uh, your information because you're about five minutes ahead, so... I suppose Teal will backstab yellow, which I think makes a lot of sense. If he can get Orange's help and they can 2v1 yellow, um, you know, Yonimus is clearly stronger than Orange right now because Orange has been taking these beatings just over and over. So that really, really could be the case. We'll do a little bit of fast forwarding and catch up to the live state of the game. So it is, it is time. It is time. The Bombard Cannon's moving and uh, Orange didn't hear no bell. Orange is moving in, looking to uh, Mortal Kombat this. So it would seem that the Machiavellian Delhi player, he's, he's working all the politics in the shadows. When it's actually the last samurai, it's just like, you don't even need to say it. That's true. That is true. Is Delhi going to do anything? Don't think so. Orange able to clear out all that infrastructure. Middle sacred site being held by Delhi. Delhi sitting on a lot of gold. So they're getting 800 a minute, um, even with a very poor eco. Yeah, only seven on wood seems like a bit of a mistake. Um, if you're Delhi, I guess he wants to keep a big standing army so he doesn't get run over. But um, yeah, I, I can't help but think that RXP should be ecoing harder on wood. See, he could run out pretty quickly. I guess he could make gold-based units, but overall it would, uh, I don't know if it'd be enough. Gazi Rider's still raiding in the base. They've discovered the relics. So maybe that is going to be incentivizing them. And he pulls back. Delhi also uh, on the defense here. I have not destroyed these palisades. Should definitely destroy these. It's giving free vision to your opponents. They can see when you move by and stuff. And yellow is going to be battling orange again. And it looks like Delhi thinking about moving to the south, maybe to hit hit yellow. I'm not sure. Yellow's grabbing some resources on the map here, and there is going to be a rumble here. So the battle is on, and once again we're going to be seeing the army composition of yellow being just better. Um, not, not necessarily better, but he's got more. Like he's got more stuff. His artillery core is pretty vast. The bombards are nice. They can definitely snipe enemy artillery to an extent, but uh, Orange is going to be losing an extremely expensive army here for almost no gain. And uh, once again, Yellow could come up and kill him if he wanted to, but I don't know if he does. We see the Delhi fonts moving that way. Heading down, looking as if maybe they want to backstab into Yellow's base. I think that's what's going to happen here based on the uh, information we've gotten. And uh, yeah, here he comes. So Teal's moving to the south here, preparing to move in. And Yellow, Yellow's going to be a tough one to crack for sure. I mean, 2v1, Depends on how hard the players go. Orange does seem to be mustering an army, but there's a lot of Yari and archers. So the army is super poor quality. Whereas yellow is, I think, richer. Uh, 15,000 gold. Orange shitting on 38 gold. So yeah, orange's passive gold is not great. Tower's being set up and Delhi is uh, sieging now. Okay, so Delhi looks like they want to battle against yellow. Yellow's going to probably regret not having taken the opportunity to kill orange earlier because he could have had an easy 1v1. But now... He is uh, going to be getting 2v1, which could be very tough. It depends on how hard they go. It depends on how hard they're going. Yeah, Yonimus has uh, been getting some really good value with these armies. But now, going to be moving in, battling Orange again. It looks like he finally wants to go for the kill, but that opportunity might have been out the window. Man, that army getting just absolutely crushed by those mangoes. Four shots. Those are Balkans just dropping steaming hot payloads on the faces of these uh, archers here. But Delhi's coming in for the backstab. Delhi, kind of a bit of an agent of chaos here. Nobody's focusing Delhi, but, uh, you know, they're bouncing between the two Japanese players. But, yeah, Yonimus wants to finish this. Ozutsu are doing some nice damage on the periphery. Um, Japan is going to have to muster a defense here against the Delhi shop. And that is going to be a massive, massive Delhi army. Oh, my God. That is not an easy one to stop. Like, you need to have a critical mass of your own to stop that. Otherwise, you know, Orange would have been dead here. But I think he's going to be forced to pull back. Yeah, he retreats. Orange is going to be getting his Yari and whatnot, and uh, now it is going to be a 1v1. Delhi gathering at the gates. Japan's army comp, though, is really good. He's got a lot of hand cannoneers, a lot of Ozutsu, and also Siege, so he can maybe take down this elephant mass. 
That is a lot, though. That is 16 Sultan Elephants. It looks like he's trying to rebuild the walls, but the elephants are trying to disrupt that where they can. Uh, is Orange going to help him, though, is the question. Um, Orange, If Orange wants to actually contribute to the fight, uh, he should be ram signing. He should be making, like, 15 rams at a time and just sending them in. Because, you know, his army is pretty shitty. It's archers and spears. So uh, rams would be much more efficient at contributing to the fight. So he pulls back, and it uh, looks like that alliance that we saw earlier was very short-lived. Elephants just kiting and doing nasty, nasty stuff. Moving back, it looks like one of the Sultan Elephants going to be going down in the front. A lot of Samurai. The problem with the Sultan Elephants is you can't really replace them super quickly. So if you lose them in a big critical engagement, your army quality just like just absolutely tanks, right? Uh, but yeah, once again, Delhi showing that they're, they mean business, man. Those Trebs getting some nice pressure in. The initial layers of defenses have been hammered. And whoa, wait. Ayanimist has deleted a lot of farm eco. And it's going to be switching into big military, which makes sense considering you're fighting a very scary Delhi army like this. So Delhi, these elephants should be attacking and steamrolling all this infrastructure. Um, that's one problem on this map too, is you can run out of space. Is Orange going to be coming down? It looks like Orange is just clearing out walls, but um, going to be leaving Delhi to their own devices. Yeah, so the Sultan Elephants making some momentum. Uh, Ionimist is a very good player though, and is going to be switching into Spring Alts to counter this uh, critical mass of artillery. D Delhi does have seven springs as well, so if they micro, they're not going to have problems here. They should keep winning these fights. So Spring Alts shooting away, but Spring Alts returning the favor. Yep, they are paying attention, so Delhi is going to be sniping the enemy Spring Alts and does instantly kill all three of those. The Tower Elephants going to be getting that momentum forward, and Ionimist now has a big military of 118, so it's a fat military. And 60,000 60, food in the pool. Like, you're going to be pretty okay. Shogunate Castle's getting hit. Uh, is Orange going to come down and help? It doesn't look like it. Looks like Orange... You see, nobody wants to commit to the 2v1 here. Everyone's being very cautious. Delhi looks like they want blood, though. They want to get the kill here, for sure. Um, we do see Gazi Riders coming down. And uh, those elephant armies are just farming. They're just farming away, man. Rams moving north. Um, are the Rams going to just go randomly attack those walls up there? And that's certainly going to antagonize Orange to the point where he might come down here. And if Orange's armies flood through and start attacking, uh, that will be a dead uh, Ionimus. Two, holding 2v1 with no win condition is very hard when you're playing good caliber players. And it seems like everybody here is pretty good. Um, Delhi's bank, do they have enough to wonder by chance? No, definitely not. Um, still getting a little bit of eco. The Japanese army is going to be moving up. And the Mangoes still have good numbers. There's four of them. So those bad boys going to do some work. Gazi Riders doing a ride by here. And those elephants are uh, moving in while the Shogunate Castle is slowly getting uh, hammered down by those trebuchets. Looks like traps are hitting farms now. But yeah, he's gonna he's gonna go through this food quickly. The Onimus is already down about 6,000 food since last time we looked, and now it looks like uh, the Orange Shogun is gonna move. Does he have any Ozutsu? He should uh, in this army. No, he doesn't. He's probably gonna make like 100 of them right now. Let's see his gunsmith. Uh, I can't see the tickets, I don't think. Let's see, yeah, he's stockpiling right now, but I'm not able to see. So yeah, here comes the big counter push. And the uh, Tanagashima gunsmith was able to make two revolpins to augment the quality of this army. Plus, you know, there's 13,000 gold here for our Japanese player. He might be able to push back Delhi here. We have a big pitched fight in the base. Shogun at Castle getting mass repaired, and now the fight is on. I think Delhi has to fall back. I think even though their elephants are awesome, I don't think they have the numbers to deal with this. This is a huge Japanese army. And, you know, Ionimus cut most of their farm eco. To, to bring this army to bear. So I think it's going to be falling here, and Japan is going to be able to hold it. Meanwhile, the Orange Shogun uh, has no siege. Let's see what he's making. Are we going to be able to see? He's trying to get textiles, the dreaded late-game textiles, and uh, Japan able to push that army back, but at the cost of a lot of eco, right? As eco definitely uh, you know, took a big hit there. So yeah, if you're fighting 2v1, you're going to need it. Look at these elephants, dude. They're so foul. Just the samurai chasing him, just getting mowed down. Oh my god, that is so good. Yeah, oh my god, look at that. Oh, that's brutal. Just so many units of Ionimus going down here. Ionimus sitting on 8 on food at this point, um, and he's getting the repairs up. The Orange Shogun, he's not a Vengeful Shogun. He's a very, maybe he's more of a Buddhist Shogun. He's he's not opting to take advantage of this moment. Not building rams. Rams are definitely, when you're like a, a haggard woodlord, the rams are the way you make a difference in the game. So Delhi is gathering again. We got the Manganels on the way and the elephants. And yellow appears to be... I think there's an alliance here. I feel as if they've communicated in such a way that they they it's known that they're both attacking yellow. Delhi going to move down again. Um, where are they going to go, though? Is there anything you want me to ask the players? No, you're good, brother. You're good. Just make sure any intel you give us isn't a spoiler of what's to come ahead. Um, you know, it's kind of hard to track, though, because, you know, you it, it happens in weird succession, but... Yeah, we got a spring ald coming out. 
Uh, is Orange going to make any rams or anything? He needs some siege. Uh, we see Springholds in queue, Archers and Spears, and 21 Villagers too. So Delhi's on its way back, and they're going to be attacking from this direction. Japan uh, appearing to engage here. Big mango shots. Oof, that's a lot of damage right there. He does have spring of his own, but we'll see what they can do. The Yonibus is definitely in a 2v1 situation. They might need to find a way to try and wonder. They do have enough to plop down a wonder, actually, but then they would be very poor at that point. But I think you need to wonder if you're yellow. Otherwise, I think you're just going to get 2v1 into oblivion. So Delhi's coming down. A lot of cattle. Hey, if you, if you boys are hungry, here's some cattle for sure. You got all that. I do appreciate it, Jordan. Thank you so much. So Gazi Riders moving into the front of the base. Getting a couple villagers here and there. Elephants sitting on the flank here. Maybe going to go after the Daimyo Manors, which would be really strong right now, considering his eco was uh, mostly deleted. And uh, here he comes from the west. Those elephants do have damage against walls. It's not a ton, but you can take down walls over time. A lot of mangoes, a lot of trebuchets coming out. Definitely can get some cost-effective trebuchets and blast into the keep here. Japanese Imperial Army is going to be heading north and uh, trying to deal with the Orange Menace. Orange doesn't have any siege equipment for some godforsaken reason. Where, where's the Rams? Where's the Ram and the Rider? You know, you got to get the Ram sign, dude. That would, Yonimus would be toast right now. If he just built like 30 or 40 Rams, attacked here, and that while the Delhi player was fighting him, it would just be GG, you know? Yeah, the Delhi player is definitely politicking pretty, pretty hard. Yeah, we do see a TC about to go down, so that's a nice. That's going to keep him from rebuilding his economy in such a way that would be, uh, you know, fast. So down goes that Daimyo Manor. That one goes in the old can. So now he's back to just his Shogun at Castle. I don't believe he has any other town centers. Relic's back here. Yodashiru back there as well. Delhi sitting on the border here. But this is a good army. A lot of Ozutsu hand cannoneers. Uh, Rebalk wins. Delhi might be able to trade okay here, especially if they... Oh, man, if they move out in that choke point like that, they're going to take huge losses. Um, Orange? Is Orange going to fight? Okay, Orange is finally bringing some battering rams down. So there they are. Delhi on the other side, just sieging. We do see some spring alts coming up. I don't think the Delhi army has any spring alts. Oh, it does. It has four springs. So they're going to be able to move those forward and probably pop lock and drop it on them. We'll see. Delhi moving in, going to be killing the springs. Not before they take some L's on their own artillery, though. So that is two spring alts down. And now the old uh, hordes of hell. Gather in the west once again. Ionimus on the back foot, you know, down about 18,000 food since the conflict started. That's why you see a lot of these switching back. And one Delhi elephant does move in and uh, does overextend. So the Yari will be able to get that down. And uh, we see more walls just getting poked away. And is the Orange Shogun? The Orange Shogun is going to move in. He's finally coming for it. So it looks like it is a clear 2v1 at this point. I think the battle lines have been drawn. They've dictated that Yonimus is the strongest, and they are going to be trying to take them down. If you're a Yonimus, I, I just say throw down a wonder. So at least you have a win con, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, we see all these being deleted here, which is a big telltale sign that there's going to be that, but like very vulnerable. Like they can just move down here and get this. So I think it would have to be like right here would be the best spot for that. And then you just hope you can hold because the longer this goes on, the, the more likely it is you're just going to be getting ended here, right? Delhi setting up some towers and uh, taking down walls here. Delhi can be good on aggression too because they can set um, they can set the uh, walls in enemy walls and block them from rebuilding them. Yeah, we see the entire wall network being taken down here. Meanwhile, Orange moving in from the north and uh, doing some raiding, so going to be taking down some buildings. Not too much damage, pretty superficial. Onibagesha never upgraded to the elite, so obviously not looking to include those ladies in the army comp, which I suppose they would fall off here against what we're seeing. So Yellow pulling back, man. It's looking tough. You know, he's besieged on two fronts. Delhi's moving in, and now the Shogunate Castle is going to be besieged. So Shogunate Castle, Kura Storehouse, Tanagashima, and so that's one, two, three. So we got Feudal, um, and where's this castle landmark? I think it's over here. Yeah, the Floating Gate. Floating Gate, Floating Gate. Um, hmm, we'll find it later. It's around here somewhere, though. Yeah, well, Orange is higher than Teal now because he is... Um, you know, he's, he's been able to stabilize, yeah, and his, his economy is, is really popping. Teal's definitely the stronger of the two, though, if I had to say. The scores are definitely not capturing the whole story. And that's going to be the Shogunate Castle. Where is his last line mark? Yeah, it's around. Is it in the back? Did he hide it somewhere? Yeah, he's got the floating gate back here. So I think he's preparing for a Helm's Deep situation. Delhi's getting in, and um, this is going to hurt bad. He probably is regretting not plopping the Wonder down earlier. Because there's a chance he could have held them off 2v1. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. Even still, 2v1 is going to be hard on this map. Like, with, there's no, like, easy chokes to defend a wonder, right? Yeah. So, Delhi sieging in. And uh, we do see the Japanese Shogun attacking the orange player. 
And that's the thing. Maybe like a wonder would have been possible because he 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 annihilates the orange player's army really quickly. And then he would just need to hold off on Delhi. But Delhi is being very, very cautious with their pushing. Shogun at Castle is going to go down here. And um, then just a matter of finding this last landmark back here, the floating gate. I think the Delhi players knows where it is, though. Because he was raiding earlier. I think he was able to find that. So down goes the Shogun at Castle. Orange is going to move back down with a lot of horsemen. And uh, oh, he's got a Yoroshiru on that Shinto priest. He's sending a couple men at arms down here. I think he knows where that landmark is. Let's check his vision. Uh, are we going to be able to check his vision? It looks like we can't here. So, yeah, we can. Uh, I don't know. He's just going back to do some raiding. Yeah. Oh, he's going for the Yoroshiru. So he did spot that. Yeah. So he was able to see this. He doesn't know that landmark's back here, but I suspect he'll be able to discover it. The Delhi fonts are fighting. Uh, probably going to lose a lot here. Yeah, the elephants are moving. Hand cannon is coming off the wall. Big, big manganel blast right there. And those Chad elephants are just holding like absolute champions. And that Japanese army is folding up. Delhi doesn't seem to have amazing supply lines, though. They're, they're pulling back from the north here, right? So it's taking them some time. But Yellow's army does get taken out there. Um, that is more or less that entire army there. So big, big one. And also he's being raided by Orange. Like, Orange is Ramstein, but there's beautiful macro here. He's able to reproduce these armies very quickly. Just a casual 46,000 food. No biggie. You know, he's, he's, he's not hurting too bad. He has the same army since the beginning, yeah. It, it works really well. I mean, it's not the same army. He has lost a fair amount. There was a point where he had 17 elephants, and now he has six. So he has lost plenty of elephants in this game. Um, and Orange's army is getting wrecked here really bad. Shogunate Castle is getting hit. And uh, there's no way Ionimus is going to be able to hold this. It would have There would have to be a wonder, you know, to have any semblance of a chance, which I think the time of wondering is probably past. Yeah, he's just going to try and fight. I mean, maybe he could just go for Orange and try and kill him. Like, while his base is being sieged here, he might just move up and try and take Orange out. That would be a pretty Chad play. If he just moves up and blitzes Orange with everything and just, like, lets his base take a beating from the Delhi Trebs. You know, we'll see how long he can hold on for. Because the Delhi player doesn't really like to dive too much. He's pretty cautious. Uh, although, I suspect he's going to start doing that more. Yeah, he's got Scholars here, I believe. Yeah, four Scholars. So, if he's, he knows the relics are there. He spotted them. So, he's probably going to be trying to take those. Nope, looks like he's going to stay back. Turn around, maybe try and fend off the Delhi legions. Um, Delhi does have some towers here, but none of them have any emplacements or anything like that. Yeah, if, if, if Yellow dies, Teal wins this, I think. That would be my prediction as well. Uh, he has control of the sacred sites, so he can, he can definitely just, like, you know, Helm's Deep here. Although, this one is still being held by Yellow, so I guess that one isn't, like, in his control. He's trying to get the relics here. He's going for the goodies. Uh, Delhi has its nasty, nasty artillery blob back here. That's going to be a big yellow army coming in. And Delhi's going to be pulling back all of its uh, troops here, sending in men at arms, letting its hand cannon your elephants uh, just absolutely mow down a lot of those troopers, and almost getting this down. Is Orange continuing? Yes, the Orange Shogun is moving. A little bit of counter raiding here. Is this counter raiding? Is he trying to build buildings in the Delhi base? Delhi does appear to have some static defenses, and once again, this Tower Elephant army. Showing its metal, dude. It's it's brutal. Yeah, he's just like mowing down these armies. And Yellow might lose this army again. He's able to macro like a like heathen kings of old though. He's just getting huge amounts of spears, right? I would like to see these made into cannon towers. I think that'd be pretty good. Looking at RXP. Um, he almost has enough to wonder, but like I said, he's going very light on the eco. He's not like producing a whole lot. He does get a couple lancers there, but yeah, we do see the artillery die from the Anonymous. Very well played. Trying to take down the trebuchets. We're probably gonna get maybe one if you're lucky here. Uh, and yeah, just hemorrhaging, hemorrhaging food. Eonimus is down to 40,000 food. He's getting 180 a minute. But Orange is coming with the second wave of battering rams, which is going to be brutal. Uh, that's going to be just so much damage. And this army actually has a lot of samurai in it. I suspect Orange has a million tickets at his town of Gashima Gunsmith, too. If he were to just, like, let his army die and then make, like, a million Ozutsu, that would just be nasty. So they're going in for the kill here. Um, the Shogun at Castle is going to die. So, too, are all the villagers that are trying to repair it. Kura Storehouse is in some serious danger as well, and Delhi appears to finally be moving up as they just try and methodically take down the landmarks. The Orange, the orange Shogun doing good work. He has switched to Battering Rams, which is uh, going to be uh, very effective at cutting through all this. That was a big change, because when you're the Wood Shogun, you need Battering Rams. That's how you, that's how you make a difference here. Up in the north, what do we got? We got the Shogun and Castle at 1500. The Kura Storehouse is hanging out. Um, probably going to go down here, and uh, Delhi building towers on the advance. And the floating gate is going to be the last landmark, really. I mean, it looks like it looks like orange. Yeah, he's even killing Rebalquins, which is rough. Those Rebalquins are doing fat freaking damage, though. Absolutely fat. He's running out of ground, man. He's still got he's still got a lot of resources. He's still got a lot of resources, but this is going to be an incredibly tough hold. Orange getting a bit of a surround as well. 
And let's look at the supply. Yanam is still at max supply. What is Delhi doing right now? Um, did I just see a wonder getting built? No. I thought I saw a notification for a wonder. But yeah, looks like Delhi's still clearing out what they can, taking down the farms. Orange is grinding him down. And the relics are starting to be thrown to the ground. Yeah, Delhi wants to fight down here because they want those relics, right? Like, Delhi needs to move down there and do that. Orange's bank is probably pretty good. He just doesn't have gold, but he can make shitty units all day, right? He's got, like, plenty of food, plenty of wood. Eonimus just spamming out mangoes. Oh my god, that's so much. That, the army quality of Eonimus is insane. He's got 152 military right now, and it's just that uh, it's doing some serious work. So yeah, Delhi does not want to be fighting Orange. That's definitely not how they win this. Love this game. Looked like certain Doom for Orange, and now Yellow is on the ropes. I know. Well, I think the players were able to assess the you know the power level. And in Delhi, the big, one big advantage Delhi has is Delhi is not considered to be a strong Civ in FFA. They're not considered to be weak either, but they're not like Japan. So, you know, they don't get like, you know, yeah, they're not quite as strong as Japan in FFA, typically speaking. So in this case, um, you know, that probably works in Delhi's favor. And that's one of the benefits of playing a weaker Civ in FFA. That's what I, that's what I often do. That's why I like to play Byzantines, um, you know, Civs like that, because while they're still very good, you're not going to be politicked against for what you're playing, which is a very fair variable. If you're playing a very busted, strong Civ, you better expect to get teamed up on and or attack. It's just the nature of the beast. Because um, you're the strongest threat. You can, you know, get wonders for free from Guildhall and, you know, all this sort of stuff. Holy shit, that army is freaking savage. It is just so many mangonels. We have 15 mangoes? Oh my god! Delhi, um, not moving in for the kill yet. Relic's being taken back. So, man, Yonimus, a real scrapper, grabbing relics in the fourth quarter. And Delhi is going to be doing some scouting, maybe trying to snipe some of the artillery here. Yonimus with 10,000 gold, so eventually that gold is going to run out. He is scouting right now for the landmarks. Yeah, he's looking. He's looking for it. Maybe he's going to find it eventually. Nope, he misses the path. I think he doesn't quite see that choke point back there. He's looking for the last landmark. He knows where the Tanagashima gunsmith is. Now Delhi's going to move up. Okay, Delhi seems ready to fight now. Yeah. Ready to fight. We see six spring alts. That is going to be really excellent against these mangoes with good micro. Plus, mangoes aren't excellent against elephants. You know, they're more against, like, low, lower HP units and archers and things like that. So, um, the spring alts could definitely get some good value trading. Orange is going to keep coming down. The orange shogun is gathering. Those knights did get some momentum and found the production. But the relics were re-secured here by Ionimist. Now Delhi's going to be pushing up. The Anonymous still has uh, full houses, which I'm surprised. I thought most of the houses would have been killed on the uh, pushing here. Here comes the Orange Shogun. The Orange Shogun is moving back down. Yes, elephants do have the range tag, correct. Um, but I think Mangos only deal bonus to... Uh... Oh, it actually does do bonus against them. Interesting. I, I didn't think it would have that stipulation, but it does. Okay. So it does a little bit, but even still, it's only 6 damage. So, you know, with 1,000 HP, I, I don't know. I wouldn't call it a counter per se, but... Yeah, Mango's taking down the religious buildings. And we see the Spring Alt starting to snipe the artillery, which is really big. If you can start, you know, lowering those artillery numbers, that's going to be pretty massive. Wow, good Spring Alt micro here from RXP. He's, like, multitasking them and not just targeting, like, eight Spring Alts into one. He's, like, picking them off pretty methodically. And now Orange is coming down. This Delhi player's armies are just trading up so hard. Like, so incredibly hard. He has been an absolute raid boss this entire game. So down to the south, we probably see the end of yellow. It looks like the Orange Shogun has collapsed. Tanagashima Gunsmith making uh, 1,200 gold worth of units there. Very strong. And uh, the Shogunate has found the Gunsmith. Definitely going to be uh, hammering that down with the Mangonels is the Delhi. And those Spring Alts are going to kill these artillery pieces. Very easily. Man, he's, he has, he's had really good micro. We saw that even when he was fighting Prime. Like how good his artillery micro was in his positioning. This man is clearly a Delhi main. Like he's playing Delhi... Just so masterfully. Um, I, I hesitate to believe that he's Diamond 1 as somebody checked his profile. Um, must be a Smurf account or something. I have no idea. Uh, but anyways, Tanagashima Gunsmith is on fire. It's going down here. Yonimus does have a little bit of eco. But now he's starting to lose houses. Um, if some rams had attacked up here, that would be devastating. And another artillery piece is going down. Delhi's going to get attacked again here. Um, and yeah, I'm also very impressed with how well Yonimus is, um, is holding. He's just doing so good. These Chad Elephants, how many do we have here? It looks like there is going to be seven or eight of them. And they're kiting. The ability to kite those elephants is uh, is really, really good. Yeah. They just pull back and drag those samurai through the mud. Spring Alts is picking off more and more units. Orange on his way down. And Teal is looking to be just the Dark Lord here. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. Holy shit, guys. Look what Teal's doing in the meantime. 
he is setting up on the sacred sites, but he's not capping it. He's not like putting the threat out there. Um, and we do see the Lord of the Town of Gishima Gunsmith back here, and he's on his last landmark, which I think is going to be pretty easily killed by trebuchets. And we do have what two or three traps here? Yeah, four traps. Orange moving in, taking that down, and um, there will be a little bit of a battle for the relics after this. He's holding. I mean, I wonder if uh, Anonymous is politicking at this point. Maybe. I think Orange is certainly bloodthirsty for revenge. Orange was getting bullied a little bit. Um, we do see some Delhi Sprinters going down. They're going to be trying to get vision of that last landmark. And let's see if he does have vision. So looking here. And let's see what his perspective looks like. He, he, he must know it's back there. Yeah, he must know. So he's like trying to trying to get some vision, but it ain't easy. A lot of units being cut off. Let's look at Eonimus Bank. He still has 20,000 food after all that. Isn't that insane? How well he's doing like economically. And he's been fighting without eco for so long. It's just a testament to how good Japan's eco is. Uh, please let us peek at the kills to deaths. Yeah, yeah, I will. I will. Yeah, Delhi probably has a really good KDA. Yeah, yeah, probably. So Trebuchet is knocking down the walls from a distance. And, uh, yep, another one goes down, so that's going to open the breach here. Orange's armies are uh, getting some good momentum. Meanwhile, the Delhi is basically just letting him in the floodgates. We do see a huge army of Ozutsu emerge. Uh, but, like, an Eonimus... Where is his food eco even? Oh my god, look at Eonimus! He's farming the cattle! He's farming the Malian cattle. That's so funny. Holy shit. What a Chad. Aeonimus is a really good player, by the way. I played with them in many FFAs. They're very strong. Always always a contender to win, um, for sure. So Delhi's going to move up. Spring all, the Spring all play once again. Super on point here. Uh, Trebuchets, I don't think he has vision. And we'll stay on his perspective here and switch. And let's see. He's shooting into the darkness. So let's see where his shots are going to go. Okay, he does manage to get it. He's making contact there. And, uh, yeah. Hordes of Hell have gathered. Delhi is here. And that is going to be it. Because now it's getting trebucheted here from the tree line. We can see the trebuchets able to reach. Villagers being pulled to repair. But there's no way that Eonimus is going to be able to get it. And what's going to happen is Delhi's just going to go grab the sacred site. And Orange is going to die. Um, there's going to be absolutely no way that they can get it. So, yeah. I love the Malian cattle food transition. I mean, that's a lot of food. These things are, you know, 500 a pop. So, it's a, it's a lot of food that you got over there. So the blasting going down, yes, yes, and um, it looks like that is going to be the end of the road. Those guys knocking on Heaven's door. Yep, it's being repaired though. Elephants are probably going to come in for the kill. I think they want to seal the deal, so there they go. They're moving across, and we do see the floating gate getting repaired here. And uh, now Delhi is just going to grab the sacreds and win, probably. Yonimus stealing some gold on the map, which is pretty, pretty hilarious. Uh, you can shoot blind with trebuchets. You use the attack round function, so you can you can do that. Yeah, it's 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 how you typically would shoot in the dark there. So, all right. So the elephant's being very cautious. This floating gate is getting uh, blasted. He can certainly see it now, as he's very close, and the walls have been destroyed. And uh, yeah, he's got 500, 650, 700. It's getting repaired. There's only two trebs here. God, man, Yonimus just won't die. He's just like, oh my god. What's funny is, I bet you Yonimus would find a way back into this game. Wait, why is Teal pulling back instead of finishing him off? That's very strange. Like, for there's relics back there. There's a lot of stuff. Uh, but he's going to let him live? Is he just going to let Orange deal with it? I guess so. Orange, Orange might be able to come down and just finish the job. So Floating Gate is getting hit. Um, he's moving over here. I guess he discovers the eco here, perhaps? I'm not sure what his plan is. He's getting more trebuchets back. And um, and they gather. They gather. So is Orange on his way? Orange is, is doing it. Uh, yeah, how does he know? He, he could have just been guessing where it is. You know, obviously. Um, it's a pretty small area back here, so you could just you know aim as far back as possible and have a decent likelihood. And he did get vision shortly after, so... Yeah, who knows? Who knows? Hopefully, hopefully no stream shenanigans are going on. Teal's moving across to the west, and um, once again, the Yumi Bannerman and the Spearman at the ready. But Yellow, even on Death's Bed, is just taking, just like, just taking it like an absolute champion. I suspect there's maybe some politics going on. Like maybe the other Japanese players, like you're just gonna lose to Delhi after this. And maybe Orange is going to heed that back, you know, heed that. But yeah, if you're, um, if you're, you need to finish him off. If you're Delhi. Yeah. Should have built a wonder as soon as Steel turned on me. Could have defended. Yeah, you, I think you could have. I think you could have for sure. Uh, I think that you could have defended a wonder with how long you held if you just had it in a good position. 
You, you, I think you had that one, but sadly, it's not going to be the case here. Be careful of spoilers, too, by the way. Be careful. It's pretty clear that you're going to die, but other spoilers, uh, you know, hang tight on those. So Delhi is up. Yes. So they're coming. And uh, yeah, then it's just going to be a sacred grab. These are all cannon towers on this sacred site. Those are all cannon towers. And these bad boys are going to be moving down. We do see uh, the last farms being purged by the Orange Shogun. The Orange Shogun going to be sending his armies in. Uh, trebuchet is going to gather up and just start trebbing the hell out of that while the elephants kind of screen everything else. So um, how many trebs does he have here? He's got six trebuchets. And will they be in position? We do see artillery dying here. It's insane how well Eonimus was able to defend this. Yeah, finally running out of food, like literally after like 40 minutes of defending here. This Delhi player is very strange with his playstyle. It's like very slow and ponderous, but it seems effective. You know, it's, it's very effective. All right, so we see those bad boys shooting away and here comes the Delhi fonts. Finally going to be pushing in. I guess he just doesn't want to lose the elephant, so he only moves in when it's very opportune for him. Um, obviously, Delhi men at arms are really good, too. They have the entire victory, so their attack speed is augmented by 20%. And the traps are going to be in range in a second, and the sacred site is going to be taken, I would wager. Um, it's a good win con. I mean, he could go wonder and sacred, but yeah, he doesn't have the stone for that, so I suspect that's not how it's going to be. So traps are at the ready, and the elephants are just mowing down everything, including the Ozutsu here. Trebs can reach. Yep, they can. And they're going to start shooting from beyond the woods. Yeah, Delhi's army is like a moving fortress. It's very, very true. HP on the floating gate is going down. And now the duel of fates is upon us. But where are the scholars? We haven't seen a scholar pulled for the sacred. I thought he would be doing that by now. Just to press that. But I guess he wants to secure relics here. We don't see any Delhi scholars in position to grab all these relics. So they'll be fighting over those, 100%. But that is going to be the end. Well played, Duyanimist. Very, very good match. Very, very good match. I thought you were going to win. I thought you were going to win uh, with a Wonder at some point. Uh, but, you know, understandably, it's, it's, it's a tricky situation. This map is not very Wonder friendly. You're, you have a lot of open flanks, right? And being attacked on so many fronts. All right. So they've cleared it out. That is the end. Oh, God. A dad sneeze. Hold on. Oh, God. Oh. <laughs> Help me. I'm too weak. So now the Delhi Moving Fortress is going to be up. Sacred Site is being captured. I assure you there's going to be a Scholar coming that way. And it's pretty rare that you see a Delhi victory. It's not the most common thing in FFA, but I suspect that we are going to be seeing a Delhi victory. I mean, Homie is sitting on 10 relics. Soon to be 13 if he grabs these. And uh, he's had Sacred Sites. Nobody has really been going after him super hard. And that's one of the advantages of playing a weaker Civ, like I said, right? People are like, oh, he's playing Delhi. Like, let's kill the Japanese. Because uh, Japanese is stronger than Delhi, in my opinion. But, um, yeah. Delhi's moving around with their, their Doom Fortress of the Tower Elephants. Holy shit. Just, like, all these armies are just getting mowed down. Like, just an entire... That's, like, 30 supply that just did nothing there. Uh, Sacred Site hasn't been taken yet. I wager he's got a Scholar coming out. Yeah, we got Scholars pouring out of the base. So here they come. The other one is very entrenched, too. And this is going to be a tough one. The dad sees is everything I hoped it would be and more. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. That was away from the mic, too. I'm not going to not gonna blast all you headphone users. That would be very cruel. Uh, but yeah, I suspect he grabs all the relics. Orange is, is the orange is just toast now. I mean, he's playing against 13 relics, uh, soon to be. And he has like three, four, uh, plus Yodashiru. So he's got like six or seven of his own. Um, that's going to be tough, though. Delhi's going to grab the sacred, and they're just turbo entrenched. Ozutsu would be able to definitely put some hurt down on these, but um, I, uh, Delhi's army is just ferocious. There isn't real politics in this game. I, I push into orange, TLS, so who's stronger? Orange replied yellow, and orange said, let's go for yellow. <laughs> that was it. Yeah, yeah. Hey, you know, it's, it's how it goes sometimes, you know, but in that case, they were right. You were stronger. Um, you were, at that point, probably the strongest player in the game, even stronger than Delhi, and that's why they 2v1'd you. Um, and it had, your, your, your play was to try and win with a wonder, for sure. But that's e it's easy to say that in hindsight, right? Like, easy for me to say that. It's harder to do an execution when you're being pressured 2v1 super, super hard. So, All right. So, yeah, sacred sites have been taken. I mean, that's 10 minutes. That's going to be a uh, pretty quick 10 minutes here. I mean, god damn, look at this Delhi army. He's got, like, mass elite lancers. Delhi lancers don't do anything special. Uh, there's no unique text for them or anything, but they are still good quality units. Looks like some villagers. These villagers just, you know, a peaceful, uh, peaceful passing by. 
and the relics are going to be taken eventually, I would imagine, and uh, the duel is going to be on here. So here it comes. So the fight is on, and uh, we do have the Mangonel shooting away. Oh my god! Oh god, the Mangos just wrecking that wood army. Those bombard cannons are going to get killed most likely by the knights, so the knights are going to ride them down. Those lancers are uh, really, really showing no mercy. Delhi is going to be pounding away here. Uh, he's got the sacreds, and that's GG. I mean, Orange can try for um, for some time, but it's not going to work. Uh, somebody in chat says it's. Uh, the anonymous says it's crazy how Teal never loses cannon elephants. That's the way to win with Delhi. Yeah, I mean his his kiting with them is very effective, and he's very cautious too. Very very cautious, only taking you know favorable trades and. Uh, yeah, they're nasty. How hard are those things hit? Those hand cannons? They got, what, two hand cannons on top? Is that what it is? That's some pretty good DPS right there. Um, and they can kite you, and they have so much HP, too. Uh, the relics have not been grabbed yet, but he did build a mosque down here, which is a very smart play. And then he's going to be able to grab that and dump those relics off and get those in the pool. Uh, he could honestly probably kill Orange if he wanted to. I think his elephant critical mass is just too much. The tower elephants have 14 ranged armor, so therefore these archers are going to hit them for literally one damage. Which is just one damage from those archers. These horsemen are elite, so they're probably one of your better bets, but there's no way. I mean, this is this is Gotham's reckoning, dude. The, the lord of the deli shop, he comes to purge. And he certainly earned this win. I mean, he took Prime on in a fight, a conqueror player. Um, he took out uh, his other neighbor here. Um, yeah, he has just been, you know, working it. Just working it with these deli elephants. It hasn't been a lazy win. He had to work for this one. It wasn't like a French player just sitting in the corner and, you know, cackling, uh, you know, <laughs> in their usual fashion. Just plowing through. We do see Ozutsu coming out, but immediately the artillery shoot again. And uh, that would appear to be it. Yeah, Japan just getting steamrolled. I mean, they have the eco to keep spamming units, but their military numbers are just dwindling, and they're not clearly doing any damage. I mean, the damage output to the Delhi army has got to be basically nothing, right? Uh, the Sacred Timer is probably about seven minutes away at this point. We do see the orange uh, orange infrastructure getting pushed back and losing ground. Uh, the Delhi fonts can, of course, kill buildings. Um, probably would be better for orange to gather a critical mass and try and fight, rather than use the dreaded Reaganomics, as we like to say. But, um, yeah, that, that was a very, very nice showcase there. So, we get the men-at-arms. Uh, you know what they could also do? That's a really funny tactic, is with Delhi, you can build stone walls, right? So, you grab your men-at-arms, and you, you build walls around their uh, gatehouses so they can't bring reinforcements through. And there's so many meme tactics you can do with Delhi. They're a very, very fun FFA suit. We had a, uh, we had a win with them, I think it was three or four days ago, in an FFA with a wall spam. They can do some cool tricks, man. They can do some cool tricks. Looks like another keep's going to be coming up, and uh, another keep is going to be popping up right here. And now the Delhi fonts have gathered. And yes, his elephants did really, really good for him this game. But one thing that was also really good about RXP is he had just S-tier artillery micro. And every duel, whether it was against Prime or when he was sieging other players, he was always winning the artillery fights. His spring alds were up trading. His mangoes were hitting the right targets. It, was, it wasn't just the elephants. It was a couple other variables. Um, so yeah, more keeps coming. Delhi building another keep right here. The middle one pretty well entrenched with cannon towers, and uh, it is on. T-Rex push-ups! God damn! That's so generous! Epic stream, dude. The elephant stomp. I know! Man, that is way too generous. That is way too generous, man. And I'm... Man, I'm sorry it's right at the end of the stream. Thank you, dude. That is super, super generous of you. Thank you for those sweet Australian... Is that Australian dollars, I think? I just hope you're like a rich tyrant over there, dude. I really feel bad when people donate that much. Um, that is that is really kind of you, man. Thank you, thank you. And hopefully you're enjoying the elephants. Yeah, it's it's gonna be the uh, end of the road here. That's for damn sure. In T Rex's honor, yes, yes. By the way, where's Allied Trex been? He played. He used to be like just in all these matches. We haven't seen him in a long time. You know, his people here are doing quite well. So the Delhi fonts are pushing in. Um, towers being set up by uh, by the old Japanese. Japan's food eco is actually like being diminished because of how one-sided this is. T-Rex, man, I really hope it's not a financial burden for you because that's really generous. Thank you, man. I'm moving away are the hand cannoneers. Yes, yes. We do see the Sultan Tower elephants blasting away. The Jacka showing no mercy. And um, another keep coming up. I mean, man, this is just brutal. These are just Yari and Horsemen all day just getting wrecked by Delhi's gold army. Delhi sitting on 13,000 gold. They just banked another three relics here. This this is uh this is very impressive. This is very impressive. 
Yeah, he's he's this this man knows how to play some F. I I I can't. Maybe this is a Smurf. I feel like this is someone we know who's like really good. That's a Smurf, maybe. The way he's playing, he's playing like a Conqueror player, 100%. Um, yeah, it's got to be someone Smurfing. It makes you feel better. One US dollars. <laughs> Yeah, who, who is this? Who is this mystery man? Coming in with Delhi and crushing it. You know, I'm, I'm genuinely curious. Because this is very, very good. Um, this game's obviously super over. He's got so much money and uh, so many relics. So he is going to be a uh, an overlord now. And one of the big advantages, too, of being aggressive. You know, a lot of people like to chill out, play very defensively. But conquering your opponents is a huge, huge thing early on. Because you can get all the relics they get, right? And that's why he won this game. He took, you know, I think like 10 relics during his conquest. Maybe 9. And with with 4 out of the gates, right? More keeps coming, dude. He's like literally just keep pushing here. <laughs> it's allied tracks, yeah. He's been training in the shadows. Just disappeared. And here he comes. Alright, so they move in. And um, yeah, that Yari army, though they do kill an elephant there. It's not bad. They they, they go down on their, uh, their spear there. Their shield, metaphorically speaking. Couple units pouring out. Oh, the, the Tanagashima tickets. He gets 26 Ozutsu instantly. That's so good. Yeah, you would probably need Bombards and, and Spring Alts to beat this army. Like, the Spring Alts to kill the enemy Springs here. Which, it's so hard. Like, he hides them in the Elephants. It's hard to target those Spring Alts, too. Yeah. Well, anyways, he gathers up. Does anybody know the actual timer? Uh, three minutes. Oh, perfect. So, three minutes until Sacred Victory, so... A little bit less than that now. Um, Delhi could probably move in and kill him, to be honest, if he wanted to. If Delhi really wanted to get aggro here, he's got 47,000 food in the bank. And the reason why his food is so high is because he is barely, barely losing units. Like, he's not losing a lot of his elephants in these trades, so he's not having to rebuild. Delhi building a stonewall gatehouse here, so he's trying to do something a little bit cheeky, which is fun. But um, once again, the orange army getting mowed down. The Ozutsu doing good, though. They are killing the keeps. Trying to knock him down. One keep does fall, and um, he's building walls in front of the keeps to prevent the Ozutsu from shooting, but the Ozutsu get mowed down. Oh my god, brutal. Absolutely brutal. Uh, was it Ally Allied that did that epic Dumbo? Yeah, Allied is like always doing Dumbo drops or trebuchet drops. Like, you'll think your wonder is safe, and he rolls up on the side of the map with like, like 30 trebuchets and just gets your wonder. And nothing else is with them either. It's hilarious. It's absolutely hilarious. But yes, they continue moving in, and uh, two minutes until the Wonder Victory. We do see the Japanese swarming out. The Japanese archers look so cool. Like, the, the aesthetic of all the Japanese units is just so, so good. It's so incredibly good. Gelly units with their hand cannon here, mowing down these advancing soldiers. Uh, keeps coming up. The defensive uh, Stonewall Gatehouses to prevent the Ozutsu from getting in. Not that it matters. You're not going to be seeing too many of those at this point. And uh, I think that's all she wrote, guys. I think it's all she wrote. The flying taco up here in chat. Uh, 1390 ELO with a win rate of 230. Uh, 23 wins and 8 losses. Sounds like a smurf, yeah. Sounds like a smurf. Because he's he's conquer one level right there. That's a, that's like the same ELO I'm at, but he has a pretty insane win percentage. 28 wins and three 8 losses is really good. So clearly he's probably a conk 2 player. Maybe, maybe uh, I don't know. Yeah, he's definitely at, le at least conk 2, I would say. The way he's playing is just so clean. And, like, everything he's doing, it's like, this is super impressive, man. Like, he's just bullying this game. With a weaker save, too. All right. So, one minute till victory. They're getting in there. The old Japanese didn't hear no bell. And uh, they're going to keep fighting to the bitter end. We got a lot of Yari coming out. You know, shout out to Factory, man. He played really well this game. He kept fighting and was certainly a contender throughout the various stages, but... Only now is he realizing in his twilight the mistake he made by not going after the dreaded Jelly player. You know, they would have needed. I think. I think Eonimus and uh, Factory could have two v one the Jelly player. It would have taken a long time, but they definitely it could have happened because Jelly's economy wasn't amazing in terms of like food and stuff earlier on. So there could have been an opportunity there. But yeah, a couple Rams coming out, not gonna make it too far. But that is it. GG, well played. What a match, man. What a match. Very impressed. Very cool to see a Delhi victory. Showing us the power of those elephants. I'm sure many people are uh, taking notes. We're going to be seeing more Delhi in our future matches. And that is it for today. That is it for that battle. And before I bid you adieu, please do drop a like on the way out. It would help quite a bit. Helps keep the Age of Empires action going. Helps get more people involved in the community, which is always great. 
And uh, that is that. That is that. GG, well played. Delhi, absolute raid boss. Let's go to the statistics and look at the military. So yeah, 3,000 killed and he lost about 1,000. So he definitely lost the least and killed the most of everybody, which is not a surprise. But that was a very impressive one. Yeah, it's a beastie smurf. Yeah, I asked if Mysterious Gate. Yeah, yeah, that's funny. That was a really, really good Dumbo victory, man. That was clean as hell. Holy shit. Really fun to watch, man. So fun games today. Fun games. We had the uh, first FFA game was pretty cool. The second one had some haggard disconnects, but still had some fun times. And uh, yeah, this was this was this was a highlight. This was really fun to see, man. That's really really fun to see. All right, guys, I'm gonna go feast. Two days till my wife gets back in town, and I can stop being a disgusting cave creature again. And uh, yeah, the beard's growing long. The hair is is long and greasy. <laughs> You know, falling back into some rough habits. Yeah, it's always good. All right, guys. See you next time. Take care of yourselves. Hey, Rodrigo, man, you played very well. You, you must be on a, you must be on a, uh, this is a Smurf account, right? You're easily, you easily are a Conqueror player, right? Yeah, that was very impressive. You should join our Discord, play in our tournaments and stuff. If you're not a Smurf, maybe I got lucky killing Red. Ah, I don't know, man. You, you played really well. So yeah, if you say you're not a Smurf, I'll believe you. But you, you definitely played at a Conqueror level, so. GG, well played. That was really good. Really, really good. Well played, Rodrigo. You earned that one, champ. See you guys next time. Take care of yourselves. Drop a like on the way out. Once again, thank you to T-Rex Pushups for the huge donation to close out the stream. And uh, to all of you who are channel members, I really, really appreciate it. Helps keep the old war machine going, especially in the dreaded January. And that is it for tonight. You play a lot of FFAs? I can see that. I can see that indeed. Uh, Discord link. Let me get that for you guys. So when you join the Discord... Uh, you need to go to the roles section at the top and you pick what game you're interested in. So you would just pick like Age of Empires. Otherwise, you're going to get pings for a lot of games. So there's some Discord links for you guys and we'll see you all on the other side. Take care of yourselves and that is going to be it for today.